don't really call them special. I don't consider them special. I consider them uh, impromptu. I kind of wrapped up work and, uh, I don't know, I kind of felt a little bored. So I decided, hey, why not boot up and watch the end of whatever the fuck he's playing? It'll maybe get me to care more about the games he plays, kind of. I don't know. I like to tell myself that, but, uh, I don't know. Every time I see one of these games, I just, I don't get interested. Fuck this game. And apparently he's he's not having a whole lot of fun with it. Apparently we're kind of mad because of something, something about uh, little matchsticks or whatever. I mean, he'll eventually win this game. I don't think he'll have any problems eventually finishing it, but <laughs> you know how it goes, right? You can't do the panda gas in here. I didn't even start up and uh, mix it up. There you go. If you want to use Pandagasm, you got to do it on Twitch. But if you're going to throw shit, it's not going to work because I don't have it loaded up. You got insigned and cried about how he couldn't do anything. Wow, shocker. I don't know. Part of me just wanted to see the ending to this, which is kind of okay, I suppose. I guess. No I don't know. Head. But yeah, he's a. Uh, He's having a barrel of fun, uh, a monkey barrel of fun, if you will. But I thought I should just watch this. I, I haven't even decided what I was going to stream tonight. I still don't know what I want to do. I should probably figure that out. Maybe one of these days. He loves this game? I suppose he loves it. I'm waiting for the inevitable uh, Q&A session. Because it's going to happen. It's like it's bound to happen. Plug this fucking VR helmet. I completely forgot to charge my VR. And it was like dead. And now it's I fully charged. This. Have a good stream. Have <laughs> a good day. Nurgle, you're already <laughs> sub. Grandfather Nurgle has blessed you're not me with new. another number uh. to add to the subscriber hall of shame. You're not new, damn it. Don't stream, take a break. But I got the, the save file. Well, not the save file, but I got the thing fixed regarding uh, the thing. It didn't light. You saw that, right? I threw the match down. It didn't light. <laughs> it, 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 and I'm like super it. excited about it. Come on. This is complete shit. Yeah, he's, uh, he's having a barrel of uh, monkeys today. Remember when he said he wouldn't go back to Overwatch? Apparently he said he might if he finishes the game early. That ain't happening. He's not. No, it's going to be a Q&A session. 100% can be a Q&A session. He finishes shit up. It's going to be 30 minutes. There ain't no way he's doing 30 minutes of fucking Overwatch. That's impossible. You and I both know this. So let's not even pretend. I don't think he's lucky. No stream gym time. Uh, thanks, Candy. Wait, how come you were... Did you reverse your name? <laughs> Didn't you used to be OK Doomer? I can't even tell anymore. I would assume it was always K on Doomer. What am I doing today? Eh, I'm hanging out. I got Ben with work relatively on time. We got big projects that are coming up. I'm trying to convince them. They, it doesn't need to be completed by till the end of the year. And they're trying to get it done by November. I'm like, bruh. Give us to the end of the year. There's going to be so many people out. Uh, 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 uh. Still working. Uh, he's a uh, full-on gamer mode right now. Oh, Google Payment shut down the payment uh, profile. Okay, but you were okay, Doomer, though, right? If, if, because I was about to say, say I, I'm almost positive. It's too close. You can't say K on Doomer and OK Doomer. Like, they had, like my brain instantly recognizes it's got to be the same. There's no way it's not. What? <laughs> I'm like a mod OK Doomer. 
Yeah, he's not really providing any commentary at the moment. He's just kind of full on gamer mode at the moment. It's kind of a. Supposedly, this is just a gauntlet, and uh, he needs his full on concentration. At least I hit a checkpoint. I just hit a checkpoint. So, there you go. now I can do my celebratory bubble talk. blow. We can get 100 <laughs> likes during that segment. And we can I can on. celebrate, God, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, guys. Oh, wait, no, cool. wait. Okay, so I was talking about this last night. And I was like, we need to take every single instance of whenever this dude does the bubble blow. But we need to have it to sensual music. Dude, we were supposed to have, like, sensual music, right? Hold up. I could look this up. Uh, let's see. Sensual music. <laughs> I want to do this, but I want to... <laughs> oh, shit. No, hold up. We got to make sure. I don't know. Chill out songs. Good life. Love making music one hour loop. Oh, my God. What kind of amazing, sick music is on here? I need to hear this. <laughs> okay. Oh, bruh. That's the kind of shit... That's the kind of shit right there. No, we're, we're not going to do this. Hold up. I'm going to do it one of these days. I'm going to get it. And I'm going to fucking course, do that. Problem now being, I have no ammo. Like, all uh, I have are these elementals. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm so tempted. I'm magnum, not. You know, unless I have to. Use so. Careless Whisper. Hold up. Let's check out Careless Whisper. I want to. I want to. It's got to be a good, a good thing. It's got to slow it down. Bruh. No, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a thing for this. That's okay. We can get a thing. No, I don't want to get a thing for this. No. <laughs> this thing's almost got a fucking billion views. All right, coming from that side. I don't think I can withstand getting hit. Well, no, I can probably withstand. No, no, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Let's get a lot of sniper ammo. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Okay, 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 okay. I can I can get hit with this. It's okay. That's cool. I missed it. All right. Slow it down and mute it too. Okay, okay. So we gotta get where he's doing the bubble blow. Man, how long ago was so, it? Besides me, I have no. Okay, here we go. All right. I just want this portion right here. This is very important, guys. I've been, like, waiting forever to do this one thing. Very important. Okay. So we have him zoomed up right now. So it would be like... All right. First off, cut off the creepy music for a second. And then we slow him down by, like, 0.5. Ugh. And then we we have him... No, hold up. I gotta, I gotta back it up for a second. So we have that going right now. And then we have, like, the music in the background... So, you know what? I'll I'll keep it slow speed. And then he's like, mm. No, you know what? We're keeping it at normal speed. I'll get hit for it. <laughs> Yo, it's perfect! It's perfect! That's what we gotta do. Okay, so going forward, we need to get a collage of every single time he does a bubble blow. But then well, you gotta have him, him like doing that. You know, unless I have to. So <laughs> it'll be great. Come on. Okay. It was something. Uh, don't ask, Bosh. It was. We were talking about it last night. We were, <laughs> it's okay if I get hit with a fucking hit for it. I only used a couple seconds of it. <laughs> oh man. I don't think you want to. Don't don't worry about it, Pastor Mo. <laughs> we gotta get the right, thing music. Okay, I wanna fucking speed this up. I wanna catch up. So Actually, you know what? Fuck it. We're not missing anything. We're kinda off the ground. Now there's a chainsaw guy. Hey, what's up, Jenner? I'm gonna go electric. Day 21, he lost and then try to subs. Snipe him. Yeah, I'm not really surprised on the loss of subs, to be honest. He was so adamant about how the trolls were at fault and everything, but I mean, it's just not that many people, and he relies too many gifted subs. It's just kind of how it is. I'm sorry. 
Dude, that guy chainsaw the other guy. Now I'm out of grenades. I have to go flash and then magnum. Overwatch 2 fault. Yeah, kinda. That was not magnum. Hey, you swapped to the shotgun. Kill him. I should be able to kill this guy. It's like standing still. That did it. The door opened. <laughs> Give me membership so I can watch ads. Yeah. Exactly. The door man. opened. We're going to be lucky. We're going to get like five minutes of uh, the review for this game. The re-review for this game. And we're going to have 25 minutes of Q&A. So hopefully you're looking forward to that. If we're now lucky. Me matches. I don't know how... Like what the <laughs> ending they give me of the game matches. is. Like, there's no ammo here to sh knock this guy down. Look, there's literally no no ammo. I don't want to waste a magnum shot on this regular guy. I have no ammo in anything. Okay, sniper. Here we go. That's pretty good. Yeah, get him. Hell That'll yeah. That'll fucking do it. Woo! That was not bad. I remember in the original playthrough that took me way longer. I died a million times. I barely died at all. I died once. That was it. Maybe twice. Can't wait for twice, Evil Women 2. Right? I don't think Evil Women 2 is going to so be bad. played. I have a feeling that's that it's just going to be basically be like the final ginormous challenge. There is more coming, but that's meant to be like more coming. The big one. Wait, what? So, how much extra good. is there? I thought we were almost done with the game. Just make sure I didn't miss any items. I'm pretty sure. Oh, look. Wait, no. It's unexpected. Yeah, oh, this right, is basically right, right. Is uh, I was bored. Do do? I don't know what I want to do for my Twitch stream. I'm thinking of the Good thing. Lemon Cat. Yes, that was but much better. I'm not like, sure. Seriously, significantly better than I expected to do. I wrapped nice. up work healing items and on time. I don't Look. feel like eating. Because I received a four dollar twenty cent like tip. Thing seems from Bob. Said I would like to see you play Gotham Knights. I'm not going to buy it myself, so I'd rather see you play that game. Um. You know, this might be a situation where it's kind of the same for both There's games. This week, both Gotham oh, Knights and Mario Bros. Rabbids, because Gotham Knights, I think a lot of people are gonna watch people play it, but not play it themselves. Because did he uh, decide whether or not he was gonna play one or the uh, over the other? I think he was talking about how he was gonna run a poll for this, didn't he? Okay. A poll for this? I feel like we did. Because he kept talking about you need a vote in a thing. Be a poll anywhere. I don't know. Maybe he had a pole and he took it away. I like how I can scroll through all of this and it's just the same, like, bland shit. It's just the same bland shit. I can't tell any... Oh, man, I can't tell anything apart. Whatever. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping it's going to be Mario Rabbids. Because... I'm not going to touch it either way, is but Orion Rabbits is probably, I wouldn't say the boring of the two, but the least boring yep. of the two. I don't know about the Gotham game, because people were already telling me that it's not so positively reviewed. Uh -oh. <laughs> Damn. Why does he play both? It's not like he's playing anything new. Yeah, that's actually the interesting thing. I thought he was supposed to be uh, playing multiple, not, right? It's, not waves. it's just you have to get through it, I think. But I don't think this is as tough as the first one. Like you remember coming up to this quote-unquote hardcore begging season. I mean, gaming season. I was like, yeah, you know, I have yeah, all these games right coming out. I gotta Much play this, this, and this, and all this shit. That first right? room was a nightmare. But then it turns out enemies. like this he's not even gonna right play half the games, done. which is exactly what I said. He's not gonna all play right. half the games that he fucking said he was going to play. Nice. Bayo, of course, is gone because Bayo was never gonna no fucking happen. The he loves a, tons of the ammo new story about Bayo with the end. voice actress shit. He loves it because what he can do is he can just uh, sit there and poo poo on the game, and he can feel like he's justified for not playing it. Which, I mean, I guess you could feel justified if you care that much on the voice actress. You know, the, the nice voice actors never bathroom. really get paid a whole lot. And realistically, they probably lowballed her because they kind of wanted man. to dump her. It I happens. Just it's just kind man. of part of the industry. I don't think that's, like, specifically a Nintendo issue at that point. That's just kind of how they treat these people. Why can't I defuse this? It was a bit of a shame because it's glitched. Uh, voice actors and actresses, like, they do a lot of work. 
for what they do. But they're kind of underappreciated. It's just kind of been that way for years. Yeah, 4K is uh, pretty insulting. I think what they wanted to do is lowballer so much that she wouldn't take it. And then they would just uh, dump her for somebody else. Because maybe she was just too much at a premium. I don't know what the original going rate she had for the previous game. That would probably be a good indicator to kind of gauge why they may have done it. But then again, I don't know why they would have lowballed her anyway. It's not like they're not going to make their money. That's a really weird, stuff, a weird situation. One. So this is the box man room. I think you have to fight multiple box men at the Just same time. Just play Bayo in Japanese, correctly. same voice actors. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Eh, I don't know. I mean, I'm still going to play it anyway. I've got that shit pre-ordered. I'm not going to not play it. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Yep. Thousand an hour ain't bad. See, if it was four hours of work, I don't know how much work it would have been, so I can't comment one way or another. Takes five. It could have been like I will craft. I don't know. Four weeks worth of work. I don't bolts. Fucking know. Two of them. I'm not gonna shit on that person. Stun them. I'm just gonna be like, well, you know what? I mean, that's kind of how the that fucking the the voice acting community has always been treated like shit. So it's not really surprising to me. I always, well, I guess it. I, I guess you guys would have never heard it. First. But I've always had complaints regarding uh, gotta, anime in the West sure fight two um, at for once. anything that's dubbed. Because uh, I've always had the complaint that um, there's always the same, like, dozen and a half voice actors and actresses that are always cycled out for everything. Um, you don't really get paid a whole lot, and they really don't look for newer talent. And there's certain people that kind of get typecast stuff, a certain way. Or even some people that just get... Uh, cast to do a first. voice which doesn't even fit um, their their range, um, and that's just kind of how the West is. It's just, they don't really have a whole lot of uh, respect up, for uh, and then it you for in. voice acting. Not the same way. Obes is like, what the hell is that? All right, so you know what? Here we go. I can only imagine what uh, Cobra is doing right now. He's probably having fun. And not everyone could be a movie star. But the thing is, is that I, Magnum, so I, can stun I think not every movie star can be a voice the actor. Into them. I think I should be able to kill them pretty efficiently. Like, being an actor or an actress, you know, in movies is a hell of a lot different than if you were just to, uh, to do a voice. I think it's kind of shitty how there's a lot of actors and actresses that kind of get put into that voice acting role for movies and games and shit. Like, you know what? You could probably do it a hell of a lot better if you get people who are, I don't know, more professional with uh, voice acting. Probably be better. Turn out better. Yeah, but everybody likes to relate over to the ghost stories stuff. That's always like the go-to for anime. It's like, oh yeah, it could be, it could be this level. It's like, yeah, they were also given free reign to do whatever the fuck they wanted. It was like, you know what? Just go ahead and fuck around. Nobody fucking cares. Just finish it, you know, by these X amount of weeks, and we can go ahead and call it a day. Turn it in. We'll get our paychecks. Okay. I think we're just having way too much fun with that. I think that's it. Again, if you weren't ready for it, yeah, I don't agree with really hard. Young Yeah. You so what happens when you kill the first box man? I don't the, like Young Yeah. I used to listen to Young Yeah like way long you ago. Like slow mo. But God but damn, he's so. It's like he's always late to the party and he repeats so much of the same the, uh, shit whenever it's a slow bolts. news day. They couldn't even just so move. he can pump out content. And it's just not good. fun. Plus right, he tried to shit. do the whole bit of becoming an, a voice actor and I don't even know how that turned out, but... Now I don't know. The Long on sub to him. Go. Now we're into the real finale. Rubik. Yeah, he, yeah oh, he's just... He's too boring. Did he now? I did not know that. I'll make a bet. Well, good for him. I'm sure I'll listen to it in English never. I may listen to it in English one day. Uh, but that one day will probably be a cold day in hell. So now, I really don't care for stealth, most English I dubs. I really lights. don't. Thank you, Anthony, for the super chat. Since I've been watching since it's the OG Left 4 Dead, I'm just going to hit 200k subs so finally on YouTube. <laughs> oh, no. Anthony, the thing is, we hit Poor it multiple Tim. times, and then it, we lost it, and it Him came back. Him and his beanie are crying right now. No exaggeration. And I have, look, hundred. I'm actively subbed to fucking Tim um, Pool, but... <laughs> Troll Him and his bald ass and his beanie are crying right now. Look at you, dude. 
I'm watching so any we actually had that over 200k over the summer, and I'm then it, they unsubbed, and then they resubbed, and they unsubbed. Now we're at a point where I think we're good. I don't think we're going to lose the 200k again. I think that we're. Those are English dub are actually good. So, it's hit or miss. I think, I think the earlier ones are pretty good, but I haven't the busiest enjoyed the, the later ones the same so it's not way. Like I can really do anything special now. If this had happened in the summer, then absolutely I might have actually done something to celebrate. But at this point now, we're just kind of like, well, thanks it for happened. the support. It is what it is. Let's uh, <laughs> let's have a great fall with all these great. Thanks games for the support. Out, right? It is what it is. So I hit go. 200k subs, and there's no celebration. Wow. You remember when he made a big deal well, about it, how he wanted to have it for his birthday not what and I everything? Did, by the way. The game made me have slippery controls there, which is really dumb. Now we uh we don't even fucking care. 200k. What the fuck is that? Oh, well, I guess 200k is not really a milestone. He doesn't get, like, an extra trophy or anything from it, so... Why celebrate, I suppose? And, Inamati, everything's doing okay. Here we go. Uh, I, you know what? You were streaming yesterday. Oh, I totally missed it. Right there. Okay. I do apologize. I know you were on William's stream, uh, kind of watching as well, which was kind of cool. Got to enjoy some... Was Sophie that he was playing? That's an Atlee or Sophie. Makes me want to play the, uh... <laughs> wow. Oh, the Atelier games. Yeah, he kind of wants this game to just be over with. He doesn't want to go overtime, and I thought we were going to have it end, but... I have a bad feeling we're going to have to redo this. It's going to extend a little too far. We may even get overtime, so we're not even going to get Q&A. That's kind of lame. That's whatever. I wanted to just check out what the ending is. I, I have no interest in the evil within. It doesn't look like a bad game. It looks like an okay game. I just... <laughs> sure. Yeah, he's, he is rushing through it. all no, of it. You can see on the screen, I never touched it. Uh, nice you kind of did. You kind of did, Phil. You see, you see, you see this thing right here. See this because I'm seeing it. You, you kind of did. I'm sorry, but you, you kind of did. If you walked forward a little bit, you could have avoided it. But because he was so impatient, he walks through it, and boom, boom goes the dynamite. Sure. Of course, I touched it. No, I didn't. You can see on the screen, I never touched it. Nice hitbox. Nice hit back. Was it not correct? Dumb thing. Uh, don't worry, he'll beat it. I have absolute faith that he'll beat it. He's just rushing it right now, and he really needs to stop rushing it. Nice, got it. Evil Within is pretty good. There's a doll out in it. Some people say the second game is a bit better. Yeah, that's what I, uh, that's what I hear a lot from it. There, just like before, I did exactly the same thing, and this time it says I didn't touch it. <laughs> Yeah. You see how he went even closer up to the wall this time and he did it actually correctly? Because he was patient this time? I didn't touch it the first time either. And he is just being irrationally angry over this. He doesn't need to. There are no commands in the... the uh... I didn't touch it. It was to the left. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Look at that. Look at this shit. You can see where he does it, too. So it's this one right here. It's going to end right here. Because you see where the angle is? It's going to end right here, which means he has to go up and around. Man. He goes right through it. He tries to shortcut it. I didn't touch it. It was to the left. <sighs> he really is just impatient today. What do you want me to do? He is super impatient. Stupid. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to finish uh, Alien Isolate. Well, shit. No, I shouldn't promise that. I'm going to try another session of Alien Isolation. I don't know. If, I'm not going to promise, like, finishing it immediately. I want to get through the thing. I also don't know what I want to play. You know what? I thought I had the, uh, the DLC, by the way, for, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Outlast. And I found out I don't. <laughs> I'm not touching the fucking wires. Oh, uh, no. Wow, this the is The thing dumb. isolation. Please, no. I'm not touching the wire. Fuck hey, good this. Good morning, Homer. Let's do this at the end of the game when you're about to finish the game. Let's put this shit in, right? You stupid fucking asshole. What's the next ghost hunting stream? Um, I'll try and have it 
for maybe Friday, if not Sunday. Uh, yeah, he's rushing even more now. He's just he's just trying to speed run it now. Hey, he's fucking really yeah, pissed fucking off at it. it. <laughs> one of these segments I was supposed to know there was a pool of blood at least it was a checkpoint oh man he's uh he does not want to next, next shot I mean, the whole portion of that was just Whoa. to kind of pay attention. <laughs> but he's not paying attention to any of it. He just wants this game to be over with. Man. Come on, calm down. To be enjoying this. It's the end it's of the game. But he's so worried he's going to go into overtime territory. He's got to finish it in like the next 18 fucking minutes. And he'll he'll be able to do it. There's no way the game will last that long. As if we were just here. Because we literally were. It's the same exact area we were just in. But yeah, the sound effects are tied just, uh, over to Twitch. To the game They're not in you uh, YouTube. So. Uh, save the game. Not upgrade. They destroyed the upgrade chair. And if it gets a, no too obnoxious, I'll, uh, I'll, get it, I'll kill it off for a bit. Fair enough. At this point, I don't think any upgrades really going to help me out too much anyway. There we go. All right. John, don't right. ever ask another chatter for their address and phone number in the chat. If you do, I'm going to ban your ass. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Okay. You know, that stuff's not allowed, man. Not a joke. Yeah, it's not a joke. Don't ask for personal information, man. It just, there's tons of missteps and they can't be a chill. It can't be. We're almost here. Help! Help! <laughs> 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 the little fucking goat laugh he did. Yeah. Yeah. Not again with this shit. Sebastian, get away from him. Sebastian, listen to me. Stop. Your interests are the same as ours. As ours. Look, I get it. You're not just some rookie detective, and this is not just some ordinary kid. You killed Joseph and you shot me. So right at this moment, that's enough reason for me not to trust you. You're a good man. That's why I... <sighs> Doesn't matter anymore. If you know who this kid is, if you know anything, you know why he can't be allowed to live. Bullshit. It's Rubik. He's the one that... Yeah, the views haven't been doing that well on YouTube. Me, uh... Take a look at the, the views at the moment. Because at the moment, for his playthrough, like, there's really not a whole lot going on in the channel. We're really not. About it. Um... I search up evil within and it'll be the only results or is it going to be the old stuff no it's going to be the new stuff so some of the earlier ones were pretty good his part one did good 3.9 um and then 1k views and they they've held pretty steady for about 1k views or and, and some such but it's not even close to anywhere uh his old shit used to be and look at this part five it's 10 minutes and he got 20 fucking k views eight years ago that's doing a hell of a lot better than his shit right now uh but yeah even his uh latest react that he did where is it the rob gavigan shit isn't even really doing that great rob gavigan 1 1.4 1 1.5 899 and it's already been a day and it's kind of gonna taper off and if you don't get views within the first 72 hours it's basically dead <sighs> it's basically dead oh well what are you gonna do By the way, I'm eating dinner soon. <laughs> okay. What? 
What did that have to do with anything? <laughs> By the way, I'm eating dinner soon. A and? Was it because of the environment? Because it has nothing to do with food and it's... it's I mean, it's kind of gross. <laughs> you better run for your life. Uh, boss. Oh no, you got grabbed by the funnel boss and they instantly killed. Wow. Oh, no. <sighs> That's pretty good. Darn. Here we go again. Yeah, I kind of have. <laughs> he instantly grabs your dead oh. again. He's just. He is not really. He's not <laughs> taking it slow. He's just constantly getting got. The final boss. Here comes the sand. It's gonna grab you, the final boss. Yeah, he's coming for you. Final boss. Final boss. Yeah, final boss. <laughs> he's coming for you. Yeah, it's almost like the same level you of uh, run, all the employees. I don't think anybody's gonna make this into a, you know, a song for him to have play on his uh, stream. Especially because you have all the side noise that's going on too. So it doesn't really make it a good song for him to like have during his pre stream. What are they gonna do? They're gonna catch him as he says, final boss, final boss, yeah. And you're just hearing like nothing but slams of cars and vehicles and shit. That's not gonna make for a good song. Why streaming? I don't know. I felt like it. Why not? The final boss. I feel like he's had a new song within uh, the last year or so. But it was a remix of an old song. So it doesn't really count. <laughs> but I mean, there could be somebody. I, I, You know what? I bet you Derek loves making music. Do you remember all those times that Derek, like, sung? <laughs> I was watching, uh... No. Dude. No, I know I was watching. There was somebody who, uh, it's like the Derek Archive, right? Very exciting. Yes, Derek Watch. Derek Watch. Hold up. So Derek Watch got a couple of songs. You got, like, uh, such amazing hits like uh, All Star. This was a really good song. Uh, no problem, Stella. You guys both deserve the mods because I need I need them as uh, band of power. trolls that come into my chat. The With my of justice, I bash the enemy it's actually, so. Uh, I am Pencilhead. That was pretty good. I am son of Pencilhead. We erased crime two generations ago. Mm -hmm. Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. How long ago was this? Somebody 2018. Once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. She was kind of dumb with her finger and Well, the years stopped coming and it don't stop coming. Fed to the room and hit the ground running. Didn't it make sense to live for fun. But your head gets done. So much to do, so much to see, so much to take in the bad streets. You never know if you don't go. Oh, yeah, yeah this is Derek from four oh, years ago. Hey now, you're not a star. Get a show on. Hey now, you're a rock star. Oh, man. <laughs> this is pretty good. This is archived, by the way, so that way uh, it'll never go away. Uh, but that was during his stream. And there's also <laughs> Little Dirk Steve Keith. This is, uh, <laughs> this yeah, is some good yeah, shit. Yeah, I, I do stream from cell phone. Cell phone looks awesome. I have an iPhone 7. <laughs> he has an iPhone, iPhone 7, 7 the best, actually. Hell it's yeah. Hell yeah. I wonder if there's any other songs we, we should sing before I go. Hmm. Chief yeah, I know he doesn't know the words. Mm, oh god. It's one of those It's one of those rap songs, I mean probably. Oh god. 
Now the porn had already been destroying his mind. He was already deep into the porn by now. People just started noticing. <laughs> yeah, Derek's a glory boy. <laughs> <laughs> Glory, oh boy. <laughs> gang, 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 gang. <laughs> Fucking A. Uh, Derek is a, a very meme lord. He's such a memey boy. Come on. <laughs> Look at that, we didn't miss anything. He's still doing the game. Boy, guys, you didn't miss anything. There's some really suspicious videos on his channel. And I don't want to think about doing the, uh, the adventure of finding his subs again. That shit was scary okay. as hell. Alright, we beat the game? I mean, it, it kind of just exists. Maybe it's because everything's super bright. This doesn't face me as much. Really? Did we? Why? How did we fuck that up? Really well How did he? Oh my god. <laughs> this guy is such a. I remember hating this the first time I played it too. I such a really fucking, fucking clown. How do we fuck that up? Yo, roll it back. What? Oh, no, he got him. He got him. I was about to say, don't tell me twice. I'm not even looking. You're going to be mad. All right. Achievement. One of the many defeated the ultimate evil within. Hey, he said it. He said the line. That was the final boss. I'll give him a rounding wow. golf clap. There you go. You did it. Yay, Phil. You did it. Hooray. He's going to wrap this up, like, super quick, too. I think we were going to have enough for a QA. and a <laughs> How long has he been in the machine, right? He has no idea when he really arrived here or how he even ended up in it. Hey, what's up, August? I created what's this operation? world. That's right. You cannot keep me here. Let that go for a bit. Rubik. I'm going to finish this. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not even necessarily because he didn't get a hat. I think he's just, he's out. Like, he's going to do, like, the quickest of quick reviews now. Because it's right around clock out time anyway. He'll, he'll, like, speed read it when he's going through the credits. Stomp it. And that's the end of that. Sign, sir. Or is it? Look, what is this? Leave that one. And those two. They're not going anywhere. No one can.
So it's a cryptic ending. What does that mean, right? We had already seen scenes where he was in that machine with her looking at him a couple times during the game. So what just happened? <clears throat> ah, is he still in there? Does he think he escaped? But he didn't. <coughs> No, I don't think he'll do a Q&A. Like, yeah. It's so close to clock out time. If he does q and A, I'm going to be fucking shocked. Absolutely stunned. It would be like no more than 15 minutes. Yeah, I mean, he's not going to play it because he has too many quote-unquote games that he needs to play right now. But I mean, it's whatever. He's skipping half the games that he said he was going to play anyway. Someone's missing. So it's kind of whatever. Withers Leslie. So that's Leslie's pod. Where did he go? Will he play Gotham Knights? Apparently he's going to possibly put it on back hold. Because what I'm hearing is he's going to play uh, Rabbids. And I think that's just going to uh, take over that spot. Because he was promising to do both, but apparently not. And he's pretending like the, uh, what is it, the DLC for Resident Evil 8 is going to take a whole lot of time, which it's really not. Go, go, go! Detective, are you all right? Is there anyone else? Just give me some real fresh air. Real? What's real? Yeah, Rabbids is turn-based. It's like a uh, tactical RPG of sorts. Well, I mean, I guess it's not really turn-based. That well, it kind of is. Yeah, it kind of is. It is turn-based. Because I can't remember if they said, like, you can kind of freely move about Leslie. and you could switch in and out of turns. So it's kind of like when it's your turn, anybody within your turn no can move kind of thing. Right. So it's one of those situation type deals. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I thought it was only going to be like, what, fucking no more than eight hours. So if it's four hours, it's like, okay, he can play that in one session, if not two. I don't know why he's making a big deal out of it. But apparently Friday Night Fights is going to come to a conclusion for this so week. So when this game first, you know, and then it's just released going and away. I beat it, I mean, everyone At least the for question. questionable Did about amount of time. Ruvik? Was Ruvik really the villain? Was it Leslie all along? Because you don't really know. Did he actually escape the machine? Not quite like this guy, per se. Or is this se. all bullshit, and he's actually still in it the It is more like XCOM, but I've never played escaped, XCOM, so I can't tell you. Who was Kidman working for? Who was it that wanted Leslie dead and felt that Leslie was even more of a threat than Ruvik? Right? All these questions. I wonder if he's going to, like, minimize. And what ended up happening was... <laughs> he skipped. They released he didn't want to play the music. three different DLCs... Kidman! ...to answer all the questions, which they mostly did a good job of wrapping up. Then when the sequel came out, it was a little weird because if I remember correctly, when the sequel comes out, it kind of retcons a couple of things a little bit. Um, but it's still good if if you if you like this playthrough, um, and you're gonna play the game for yourself, I will recommend that you play the DLCs because they give you more story. At the same time, it's annoying you have to pay to get the true. It should have been ended chopped already, to be honest. It's bullshit. We didn't I already ended, feel right? like uh, we don't even know what just happened. So I feel like Jax is, is really going to have to donate a hundred bucks regard. Um, for the next the like he did this last time. If you remember the last time Jax had to donate for like the going away, the last hoorah of a fighting game, he came in and did a hundred dollars. So he's going to have to do the same exact shit again for the fucking fighting game collection. He did that for thirtieth. And then 30th came back, and then it went away again, and then he had to give money. He's going to have to do it kind again. Kind of weird. It was a, very, a big mix for lame. me, because a lot of people were really, really praising this game, and a lot of people were really, really hating on it. And I remember kind of being middle of the road. There's definitely parts of this game that I really enjoy, and I definitely think there's parts of this game that are a misstep. That whole last chapter sucks. All it is is a bunch of enemy gauntlets 
that are ridiculously silly and unfair, and then a boss fight that's out of nowhere Liam doesn't play unfair. out like the rest of the game. It's just so weird. Like, think about it. That final boss fight, it doesn't uh, matter what just upgrade you bought, right they affect now. nothing. We beat the Basically, game. All the upgrades you did we were loving the game. Two gauntlets and now the boss, we kind of don't like the right? game. The enemy gauntlets and then the, the, the double box. Well, have fun with this. Once you killed the double box, man, you beat the game. You see? Nothing else really mattered up to that point. Um, Such a shitty game. You played it twice. I still think the game is, is fun and unique. And there's I'm the just thing. a little sad. And the reason I'm sad is because this game is fun and unique. franchise where Shinji Mikami was going to say, hey, this will be new survival horror. Forget about Resident Evil, which Capcom has botched. I'm going to now take the reins again and do my own thing. Sadly, this game doesn't feel original. It feels like it's like Resident wait, Evil third person wait, game gameplay. Wait, 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 wait. I thought it was unique. Hold on, what? Um, I still think the game is, is fun and unique. He just said it was fun and unique. And then here, he's like, it's not fun and unique. Paired with a new plot, but it has a lot of missteps. And the game sold well. The first hold on, hold on. Hey, this will be new survival horror. Forget about Resident Evil, which Capcom has botched. I'm going to now take the reins again and do my own thing. Sadly, this game doesn't feel original. If if it's fun and unique, then how the hell is it not original? What's the point of calling something unique if it's not original? The, the whole point of it being unique is it's not original. Feels like it's like Resident it's, Evil third-person game. It's well, no, I mean it is original. But, with what, a new plot, but fucking, it has a lot of missteps. Oh my god, and the fuck game off! Sold well, I hate his words here. so much. His words really, are really meaningless. Well because, they um, seep was, into they me, and now I have to shit fucking out of it. That's they say things that are stupid. Like it had a ton of advertisement behind fucking it, a. so everyone bought it and played it. The second one these had words no advertisement. And Fun and unique, and now this unoriginal. Is dead well, it was probably it pretty original if it was unique. In reality, in reality to everyone's feedback about the this truth of the game, matter is, the second one doesn't have uh, as many annoying enemy gauntlets. Has a lot the more reason scares, is thus, a lot more plot, side content that's meaningful, things and <clears> such, <throat> and, and just thus, overall, the game robust, feels like a much better complete picture. Uh, as mishmash, to this one you're like, wow, I beat the whole thing. I don't uh, feel like I did because there was no answer. Right? Um. Um, so it sucks because I really feel like <laughs> if the second one had done well, very well, this franchise may have actually ended up being a mainstay in survival horror. Yeah, but now, all it kind of is is a footnote now. in history. Two games, a few DLCs. That's it. There's no not ever. There's never going to be another Evil Within. It's over. They've already said it's done. Um, and okay. now Resident Evil has come out of retirement. With seven, eight, and the recent remakes of two and three and four, yeah, it was in retirement. Year. And now Resident Evil seems to be the prominent and predominant survival horror franchise once no again. No way. So, yeah, it's a little, it's a little disappointing for sure. Because, <laughs> it's disappointing. Uh, but he's gonna I, love I playing like Resident games. Evil I really uh, like this eight DLC. Evil Within Two is my favorite. I love it. I love Evil Within Two. Um, I'm very sad that the franchise is now it's done. It's a fun and, game uh, style game. We're not gonna see anything else, <laughs> you know. But Fucking anyway, game really style game. Fuck it, eh? Thousand skill points. I'm really happy to have played this again with you guys. Uh, um, never gonna come back. Eight to it, years later, way. to re-experience it. Although I really feel my op op uh, opinion about it has not changed at all. There's good parts. There's bad parts. It does good copy a little bit too parts. much out after Resident Evil. Bad it has a lot of missteps. So, Holy sixteen and a half hours. Sixty-eight hour. total deaths. Wow. Might as well save. Although I don't know if I'll ever. Like I said. I would have to rebuy the DLCs in order to play them because I and that costs money and we don't want to do I really that. I don't feel like I want to do that right now. Maybe maybe one day if you guys really wanted to see them, and of course maybe one day I'll play the Evil Within Two again. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, this was a perfect early October DSP playthrough. Signing Thank off. You to those who voted to see Evil Within. And then do a salute. Time. Signing I off. Salute. Prayer hands. Those of you who showed up. Sign and off. This salute. Throughout. Prayer um, hands. Come on. Sign off. And I hope that you all had a good time. DSP right, guys, signing thank off. Thank you so much. And uh, till next time, will we ever see more Evil Within content? Likely no. The Who franchise knows? is dead, but it definitely stands as an interesting footnote in history. And I was glad to see it again, interacting with you guys this time eight years later. All right, guys, thank you so much for Evil Within. This is Prayer Dark Side Phil signing off. Dude, dude, dude. How? I'm like fucking psychic. Prayer Hands signing off. My God, peace out. out. Punch my microphone. Suck my dick. In fervent Suck my fucking excitement dick. Excitement, because the game is over. Thank Suck you. Suck my goddamn dick.
He's okay. so predictable. Guys, that is it. And I mean, so predictable. Timing, right? We can't change anything. I thought we, I honestly, we can't change we anything. Extra time. I had completely <laughs> forgotten. What are the lottery um, numbers? Uh. I completely forgotten about three, nine, that, that 22, 27, so and 33. Realize how much longer we were gonna have. And if you need a sixth number, uh, right. 37. Thank you guys for being here. And again, to those who did support, I appreciate If you want that. anything, let me know. Um, there is a second stream tonight, 6.45 p.m. That is Monday, Monday Night, night bites. bites. Normally, it would be Sunday Night Bites. Monday Night Bites, Bassmaster <laughs> Fishing Chill Fun. Oh, man. Um, Do I want to restream that? For that? That's Maybe. mostly interaction and us talking. Well, there is some, you know, fishing gameplay there as well. Tomorrow I'm gonna cover is the, the official no. beginning of non-stop, constant new release content. Tomorrow it is Plague Tale. I don't know Requiem if the stream was on the first watching. stream premiering. I watched some of it, but not all of it. On the late stream. I just remember so, he talked ready, about uh, new game, game content. Something. Please be here tomorrow. Also, on the late stream tonight, I'm going to decide what game I'm going to play starting Friday. It's either no going to be Mario way. plus Rabbids. It's going to be Mario. Um, it's going to be Mario, 100%, a million percent. Of but Mario plus Rabbids 2 or Gotham Knights. I'm going to think Dude. about it. I'm going to determine that tonight. Dude. Okay, guys? He has been sucking the hell off of Mario and Rabbids. There is no way it's not going to be Mario and Rabbids. I don't even know why he's pretending that there is an option. He has been sucking it off nonstop. Somebody told him that I got an 85 earlier. And he's like, oh, he's super pleased. He's going to play it. Guys, hope to see you tonight. Again, 6.45 p.m. Pacific. Open my eyes. Chill with me tonight. That'd be great. I'm kind of looking not, down. I'll see you all tomorrow. All right, guys. Thank you. Have a good break. See you later. Peace out. <laughs> well, so much for the Q&A. Uh, that ended with a whimper. I... That was pretty good. So I guess the question is, does Anne want to wait around and then do the restream for tonight? Or does Anne want to do a, an actual I could do a restream. Because I actually don't even know what I want to do. But yeah, it's going to be 100% Mario. There's no way it's not going to be Mario. Don't do it. Yeah, you're just saying that because... Uh, you're just saying that because you don't want me to. Hey, waiting styles for uh, stream. Kind of. I think he did pretty good. He was at 65 bucks. He was at sixty-five dollar reduce. He he made he he made some good money today. Although I guess if you don't count uh, one minute man, a lot of people don't count one minute man. At least nowadays they don't. Yeah, this is the DSP waiting room. Uh, yeah, I should put it to an official poll. What did you miss? Not a whole lot actually. Up to you. Sorry about before. Was just surprised you were covering the evil within conclusion. Eh, I don't know. I was just... I guess I was just really, really bored. I don't feel like eating right now. Because, I don't know, I just don't feel really, really well. And then... Give a third option. The spiel was awful. Yeah, let's listen to the spiel. I just can have fun with that, right? Uh... Bu -bu -bu Let's kill off DSP's chat for a sec. Need that anymore. And let's go to the raw DSP really quick. This way I can react to this. Down here on level one. Add week after week after week of absolutely unseasonably warm weather. Oh shit, that's we what's the weather segment. I don't even want to listen to the weather segment. Let's just skip ahead. For the game, most people I like how bright like, yeah, everything was. So that was pretty good. I am looking forward to more of that. Um, and then, of course, later on this week, on Friday, it's a double new release day, and I yeah, need to make a true decision. Am I going to play if with sucks, the new Mario I can plus do, uh, Rabbids and called Sparks of Hope or something like that? Or am I going to play uh, Gotham Knights? And God, let me tell you guys, I've been weighing and balancing the options here in my head. I've been listening to your feedback over the past you know couple what? of I days. I should have some different music. Um, we don't need spooky. I am actually going to make time. a determination by the end of today. Because <laughs> I feel that there's pros and cons to both. I feel that there's people who want to see both. There's people who are going to be disappointed with both. 
Um, so I'm balancing all these options in my head right now, and I'm He's going not to pick Gotham. decide. So please, He's going to pick uh, Mario not Rabbids. Yet. Give me your opinion on which of these games you want to see me play starting on Friday. Now would be the time. All right, I need you know your. What? How about we do a comparison? They'll give us shit to do while we're waiting inevitably. You know what? I've made up my mind. <laughs> I don't stream often on YouTube. I might as well stream today on YouTube. That can be like the thing that I do today. I'm going to do a stream on YouTube. This also gives me the freedom to literally fuck around and do whatever the fuck I feel like, which is basically just dumb shit. This is a dumb shit day for me. Yesterday was a chill stream. This is even the chiller stream. This is like the chilliest stream. This is like super chill. 9,000. Maximum. Uh, but uh, let's take a look. All right. So it's uh, Mario and Rabbit. But the Mario and Rabbid Sparks of Hope trailer. Let's take a look at the trailer really quick. I want to see uh, how cool this was. This was from Nintendo of America. Cinematic launch trailer. Holy shit. The story trailer. Oh, man. I don't know which one I want to spoil myself on. Cinematic launch or, sp or the fucking story. You know what? We're going to do the cinematic one. Because this one has more content. And it was more recent. We are now approaching our destination. You can enjoy the Mario. Should probably reverse here, by the way. I just realized, like, he's looking in a different way every single time. That's because I have it on mirror. There we go. I think it's little dual guns that he's got. He's got dualies. Oh. Cool. Hell yeah, Bowser's with us. He's got the Halo guns. <laughs> what the fuck? This game's fucking wild as shit. He's gonna love it. He's gonna absolutely love the shit out of this game. I have no intention of playing this game. This is a hard pass for me. I didn't play the first one. I don't want this one. Even with my main man Luigi in here, I don't want to play this. Plus, the other thing is, like, I don't even get the appeal for rabbits. Does somebody think these are cute? I mean, okay, some people thought minions were cute. But do those people think that rabbits are cute? Maybe. I kind of just hate how they have this flesh color. I, I really don't. It just, they look like bugs. They look like bugs with ears. I just, I don't, I don't like them. Yeah, they're kind of like minions. He is going to kill the ever-living shit out of his fucking fan base if he's going to force them to sit through, like, that kind of combat. This is the same shit that he did last time with, um, 
with uh, Fire Emblem. But, I mean, it's not to say that Fire Emblem is bad, but it, it takes specific content creators to kind of, like, carry people through that. You can't, you can't expect an audience to just, like, uh, pile on there, like, yeah, man, this is going to be pretty cool. I don't know. I would like it if Rayman was in the game, too. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. But I, I don't, I don't fucking care. So, it's a whatever. What's the other game that he said he was going to play? Or, wait, it's like Gotham Knights? Gotham Knights. Trailer. I want to see the trailer. And he's definitely not going to play this because he already got turned off the moment he heard 30 FPS. Actual gameplay? Yeah, you know what? We'll look at the... No. Actually, do we even want to look at the gameplay? Or do we want to look at the world premiere trailer? Oh, no, no. That was two years ago. Okay, we're not... <clears throat> we're not looking at that. Cinematic launch. Nah, we gotta look at the gameplay. The gameplay is probably the most important. Bruce was Gotham. Hey, he's not gonna play it on PC, so that's a hundred percent no. A mentor, a protector. You've always had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. The ongoing spree of homicides and kidnappings across the city. Police are now urging citizens to remain indoors. Let's knock some heads. Eh, I mean, it looks okay. Presuming this is actual gameplay. But I mean, most of this is in gameplay. Like, right now, so far, what's being showcased is, like, 50% cinematic. So I don't like when it says official gameplay launch trailer, because most of this is not gameplay. Let's play! Tonight is mine! We always said people needed something to believe in. Yeah, there was Bruce very Sonic. little gameplay in this. Like, that might be gameplay. I can't tell. <laughs> yeah. and, and you know what? This isn't even true gameplay because I haven't slowed down. So it's kind of hard to tell even what this is. Like, look at this. That's cinematic. That might be gameplay. That might be gameplay. But it's very deceptive. Very deceptive. Yeah, that was like super deceptive. Yo, they were making it where you couldn't even fucking tell what frames it, it was supposed to be running at. They were like, okay, we'll just kind of like enhance it a bit, slow it down, you know, give it a little blur and shit. It's like, whatever. It kind of, it makes you feel like that's the game, but it's not the game. And it's it really isn't the game. It looks like false advertising. It's kind of bordering it, but none of that there doesn't even make any fucking sense. And I was watching that at fucking 1080p, so I don't know. That was very suspicious. That girl have a fat ass. I don't think she had a fat ass. I don't know. I gotta take a look again. I wasn't looking at her ass. Have ass. It kind of has her ass. They're always uh, mm. like you can't tell from this. No, I don't think she has a fat ass. I think it's kind of slim. Yeah, you might be disappointed, ass men of the world. You may be disappointed. We may not have any bat girl ass. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Aww. We'll just have to live without it. Oh well. But yeah, those are the two games he's having to choose through. And I don't think he's going to play the Gotham Knights. Because if it's like that, I'm presuming it's co-op. You probably can play it single player. But he has way too much attachment to uh, Mario and Rabbids. Although nothing stops him from playing one or the other like 
days or weeks later. It, it actually just doesn't matter. He's just kind of doing it just to be an asshole, I guess. 105? Uh... That, well, it's, it's a different trailer. 105 is fucking Robin. Which is... <laughs> I don't know. I I look at this scene right here where it's like, <laughs> he's doing this little flip thing. I have to assume that's in-game because it, it feels like it's in-game, but it's kind of doctored in such a way where it's like, okay, have character look over to the right and then resume. Yeah, and he doesn't even finish the whole animation. <laughs> he doesn't even finish the whole goddamn thing. Get out of here. Our fucking lies. Our and here's why. I can only play one. I'm already going to have Plague Tale going. There's no way I'm beating Plague Tale in two days. It's going to be a oh, much shit. longer That's game. That's the than other that. thing too. He's like complaining about how he's having to play Plague Tale and everything, right? And that's going to take a bunch of time. But I mean, in reality, Plague Tale's not going to take that much time. Not just for Thick Girl. No. You're going to send me something sus. How sus is this? No, I'm going to preview the susness right now. If this is too sussy, uh, we're putting you in timeout. I am out for susness. No, this is sus. This is totally sus. No, get out of here. <laughs> Why are we doing this? <laughs> no, get get the fuck out of here. I'm not fucking playing that. So I'm gonna have to balance Plague Tale with. Uh, the oh shit! I should probably boost his volume. I keep forgetting that during these segments, like he has nothing for volume. Other, what other, whichever other game I start playing on Friday, but then I only have a week. To play Plague Tale and whatever game I choose for Friday, because a week after that is the release of the Resident Evil 8 DLC, which is both story and online play, and then also Modern Warfare 2, which is has a campaign. Yeah, but I'm not doing that. A lot of Get out of here. This is play. too early for so, sus hours. We need to have this. With all uh, that coming up, um, I definitely feel like I, I can only play one game right now. Now, don't worry if, I, if there's. Let's say, for example, let's say I choose Mario and I don't play Gotham Knights. That doesn't mean I'm not playing Gotham Knights. It just means I'm not playing it now. See? There will be ample opportunity. Hey, so why are we even making a big deal about this vote? He's going to play both of them anyway. Uh, he's just going to play Mario and Rabbits now. That's just, it's going to be what it is. Later this year, after all the new releases of November and the first half of December, when things start to calm down, 103, I can I'm not jump going in and back. play whatever game I didn't play. I'm not Same going thing, back. if I choose Gotham Knights on Friday, I could easily play Mario plus Rabbids later on this year as well as a more as a more chill playthrough later on in the year. But <laughs> chill play uh, essentially, I can only play one of the two and just to reiterate why this is such a tough decision i don't think either choice is perfect if i play mario plus rabbits do you want to know the truth i do yeah. feel it's going to be the better game i love the, the last <laughs> mario plus rabbits game from what is it's it gonna like be the better game ago. we can't play i it. thought it was unique too good it was exciting it was interesting gameplay elements the story was quite good all yeah, right he's already saying but... all the buzzwords he's saying all the buzzwords that he said for the fucking evil within it was unique it was exciting it was fun he said those same descriptors for the evil within and look how he rated the evil within he fucking pooed on it the gameplay the gameplay plays like xcom those who've played xcom or seen xcom know it's not a riveting game it's very very strategy oriented it's slow moving you have to pace yeah, out exactly it's not really unique. every little move on the grid this when you're doing combat and even though i really loved mario Dude, Rabbids, it's a play knock off two get out of here of the game people were bored and I lost more than half of my viewership for that playthrough. And You're for the wondering his obsession with the word unique. The reason why he uses the word unique is he doesn't really have a whole lot of, like, words to describe something. Unique can mean anything. Robust can mean anything. Flavorful can mean anything. Saltiness, tanginess, sweetness. It's like, it's all just filler words. They don't actually mean anything. You think they should mean something. But he went, when he uses those words, like... He uses them in conjunction with other words, and then he puts a word salad together. And then he'll go around and just immediately contradict it. It's like, well, why did you even say those words in the first place? Because he has no other way to describe a thing. He just doesn't. So I hate it whenever he whips out his English dictionary and he wants to come up with a word. Because ultimately it's just going to boil down to, he was excited and supported with the money from the stream. Like, yeah, that's basically it did you get money yes well you loved it maybe i don't know by the way the game was lengthy i remember it being very long i want um, to use the word girthy one day that'd the be only cool. reason <laughs> you know what keep... i want to see hold up i, I want to check out pig pig go really quick has he ever used the word girthy he could have i want to say 
That's, that's very... Oh my god, dude, he's actually said the word girthy. No the fuck way. No way. Earlier. It's very large and girthy and boom! He actually has said the word girthy before. Holy shit! It was actually kind of recent too. It was in March. Or no, in May. In May. Dude, he said the word girthy. He actually code penis, as I said earlier. It's Wait, what? Large. Wait. Wait. No, I gotta hear that. What's the fucking context on that? Are you talking about a penis? Yes. Yes. Okay. PK UMI or PK UMI says, How do you handle all the trolls? I slap them with my E ASCII code penis, as I said earlier. It's very large and girthy and boom. No, I just ignore them. <sighs> well, I mean, he at least used the word correctly. I just, you know, I was expecting something else. Actually, I don't even know what I was expecting. I really don't. Sometimes I expect so much out of him, and then I realize, like, nah, you shouldn't do that. Keep up with that playthrough the way that you really I did shouldn't. was because, number but one, did use it was actually one. during a, a slower time of the year. At that time, I think, I want to say it was, like, early fall. It was either, like, summer or early fall, times? I believe, when I was playing it. So uh, there wasn't other, a lot of other competition of other games to be played. He only said and it in addition, four times. I did have a small group. <laughs> Dude, he's only said the word girthy four times. It's very large and girthy. Oh, you want a big girthy bubble blow, huh? Girthy bubble blow. And then, whoa, hollow shell girthy 20 members at. I don't even know what the fuck that was. It was from 2017. But four times you said the word girthy. What's this one? Whoa, hollow shell girthy 25% bonus to pull. <laughs> it's just mistaking him saying the word grants with girthy. So that's that doesn't even count. So he's only said girthy three times in his entire fucking history. So big ups. He learned girthy sometime in 2020 and he's never used it again. Oh well. Of very dedicated viewers and fans who liked that playthrough. And I mean small. You know, normally on a stream I get what? For a new game, 300 Maybe I'll use viewers, it now that I said it. Some more. I want him to say that girthy. Game, I was barely getting 200. Okay? But... <laughs> I now particularly on, remember something's like in that small group, lasting too long. I want to say girthy. Small people who supported it in droves. They were coming to every street. You want a nice girthy bubble blow hat? And tipping. Keep in mind, this is back when I was on Twitch. <laughs> I hate devilish so they were faces making saying it. those streams <laughs> manageable and, 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 and supportable and, and maintainable. Oh, man. If it weren't for that small group of people, that playthrough would have been dead and I would have had to drop it. You see? And I don't like making those decisions, especially when I'm enjoying a game. But not only yeah, am I doing this for the rare. fun of gaming, but I'm also running a business and I have to make important decisions like that. <laughs> I gotta run a business, guys. I gotta make important decisions. This game has to be girthy enough for me to get some very robust tips. Very sensual tips. If the game isn't girthy, people aren't gonna tip. So. Yeah, so. <laughs> knowing full well Mario plus Rabbids is the better game doesn't necessarily mean that Mario plus Rabbids will be the better playthrough. It very well may be boring to the majority of my audience, and half the time I'm playing uh, it next this week, is what he's scared it is of, boring and not show up. Now, I'm in the midst of the busiest gaming season of the year. I need to be bringing Bruh. people to the channel. Right, he's been saying this shit for, like, legit months. You remember when he was, like, all get No, because he was, like, July... Oh, no, he said June was a dead month. And he said July was a dead month. And he was saying, don't worry, by the time August comes up, we have so many games that we could be playing. And he said August was a dead month. And he said that's for September. He was like, yeah, we got so many robust games and everything. He was going to play all this cool shit. And then that turned out to be a bust month. And he's doing the same shit for October now. But we always talk about how this is like the start of the hardcore banging season and everything. But it seems to get pushed back by a month every single time. Because the game that comes out and he starts playing turns out to be a dud. How many new games has he played, like, actually within the last two months? I think it was, like, Stray and maybe Splatoon? And he quit on Splatoon. He didn't even really play Overwatch, so I don't even count that. <laughs> yeah, it was supposed to be Broketober, but he was, like... He was talking about the start of... The start of everything. The games have... Oh, they're supposed to be coming out. There's so many cool games and everything. Look how, how excited he was to play... What was that fucking game? Uh, fucking Saints Row. And then it turned out to be shit, even though everybody was saying it was going to be shit from the get-go. And he kept drumming it up over and over and over again. And then when it came out, it's like, nah, the game doesn't exist anymore. 
I don't know. He's talking about Broketober, but I mean, realistically, what games is he actually going to buy this year? It's going to be Mario and Rabbids and like maybe two other games. And he's going to call himself broke from it. The point of me covering all the hot new games is to make sure that I'm getting more attention for DSP gaming, especially because Super we have had a very did, slow uh, summer come through, where it was so I gotta very give hard that. to maintain the viewership I had simply because there was nothing new coming out that was a consensus was good. So because of that, it was hard to bring anyone new to the channel. That's why memberships dwindled. That's why attendance was lower on a lot of streams. Yeah, but Pokemon's in November, Because I was essentially I doing the Summer Dang. of Retro 2.0. I That's need odd. to be bringing people to the channel now playing the new games. Okay? So, what's the other option? Gotham Knights. Now, you might think Gotham Knights is a slam dunk. You know, it's it's supposedly going to be in the, in the vein of a spiritual successor to the Arkham series. It's Batman. People love Batman. It's going to have combat. It's going to be action focused. Of course, you'll probably have yeah, some he is interesting really stuff. Super villains. A new what's game. what's not to like? <clears throat> See, what's ended up happening? Except when you start diving a little deeper and you look at all the information about this game and you realize, look first him. of all, it's made by the studio that made Arkham Origins, not uh -oh. the Arkham Trilogy. This is a studio a that minute. made a game that most people say is Wait nowhere. a minute. You mean the thing that we've known about for years is actually coming to light that it may be a problem? Because this isn't new information. The, the fucking developers isn't new. They didn't just reveal, by the way, these are the people who fucking developed it. These are the people that made it. It's like, bro, you could have known that ever since it got announced. But now it's a problem for him. And you know why it's a problem? Because he's worried about like the negative reception that he's currently getting on uh, fucking Twitter and shit. And on YouTube, on, on social media. The problem, the problem that he's currently having and a lot of people have been saying it, and I've been saying it. Um, I'm just going to agree with everybody else. Game Pass has fundamentally fucked his thinking. Because now, Game Pass, what he believes is the, the way in which he can play all of his games. They're all new, they're all free, blah, 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 blah. Qu quote, unquote, free, right? It's warped his perception of understanding that as somebody who plays games... And as somebody who he's even saying right now in this explanation, in this explanation right now, chat, he literally just told us that he relies on new games to bring butts in the seats. If he wants the new, if he wants people to come in and watch his channel, he has to have new games being played. The problem that he has, he's not playing any new games. And the ones he plays, he outright quits them immediately. So he's fucking deathly afraid of like investing in anything right now because he doesn't know if it's going to turn well or not and the way game Pass has like kind of warped his mind is he doesn't believe he should pay for anything he should just automatically get access to the new fucking game that comes out but that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be good or bad it could mean that the game might not be so good dsp doesn't read at all doesn't expect him to learn new words yeah fair enough I was having tons of fun playing Origins in 2020 until it gave me a black screen loading. Yeah, fair enough. Looking after this free stream. So regarded. Man, I kind of wish I could. It's gaming, especially because we have had a very slow summer where but it was very hard to maintain the viewership I had simply because there was nothing new coming out that was a consensus was good. So because of that, it was hard to bring anyone new to the channel. That's why memberships dwindled. That's why attendance was lower on a lot of streams. And it's his fault. It's his fault because he can't make any game that he plays interesting. And he can't decide to play anything that's new. Instead, he moped around, constantly complained about him wanting to do retro playthroughs. Even though he ended up doing the retro playthroughs that he said he wanted to do. He did all of them, had low attendance, constantly bragged about how it had low attendance. And now he's hoping to God these games are going to bring in more, uh, more attendance. But the problem that he's having right now is these games probably won't. They're not going to attract a whole lot of people. And I think a lot of folks are going to be, like, flocking over to DSP Gaming to see Mario and Rabbids. It's just not going to happen. His big boost of eyes and even subs, just regular people subscribing to the channel, not even fucking being paid members, was all from the Street Fighter Six beta, which was fucking for free. You want to know why? Because it was something pertinent to DSP. Everybody wanted to see DSP rage, whine, and complain, and lose in a fighting game that was modern. They didn't want to see him play Street Fighter 2. They wanted to see him play Street Fighter 6. Because it's the closest thing they'll ever get to a fucking modern game because he'll never touch 5 or 4. 
And how did that turn out? He got a whole lot of people watching him, supporting him. He got a whole bunch of subs, but it didn't transfer him to any memberships or anything. So I guess that was pretty cool. But he was kind of bragging. He was low-key bragging. He was like, yeah, man, I got all these new subs from like playing these games. Oh, this is great. We got upwards trajectory. This is how I got 200,000 subs. I mean, now look at him. He's wallowing around in the same amount of members that we had yesterday and the day before that and the day before that and the day before that. And the day before that, we had like 50 more than what we have now. And we're complaining. That used to be the pro Th This right here used to be the problem because of the trolls. The trolls caused that two months ago. And now the trolls aren't causing that because the trolls aren't controlling like what games are being released. It's just DSP, you know, kind of being boring. And most people don't really want the goal. But he doesn't want to admit that. And he doesn't want to change the fucking goal amount. And he low-key doesn't want to. Because he doesn't actually care about whether or not he does it. It's a new idea that he fucking stole from somebody else. And he thinks, well, this would be pretty good. If I have this as my reward, and then we end up hitting it, oh, I can say it was successful. But if we don't hit it, I can say, well, it was not something that I normally do, and people didn't want it. And he can just drop it forever. And he'll have a new floor so he can set up his new Christmas goal. And he can, like, achieve it very safely. Which is probably what's going to happen. I have a prediction that in the next week, once we get another 50 or 100 drop, that new member's goal is going to sit at 500, and he's probably going to be somewhere at around like 390, and he'll get the 500. He'll get it for Christmas, and he'll do like a tier two for 550, and he'll pretend like he's going to drink or something. That's my prediction anyway. Yeah, he's got six days before the 100 drop. Yeah. He boycotted Bayonetta 3, but he was never going to do Bayonetta. He just loved the excuse with the voice actress because it was like, yeah, man, now I can say that the reason why I'm justified for not, like, buying into Bayonetta 3 is because of this voice actress nonsense. Well, I'm going to tell you something about this voice actress nonsense because I'm going to call it nonsense. And, and somebody's going to fucking hate me for this, and I don't even really fucking care. And, I'm, and, and you're going to understand the reason, hopefully. If she was under NDA and she came out and spoke about it and broke her NDA before the game released... Why are we speaking about it now? How come we didn't speak about it six months ago? It's not to say that she's doing it 100% for attention. I'm just saying she got some attention out of it. it. It honestly doesn't matter. It doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. People don't point to her and say that she is Bayonetta. If they do, then, I mean, congrats, I suppose. Maybe you should have took it for 4K. I don't fucking know. But she didn't, she clearly wanted the money out of it. She didn't get the money out of it anyway. So oh, whatever, somebody else got the money out of it. Was it scummy? Yeah, but I guess that's what happens when you're having to deal with these companies. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Also, her ego is off the charts? Probably. I don't even fucking know. I didn't even look at the tweets. I don't even know her fucking name. All I know is that apparently there was a video of her floating around there explaining how she was offered 4K or whatever. I, I didn't even watch the whole clip. Because I couldn't be fucked for it. And the, the only thing I was thinking of is, lady, the line of work you're in, you get paid for shit. You didn't have any agreement to do this for multiple games going forward. I don't know what to tell you. Somebody else got hired on and most people don't even tell the difference. Look, most people don't even fucking tell the difference. I guarantee you if they're going to be playing Bayo 3 and they were sitting there and congratulating her in the first place and they were like, nah, I wasn't even in it, fam. Then... They couldn't even tell. So what's that supposed to say? Anybody can play Bayo? Probably. I don't fucking know. But it's whatever, man. Am I going to play Bayo 3? Uh, I already pre-ordered it. So I'm going to get the collector's edition for it. I already got the physical for 1 and 2 as well for Switch. So probably in the future. I don't know. I would love to. I'd give it a shot. I got nothing against it. Most people didn't even know until she made the video. Exactly. So it's like, it's whatever. If none of this uh, came out, they would have just used someone else as a voice actor. Phil would never have noticed. Exactly, he wouldn't have noticed. But he loves the fact that this is a story so that way he can capitalize on it because it's like, well, look at me. I was justified. I should have never played Bayo 3. It was right for me to boycott them. But this is the same dude who was like so willing to jump on and play Overwatch 2, even though he fucking hates Activision. I thought we were supposed to hate Activision because of all the dumb things that are happening right now over there in those studios. All the allegations, all the sex allegations, right? Remember how that was a thing? But 
we're going and we're playing an Activision game. And wah, wah, you know, it, it's something different. I'm like, a, you know, a guy that has to cover all the new games. So it's important for me to do this. Uh, you guys don't need to do that. I need to, uh, you know, I need a shill or something. I don't fucking know. But isn't it ironic? Isn't it Shawn Michaels or something? As I was essentially doing the Summer of Retro 2.0. I need to be bringing people to the channel now playing the new games. Okay? So, by the way, why does he need to bring new people into the channel? Because he went off over and over and over and over again about how it doesn't matter about his views. It doesn't matter about him growing. It doesn't matter about him getting more and more attention. He's fine for where he is right now, as long as he can continue the support. So why does he need new people? He can't even handle the amount of people that he has right now. Look at what happened with Street Fighter 6. There were so many people chatting up in his fucking chat. And there were so many people asking for him to do the thing that he was supposed to do. That he got super mad and butthurt as he was losing over and over again as Chun-Li. That he got mad and blew up over his chat. Why? Because there were like 600 people talking? Bro, well, I know. It's probably out of control considering that you're used to the fucking chat being dead and you have to wake them up. He literally has to shake his laptop every now and then. It's like, are you guys alive? Is anyone talking? Nobody's talking. Maybe my shit froze. So, what's the other option? Gotham Knights. Now, you might think Gotham Knights is a slam dunk. You know, it's it's supposedly going to be in the in oh, the vein of a spiritual good to know, successor uh, to the Ark. She only worked on Bayo Two for a total of sixteen hours over four days, so might give a measure of three. Uh, would have been work wise. Then it is actually kind of interesting. If she only had to work a total of sixteen hours and the offer was four K. I mean, I get it. It's still a paltry sum if she believes that her character is worth more, but that's actually kind of telling. That is kind of telling. Arkham series. It's Batman. People love Batman. It's going to have combat. It's going to be action focused. Of course, you'll probably yeah, not watch the new Gundam villain. at the moment. What's, what's that to like? I'm really behind on a lot of shit. I've been streaming too Except much. Except when you start diving a little deeper and you look at all the information Work about this streams. game and you realize, first of all, it's made by the studio that made Arkham Origins, not the Arkham Trilogy. This is a studio that made the game that most people say is nowhere near as good as the Arkham Trilogy. I personally thought Arkham Origins was a ah, joke four and hours almost a felt like a fan rules. service game made by a bunch of fans of Arkham, not by professional game devs. The game was full of bugs. The game literally only played like Arkham because they actually hey, borrowed the gameplay elements of Arkham. They borrowed the code. They were allowed to. They didn't even make the code for the combat. Oh, man. So of course, it had good elements because they were stolen Dude. from the other games. Dude, we're making so many accusations right now. Is this even true? I don't even know. Can, okay, no. I'm not even going to ask for somebody to confirm that this is true. I'm going to go out on a limb and say this is probably partially true, but not quite. I don't think that they're borrowing 100% of like game mechanics from a game that existed so far away. I think they could have built off of that like idea and the premise of how it worked. But I don't think that they're borrowing the engine a hundred percent and it's not like exactly it's not like it's stolen if they own it they're not stealing it they're just repurposing it <laughs> like this is the same shit that you do with assets if you make a game and then you're going to make a sequel to the game and it's going to be within the same generation or whatever do you do you reuse the assets and say that they're stolen assets no that they're reused they're repurposed i mean you could say the same with engines if an engine worked for one game and you want to make a game three years later with the same fucking engine, you're not stealing the engine, you're repurposing it because you kind of own it. You don't rebuild it up from the ground up. That doesn't make any financial sense. So I get, I get what his complaint is, but his complaint is fucking stupid as shit. Exactly. Call of Duty uses the same exact fucking shit. Can we say that his office is stolen? I don't know. But everything they did that was original kind stolen. of was unpolished, buggy, and not very impressive. I actually felt like it was really poor compared to the mainstream uh, Arkham Trilogy. In addition, everything in, in this game is now pointing towards it being a co-op game. Meaning, the whole game was designed that you team up with someone else to beat up all the criminals in Arkham. There is no uh, counter so button we're in the game. I want to repeat myself. You can't counter attacks in Gotham Knights. All you can do is dodge out of the way. Yeah, it's taking away a critical gameplay this. element that everyone enjoyed in the Arkham franchise.
So I didn't know anything about this, but if this is the case and they're going to kind of coax you into playing co-op, which I'm going to assume it's either co-op or they're going to make you play with NPCs and shit, he's not going to play this. He's going to be like, man, uh, you know, that game's too old now. Nobody fucking cares, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to play it. <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's a different combat system, but it's the same combat system. They stole it, dude. Come in. They stole it from themselves. There's some issues in Arkham Origins I didn't like, but overall it was an okay game. I mean, I, I never played it, so I can't tell you one way or another. It's drop in and out so you can play it solo. There you go. But the way he's panicking about this right now, I have this suspicious feeling that the way he's got it organized in his head, tonight he's going to announce, guys, here's what we're going to do. We're going to play Mario and Rabbits. Why? Because I really, really love the game and it's really, really fun and you guys are going to love it. And then what he's going to end up doing afterwards, he's going to be like, it's going to be three weeks after the fact and he'll finally have some free time. And he's like, uh, DSP, are you going to play Gotham Knights? And he's like, no, there's other games I need to play at the moment. We're going to have to revisit it at a later date. And then it's going to be a later date. It's going to be like two months later and it's going to be like, Oh, DSP, are you going to play Gotham Knights? You said that you would do it when you had some free time. Uh, no, idiot. It's been two months. Nobody even fucking cares about that game. <laughs> and it'll be like that, and then it'll go away. That's exactly how it'll end up. It'll just go away just like that. And it'll be a laugh like that, too. You have to, you have to just picture it in your mind's eye. That's exactly how it's going to play out. Hey, what's up? It's SCP Sophie. Why? I don't get that. It's like they're trying to be original, but in their effort to be original, they're literally adding in things no one asked for and removing things everyone likes. That's not necessarily the way to make a good game. And, uh, you know, a lot of people who've been watching the footage of it and, and seeing the trailers and the previews are very critical and saying it doesn't look very good. It might be unpolished. It I might wonder be if a he mess, said this. Similar to Arkham Origin. Um, uh, he didn't however, see this. He didn't see it or say it. apparently got a copy of the game early. I guess they, they bought it from a store that was dumb and they gave it to them like, you know, almost a week early. And they didn't post up any spoilers on the internet like video-wise, but they said they played through the introduction of the game and they love it, that the game actually looks great. And I think that the game got a bad rap with what was being put out on the internet because after having played through a couple of hours of it, Wait. they're actually having a blast with it and it seems really, really good. Wait, I could have swore in this entire podcast, did he not go off on people potentially spoiling a game? He did, didn't he? I feel like this dude, somewhere at the end of this fucking rant, not this rant, but like the end of the pre-stream, the pre-stream podcast, he went off on a game and it was like, they can potentially spoil me because they got, dude, it was God of War. Yeah, dude, it was God of War. So wait, wait, this dude was like, hell yeah, somebody got an early review copy and they're telling me how it's a good game and this is a fun and positive thing. But sure enough, he's going to complain an hour into this later on. And he's going to be like, somebody's going to get an early copy of God of War. And they're going to leak everything. It's like what they leaked about the game. And they said it was good. And now he's like, throwing, yeah, he's throwing up a gang sign right now. He's throwing up a gang sign. He's like, yeah, man. <laughs> this shit, man. I fucking love this shit, man. <laughs> me and my homies. Me and my homies fucking potion. And bone meal back here, man. We love this shit, man. Straight up. <laughs> Yo, West Side. <laughs> Gang <-game. laughs> Well, yeah, he's totally praising there's being a leak. But then an hour from now, he's going to literally shit on God of War and how people will leak it. Fuck you, Phil. Can Fuck you, trust you that? man. I don't know. <laughs> you know. <clears throat> um, oh, man. So I don't know. Again, I don't know. Here's the thing. Anyway. Undoubtedly. If I play Gotham Knights, probably the premiere and maybe another stream. Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, fucking Super Blind Man is related to it, too. Would. Will it retain viewership? Or will this be a case where the yeah, game you, is so you bad? Actually, you want to know the reason why Super Blind Man is fucking associated with this? Uh, hold up. Let's go to DSP's fucking Twitter. I'll show you why it was related. Because this dude is fucking salty as hell. He's salty because he didn't get a fucking copy. So he's got a... I don't know. He's got to be really ridiculous to everybody else. Hey, where's the tweet and replies? Look at this dumb shit. 
<laughs> Look at this fucking dumb shit. We're gonna, we're gonna, oh my god. Alright, so we get a fucking tweet from fucking Brandon Cole. The, the one and only Brandon Cole. He's like, he's being really fun and positive about the game because the game exists and he's getting a copy of it. And I, I can't fucking drag to save my life. I don't fucking know why. Alright, here we go, here we go. He's like, ladies and gentlemen, I'm insanely excited to announce that I love PlayStation and they love me <laughs> because I got a review copy of God of War Ragnarok thanks to them and will absolutely be reviewing it on November 3rd. Also look forward to early impressions coverage soon. And then we get a uh, fucking robust clap and everybody was clapping and DSP was clapping too. It was like. Oh, Brandon Cole, man. You did it. You did it. You fucking did it. Oh, Brandon Cole, I love you, man. Congrats and enjoy. Really hope to hear that it's fully accessible for you. Oh, man. I oh, love it. Love that for you, sis. Love that for you, sis. And I love how the responses are, Hey, Phil. Why don't you call him a shill? But, Phil, I thought anyone that accepted early copies was a shill. Yet another DSP contradiction. Yeah, so those were pretty negative. But what was even funnier? What was even funnier was the joke he made afterwards because he had to be a little salty piece of shit. I am pleased to announce that I have received my early review copy. Dude, he's doing the exact same thing right here. He's doing basically this. I'm, ex I'm insanely excited to announce. I am pleased to announce. So he's, he's literally doing fucking, he's mocking him. This is really, really hilarious. He's ma he's mocking Super Blind Man. I'm I'm pleased to announce that I have received my early review copy of God of War Ragnarok, along with everyone else. Not surprising, as the last one was my game of the year for 2018. But why does mine look so different from the promo art on the neck uh, on the net? And then he shows a fucking dumbass edited shit. This is fucking stupid. He's making fun of fucking Brandon Cole right now. He's actually making fun of this dude. He's low-key salty as hell, and he's making fun of a dude who can't even see. He can't even see, chat. He has to use echolocation to fucking see. The fuck, man? That's like some fucked up shit. I swear to God. I swear to fucking Christ. This dude has no fucking chill. And he calls us like the mentally ill individuals, man. Come on. And no one wants to watch it because it's a boring grind fest of combat and everyone's bored and no one cares anymore. I hope it's Sometimes fully Sometimes when you play a game it. like that, it could be, a, it's so bad, it's a good situation. The game's so bad, it's fun to play and make fun of. That's happened many times over the years. You know, with I don't know how to done. send that question. Oh man, I really bought a, a, a groaner I don't know. here. A disappointing game. Well, I let's suffer through it. Then it can hit my most disappointing games of the year countdown, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> so, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Well, I don't know. I have to make a decision. Surprise, and like surprise. I said, don't DSP worry. doesn't know a I'm thing. I'm going to make my determination by the end of today. And already I see people in the stream chat are, are weighing in on their own, you know, opinions on what should be done here. No matter what I choose, <clears throat> I'm not Man, saying I'm super, absolutely never playing the other game. All I'm today. saying is for now it has to go on hold. Because allow me now, because I haven't done this in a few weeks, to give you guys a preview no, is he going to give us the schedule of games upcoming that he's going to play? He's been doing this every single fucking day. Every day he keeps prepping us. Allow me to inform you all the games that are coming out for October that I'm thinking about playing. He's been doing this shit for fucking four weeks now. He's going to whip it out. He's whipping out his phone. He's like looking in the notepad section of his phone. And he's going to give you the schedule of what's coming out in October. Yes, it's like Groundhog Day. That's why I'm saying, chat, that's why I'm saying, I guarantee you, anything he's ever said, he has said it before, and I've heard it enough times that I can call it. That's why I said DSP was going to do a prayer hands, he was probably going to do a salute, and he was going to say signing off. I got two out of three of that right. Because there are only so many ways in which he can like end a series. It's usually signing off. He just does that. That's like a thing. It's like how he says peace out later. He'll do one of those two things. Uh, why is ESP so jealous that there are, <laughs> wait, there are people that are successful? Surely any man or woman wouldn't encourage those people to do well and wish them well. But this dude hates on them. Yeah. Uh, it's just kind of his thing. 
thought we didn't play Saints Row 2022 because he, it's so bad it's good. Games wore themselves thin and we're still $70 sinkhole in his pocket. I don't know. He just didn't want to deal with it. Phil, uh, Phil's key was ramp. hoping to see a funny Dude. picture of Dave, but instead got smelly o Joe lady. Thank you for the oh, ho, ho, sub, ho. Appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, no, Phil's uh, Keemstar sh uh, shit was pretty good because he's so desperate for Keemstar to say anything. He wants Keemstar to react to him. And Keemstar's not even, even giving him the time of day. That's why his reacts like failed miserably because there was no drama with it. It was like fucking dumb as shit. Uh, you sent me a tweet in the Discord. Oh my god. Did he now? No way. No fucking way. He actually finally... <laughs> nah, uh No way. He actually did. The fucking madman did it. Let's fucking go. I want to see, I want to see this. I want to see this while logged in. Okay. Wait. It's not even a clip. It's not even a clip. Ah, oh, come on! That doesn't even count. I'll give it a like, but that's all you're getting. That's literally all you're getting. You don't get anything else. Fucking lie to me, man. I thought we were gonna have a clip from that. Yeah, I got fucking trolled. God damn it. <sighs> you ruin it for me. You ruin it for me, War Dog. I want an actual beefy clip. Um, <clears throat> I got cucked. Damn it. Uh, a preview. And uh, hold on one second. What I would like to do here. Bro, just scroll down. You know what? One of the things that I'm always worried about, Grandfather Nurgle, when I'm on my own account, is kind of scrolling down. Because what ends up happening, well, number one, when I'm looking at this, I actually can't see anything scrolling down. Like, there's nothing further down. There's just nothing. You have to remember, I don't use Twitter that much. But the other reason why I don't like being on my own Twitter is because you're going to see really, really sus stuff. Yeah, sure. Sometimes you can see like pictures of like Pyra and then maybe a cat. But then sometimes you're going to see like you start. OK, Ludwig, this is the time where you you turn the street and scream around. This, yeah, this tur start screaming. Just start screaming. Sometimes you start seeing more little robust pics and you're like, oh, that's not too bad. It's not too bad. And then you start getting into even more sus territory. We have like fucking people that are just straight up naked. So you don't want to be like that. All right. You don't want to be like that. That's why I get really afraid of like scrolling down. Come on. Mr. Huth uh, did another tweet. You sent it. I'm going to look at Mr. Huth. I'm already following him anyway. What was that? That? This? No, not that. Replies. Damn it! This isn't helping! Alright, you're gonna fucking... You're gonna have to show me. Is Anna Derek? Nah, you can follow my shit. I don't fucking care. And I kinda do the thing. Refresh. My DM. No, this is just him in fucking... He's, this is just him live in a bit. And he's addressing the Amran. Look at this shit. Yo, look at this fucking title. He's like, he was he was straight up. He's like, all right, let's get a title. We got to make sure she's got to be crying. Get the yellow and the white. So that way you know that this is the important and this is also important. So contrast. You make sure you get some cleavage in there. Just get some nice tit action. You know, shit like that. Pretty good. That's pretty fucking good. Okay, this is the last one I'm doing. You already derailed me to hell and back. My own Twitter. Bruh, this is Okay, no. No, 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 no. No. Who's who who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who who fucking put in my chat? Who who put in my chat? Tempted me. It's in your DMs. Bruh. You are not about to tell me. I'm looking at the DMs. You got one from fucking from Mr. Uh, Mr. Stuff and one from Bahama Breeze. They're both the same fucking thing. The same thing. I am not. You really about to do this. You're really about to do this. You're about to have me go into his fucking stream. 
Oh my god. All right. Well, we've completely derailed. And we're going to have to look at the stream now. God damn it. I fucking hate this. I hate this place so much. All right. We're, we're, we're going back in time. Remember before the show? All right. We're going to go backwards like fucking 23. There you go. This is DSP. So let's fucking look at this. Recording this like lie to your viewers for extra money. I don't get it. Go ahead. So hold on. I think you need to acknowledge why people are upset because you, I my think. My timing was really bad. My you think timing that's it. was really You think bad. that's it. And she's clearly a victim. She's clearly, clearly a victim. Clearly. Without a shadow of a doubt. Clearly. And so I'm putting criticism on her um, for, for not revealing that she has a husband. So they're like, hey, not now. I don't know why well, he's dressed they as didn't a say gypsy that. wizard. If they said really that, that would So sense. are you saying Hussein, uh, Jake Lucky, and Ethan Klein, they're right about this? No, they're wrong. They're all wrong. They're, they're all wrong. wrong. I'm right. I'm right. You shouldn't <laughs> manipulate your audience right. for more money. Let's play the clip. Come on. All right. So we have DSP, Dark Side Phil. Can't believe we're talking about Phil here. Oh, jeez. Uh, he apparently has an issue with you, Keem. Okay, let's hear it. It's this simple. Stop watching Keemstar. What? Whoa. Stop watching Keemstar. <laughs> oh, no. It's not even the thing Stop that he wanted. watching Keemstar. Wow. Jeez. What is he so fired up about? Oh, Stop. God. He's mad. Stop Whoa, we got We got little facts. That's kind of cool. He's just, I'm Keemstar. pretty sure he's just going to keep saying All this. Right? There's only so many fucking people on the internet that can tell you this guy is scum. I'm he's scum. an exploiter. He's used time people out, for personal time gain. Out, time wait, out, time out, time wait out. you used <laughs> him for personal gain? I'm an exploiter. This guy You're right here, me. this guy right here cams up once a month saying he can't pay his bills and yeah. hustles his audience yeah. instead of getting a real job. Yeah. And I offered him a $50,000 a year gig to launch a podcast with um wings of redemption and boogie 298 you are let's hear the rest though you offered me the same amount of money as this Rita. <laughs> Shh. why Too many don't times say that word he keeps getting away with it because people <laughs> i'm exploited watching him if people for once would actually use their fucking noggins and say this guy's a scumbag stop fucking watching his oh content, you know what this was from today disappear it is no. actually people funny keep watching no i hilarious. will hold on Pause him. If I lose all my viewers, all right, and I only have like two people that roll with me. Yeah. Which uh, would happen if you fired me. Shut up. Uh, I would uh, continue making viewers, content for way. those two people. Because I I actually fuck with my fans. I I spent hours the other day. Everyone that bought a hoodie, I sent you a personal video. I like actually like fucking appreciate that. Because I'm so out there and constantly getting involved in all kinds of shit yeah so when i come across someone that's a real fan like i fucking really appreciate you i don't fucking you know use my viewers like oh somebody's gonna bring podcast, it up 100%. we covered the teddy fresh 100 uh, yeah. he loves it he wants like it so badly it just doesn't seem like these people the trolls wanted it badly too fans the thing is is that not only does dsp want this but every single one of you guys wanted this too which i didn't fucking care one way or another King could have just said nothing about anything, and it just would have been instantly gratifying. In fact, you know what? The best thing that could have ever happened is if Keemstar saw it and he was like, whatever, bro. I don't even fucking care. You're still down in level one. And just left it at that. And what is he going to do? He's going to sit there and seethe, mauled, and fucking rage. Because what? DSP didn't even get much of a response? Dude, if this dude never fucking responded to DSP, he was like, I don't fucking care about what DSP is doing. Legit, that would have hurt his pride more than anything else. More than anything Keem could have ever said. But Keem's wrong in this response because his best response is not, never to even fucking say anything. But it's whatever. It's it's legit whatever. But everybody wanted this. Plant. All right. Hold on. This guy doesn't care about his fans. No, and those are like Ron, cheap dollar we'll store toys behind him. Now at least like see what he has to say. At least pop. When I'm talking, Chris, you yeah, better mute on. the video I'm ASAP. Trying. Hold on. When you hold see on. juicy I'm light, know, we're you. doing too much yeah. talking. No, we gotta we're play not. these clips. You what think do you they want to see DSP? Right. I You're hear crazy. What, the what he wants to say. Oh my! You, nobody wants to listen to DSP. This I this don't want to listen to him. mouth freak. Actually, we need to take his own advice. If we want him to go away, we just need to stop. Watching. I was gonna talk about his toys. Papa Gut's got these nice Funkos. This guy got dollar store toys behind him. Anyways, roll. Okay, plan. <laughs> Stop oh, watching man. Team Star. Yeah, and yelling at right. Toxic. He is a virus. Virus. He is destroying content creation as a whole. 
Why is he mad? Actually, as just a whole. used the physical and mental abuse of Amaranth as a way to get views on his fucking Sim. show. Stop watching him. No, I didn't. <laughs> no. Kind of. No. <laughs> no. Yes. Yes, you did. But, but what is really fucking hilarious is this is exactly what DSP fucking did. So I don't even know why he thinks that he has a leg to stand on because DSP during the level one podcast, because this shit right here, the, the thing that they're looking at right now happened today during the thing that we're currently watching. It happened today because he does it. He does it eventually like later on down here, somewhere around here. But if you paid attention to his fucking rant from yesterday, he went off about Amaranth and it, he used that as the main talking point. For people based around the Halloween holiday. It was like, the what, right around stream, here? I really appreciate it. Right. Really concretely affect me this week when this shit hits. God, he did a disturbing. lot of begging. It, it, it's for what they're doing for the amount of work. It's pretty ridiculous. Voice the actress off my chest about the whole situation first right, of all like i said from the get-go i don't think that this should ever have been allowed on twitch i feel that when you yeah it's right around here what you here you go opinion of people who stream on twitch tv and basically exploit their audience through sexualized manner he literally went on almost a 20 minute fucking thing about amaranth he just talked and talked and talked and talked about how he's a prude, he ate sexualized things, blah, 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 Twitch is in the wrong, Twitch didn't do anything, but Twitch is at fault, blah, 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 uh, she's a victim, we believe the victims, but she's also a millionaire because he started off the whole rant about her being a millionaire, which is really fucking weird if we're going to be talking about a lady who's apparently coming out and says, yeah, I'm kind of like being abused and held hostage and shit, which even then I think it's kind of questionable at best, I'm still going to fucking... I'm still going to wait to see the receipts in full because apparently you can't speak up against this kind of shit, but there's a lot of weird, suspicious shit that's happening right now uh, with this whole ordeal. And I've, I made my point earlier on uh, Twitch, but I guess I can make it here as well. This will be, again, my re reiteration of my uh, point without even knowing a whole lot more about the facts. The only thing I knew about the facts was watching this dude cover it, and he didn't even really go over much of it other than saying that she came on stream. It was a different type of stream. She was saying that, oh, well, you know, my husband's been in, oh, I've been married for years. Uh, my husband's actually in control of this, threatened me and my dogs and uh, was going to, you know, spend all of my money, blah, 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 blah. And I, she has nowhere to go. And she did it all on stream. She, he, he controls everything, even the streams. I want you to think about this for a second. I want you to actually fucking think about this for a second. All right. When it comes to what Amaranth did, all right, we're we're gonna we're gonna assume that whatever happened is just as is, right? So this dude has control of everything: her finances, her everything, her pets, you know, whatever, even the stream, right? So the way she presents this problem is she makes it public through the method in which he has control through a stream goes on there, talks about all these problems, and then ends the stream abruptly with the door opening? Does anybody see that this is a little weird? The thing is, is that I don't, like, I need to trust her, but at the same time, I can't trust her. So I'm in, I'm in a weird predicament. Because if we're going to go on just, like, her history of the kind of stunts that she's pulled before, she's pulled stunts. Could it be an act, uh, white knight for money? I don't know. Because if we look at it this way, anybody who gives her money is supposedly going to be giving it to the husband. Because the husband controls everything. So it's definitely not for pity points, and it's not for money, because if she was doing it for money, anything she should have raised would have went to her husband, supposedly. If we're doing it for attention, we're definitely doing it for attention. We're going to grab a lot of attention. We're going to grab a lot of eyes. So... You know, is this something that she's done before? She has done things for attention before. We just don't know how we're supposed to approach this. Basically, we're put in the position as a viewer. We have no choice but to say that we have to assume that she's telling the truth. We cannot assume anything else because if we were to put any kind of skepticism, we're put into the hot seat. 
like how we have currently with Keemstar, which is why everybody was like ready to jump on his throw, right? Because he can't say anything negative about Amaranth. But I guarantee you, six months ago, you were able to say whatever the fuck you wanted to say about Amaranth. You could have said all sorts of negative shit. Now, because she's currently going through a situation, you can't say anything. Because you have to assume that everything before that was just untrue. Right? You can't question any of this. I think it's BS Halloween horror stunt. I don't know. If it's a horror stunt, it's going to it's gonna blow up in her face. Because she shouldn't make light of that kind of shit. If she makes light of that shit, then she's actually going to be making light of anybody who's actually in that situation. So I don't think that's it. I, I The way I see it right now, I don't care what kind of flack I get for this. I don't trust the situation in full until I see all the receipts. And it doesn't absolve her from her past behavior. Because she was willing to do all this shit beforehand. And it's not like she's doing anything that's necessarily like that bad. But we're supposed to excuse everything before where we were criticizing her and all because of what's happening now. So we can't ever say anything that she's ever done was bad or wrong. The the time where she tossed her cat, because I believe that was her, right? No, I think. No, I don't think no, she wasn't the one who tossed her cat. What happened to her cat? Wait a minute. Didn't Amaranth have a cat? I feel like maybe she did. Yeah, that was a Linity. She has a cat though, right? Which is threaten the dogs, but what about a cat? Cat dead? I hope not. Damn. I hope not. But uh yeah, I don't know. Like she has extorted fans before. The whole her coming out as being married, this is like not a new thing. One of her moderators, I thought, was given a whole bunch of money, right? And it was like to the tune of 30 grand or something like that, but then found out that she was married and wanted a, a chargeback? Is that what he wanted? I think he wanted a refund. But I feel like this could get really, really dicey really, really quick. He has horses too. Jesus Christ, she has horses. I did not know that. But yeah, I thought everybody knew she was married. This isn't new facts. This has been this way for a, a hot minute. Whatever. I don't fucking care. This is all just fucking weird. I feel like this is all for some weird amount of attention. Whatever. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> he's, not, he's, not, he's not so wrong. Listen, I mean. listen, the internet canceled me for my Twitter thread, right? And I'm here to respond just like any other fucking YouTuber would do. All right, if you're going to manipulate this into, oh, Keemstar is trying to get views on his show and he's using that, well, then any other YouTuber that's ever uploaded a video apologizing or streamed a, a video apologizing or whatever or or referencing some drama that they're in has yeah. also <laughs> used that situation. Ethan Klein, uh, Hassan <laughs> Piker, all these that's people true. have done it. So that's you true. can't make that argument. Do you have that guy's number? I actually, I actually do agree with him there. You can't actually... Look, I'm using Keemstar right now. I'm using Keemstar, using Phil, using Amaranth right, right now. So I'm using all three of them. So, so to be fair right now, I'm, I'm no better than any of these people. I'm not even part of the drama. I'm just like watching as a casual observer. A casual observer. Like a dude. I'm watching it right here. But like, DSP has no leg to stand on because he, he literally dedicated like 20 minutes of his own segment this this segment right here. You know I hate it. I don't like the hot tub streamers. I don't like people who are writing on their bodies for contributions and taking clothes off for contributions. You know how much I am completely against it. I feel it's immoral. I feel it's degrading. I feel that it basically exploits an audience that's just really sadly gullible. Um, How else can I say it, right? I just hate that. And you guys know that. It's actually one of the major things of contention that's happened in the last year and a half over on Twitch. And ever since I left Twitch, it's something that I've always been adamantly against. Okay? Fair enough. I just want to preface this by saying that. Okay? Last night, popular Twitch streamer Amaranth, someone who is a millionaire, someone who is one of the largest of that category of streamers, who I absolutely fucking hate that they even exist. I don't think they should. I think it's completely wrong what they do. Okay. 
look at that. How quick is he to go ahead and not only put out all the negatives, show that he has a disdain for her because she has a lot of money and does the things that he hates, but also utilizes her to talk about... Okay. Put on a stream very different than the stream that she usually puts on. She was crying and basically saying, I want to fess up to everyone about what's going on with me. I am married. I have always been married. Every moment that I streamed on this website, I've been married. I'm in a relationship where I am being completely controlled by my husband. He is abusive. He controls everything on this stream and he controls everything in behind the scenes. He controls all the financials and he forces me to do things I don't want to do, including streaming and other things. And basically this whole thing is a sham, you know, for money and he gets all the money. So what DSP did right here is what he's doing right here on Twitter and now doing on here on here as he, they review a clip of DSP saying Keemstar was using her well he was using her so everybody's using her like the, the supposed prostitute that they all claim she is and somebody's getting paid I think everybody got paid I don't know I don't I didn't get paid damn I'm 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 using her and I didn't even get paid I feel like I got robbed that's pretty good. Oh, well, whatever. But uh, that's basically the fucking thing that they were reacting, re reacting to. It was just basically everybody using her for cheap clicks. What about it was a sham? She was a skinny thought showing her body for money and everyone knew she was married. Name one part of that was a sham. I don't even fucking know, Raziel. I actually don't even know. What exactly was the scam or the sham? How did she advertise herself any other way than saying, like, she was going to literally be eye candy for you and you could give her money to continue to be eye candy? If you were that... Look, if you support that, man, go for it, man. I don't give a shit. Go look at all the damn titty streamers you want. I don't fucking care, all right? I just don't care. But if you're going to make it a big deal and make it part of your stream and just make it part of your content, man, like... I don't know, own up to it, I guess. You can't call out Keemstar without calling out yourself. So I'm also part of this boat now because I've used her for drama. Sims convinced themselves that she was single and, a, and had a shot, I guess. I mean, they do that too for all sorts of content creators. Look how it is for the VTuber community. I, Not everybody's going to know the same, but it's literally the same for VTubers. If you think about it. And they don't even know what they look like. They actually don't. They simp for a fucking 2D character. <laughs> they sit for a 2d or 3d character that's got bouncy jigglies and shit they're like oh man i wish i could marry you and all this shit right and that's why you got into the fucking uh all the drama that ended up happening a couple months ago with one of the hollow live folks <laughs> and she ended up dipping because it was found out she leaked uh, her dms and uh she had a boyfriend and then all of a sudden everybody got upset <laughs> yeah and see what happened then right See what happened then. You can marry a personality. You technically could. Imagine, see, yeah, imagine sipping for turkey and I agree. <laughs> oh man, Ferrucia, man, I ain't, I ain't saying nothing. You want to know something? I'm gonna give a, another fucking hot take about Ruchia. All right, she sold herself a one million percent. She sold herself on the girlfriend experience. All right. She sold herself on she didn't play video games as much as all the other ones. She sold herself on she was very personal with everybody. All sorts of like she she wanted to give you the, the personal treatment. The personal bully treatment. Alright? Then it comes out, oh, she has a boyfriend. And my first thought was, who the fuck should care? You weren't gonna fuck her. You weren't gonna marry her. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, everybody's mad. Yeah, I probably know why. Because they were buying shit like... She had her own line of fucking rings that you could buy. Chat, you could buy Ruchia fucking rings. Fucking wedding rings. How fucking dumb was that shit? Her boyfriend should care, to be honest. Yeah, probably. But, but what kills me is, you shouldn't be mad at that shit. And if you get mad at it, you're no better than the people who are like, fucking having a deal with amaranth right because the people who love amaranth they go through the same situation kind of 
But it's like, what were you even buying into in the first place? If you didn't like the personality, get the fuck out. <laughs> what was the point of fucking tipping? You're not going to fuck these people. Uh, there were cock rings. Nah. To be honest, I haven't been watching much of the Hollow uh, EN community. I've been following Palma, Pomo and Niji Sanji because of gameplay. That's the only reason why I like Dogu so much, all right? The reason why I love Corone is because there's usually no drama. It's just her playing fucking video games. Because I'd rather just watch video games. I don't watch these people for anything else. They don't need to whisper sweet nothings into my ear. They just need to play some fucking Sonic and Mario. That's all I want out of these people. Yeah, man. Is Reed I like how we just went through all of this. Just so I could detour away from the fact that I'm going to now listen to the schedule segment. This is going to be the October schedule segment. I just realized it and I'm now mad at myself. Because now I got to hear it. And this is like the boring segment. I fucking tricked myself. I gave myself all this high in enjoyment and like interactivity, and now I'm gonna have to listen to the October schedule of games that are gonna come out. I'm fucking mad. Through the rest of the game release schedule for the year. Okay? So here we go. So. Gotta make like my decision Ruchia? between Mario fuck... Plus Rabbids and Gotham Knights. I've never liked Ruchia. I never liked her character. I never liked her persona. I never liked her way in which she interacted with chat. I just didn't care. I, I'm more of a Watame guy. It's like she's kind of just chilling every now and then she'll sing. Or Botan where she just plays video games half the time. And she just laughs and it's fucking fun. I'm more of that kind of guy. Not fucking Ruchia. Get out of here with Ruchia. Bring me back Coco. Bring me back. Bring me back. It's Friday. Okay. Uh, the week after, it's going to be Resident Evil 8 DLC and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Okay, the week after that is Sonic Frontiers on November eighth. Basic peak of the But then the supremacy. week after, or the day after that, I can not the week, that. A one day after Sonic Frontiers, is the release of God of War Ragnarok on November 9th. Oh man! Wow, we went through the schedule segment. It's really, really fucking funny how he snuck that in there. So I'm so glad that we know all the games that are coming out in the next couple of weeks. What does this mean for the average viewer? Fuck if I know. Because he's been doing this over and over again, and every time he does this, he ends up axing another game. Remember when he was supposed to be playing Tales from the Borderland or whatever the hell it was? The new game, the new Telltale games that was coming out, and then that quietly got shoved away? Nobody fucking remembers that, but he fucking swept it away. I felt like he did that to two other games, too. And he's just been doing it over and over and over again, and it's just going to keep happening. I don't fucking know. Two days after that... The Atari 50th Anniversary Collection on November 11th. Now does, does it look like this dude's going to play the Atari 50th Anniversary or whatever the fuck it is? 51st? 50th, 500th Anniversary? He's not. Grandpa is not going to pick it up and he's not going to play these old ass Atari games. I'm sorry, that would be like a one night thing. So let's not even pretend we mentioned that. Now admittedly a lot of you might say, why are you caring about that? Because I grew up playing Atari. That was actually my first home game console was the Atari 7800. <clears throat> And a lot of games in this collection are games from my childhood. What I'd like to do is get that collection and in between all the new releases do a chill He's stream every once in a retro. while where I actually play through some of the games from my childhood and share that with you. My I childhood. think that would be pretty meaningful to me. And I think to the audience. Dude, here's why he wants to do it. It's meaningful to him. It's not entertaining to the audience. All the things that he's been doing hasn't been entertaining to the audience. He's been doing things that he wanted to do, which is actually pretty good if you think about it that's actually what i've been asking him to do for a long time but if he's going to complain about the viewership and the money and all the new attention then he shouldn't complain about that because he's doing the thing that he wants to do which is what i'm all for dsp should play the games he wants to do but he can't turn around and say well nobody's giving me subscriptions nobody's giving me fucking tips and shit yeah because maybe nobody wants to see smelly atari games i'm sorry for those people who care about atari there's no way I'm going to sit through in a fucking beep boop Atari game collection. It's it, Half of them are going to be trash. The other half of them, I'm not going to care about. You can play Flash for You can play a web version of the game. The audience Get as well that actually cares about me to see the games, the formative games that made me a fan of games when I was a child. All right? So definitely not something that's going to be a mainstream playthrough, but something that could be good for variety to throw in on night streams. Okay? November 17th, Go Simulator 3. Wait a minute, what happened to Ghostbusters? Yo, that was the other game too! You remember how he was promoting Ghostbusters as a possible game? What happened to that? 
the other quietly like got shelved and is never mentioned ever again holy shit i forgot about that game yo big ups fuck ghostbusters i agree november 18th the devil in me the next and latest game from the dark pictures anthology horror series november 18th this he won't skip that game by the way anything from the fucking stupid anthology whatever whatever he's gonna play that 100 percent million percent same exact day as the devil in me pokemon scarlet and violet oh man pokemon scarlet and violet can't wait to see that that's actually the first game that he's going to be playing this year outside of what's he going to play platoon i kind of cared about but he didn't play it enough for me to actually get a chance to restream it except for like maybe an hour's worth of content so i'm actually kind of mad that i didn't get a chance to restream it but pokemon i think is the only game this year that he's playing that i actually have remote interest and in. i may want to restream it that's kind of sad chat that's actually fucking sad as hell honestly i'm a retro gamer and had an atari six, uh, c64 and a bunch of other shit atari is really hard to get into nowadays it's rough yeah like like i get it there's some games on there that they're classics but it's like you gotta enjoy it for yourself and if it's like a viewer who's gonna see it they're they may not really enjoy it they it's really not it's a for you not a for them kind of experience that's just how it is. November 22nd, Evil West. All right. So just to recap. What the fuck is Evil West? What the hell? Evil West? Okay. What, is, what the fuck is Evil West? Uh, West. Only one S, please. Where? Oh my god, why is it 10 minutes long? Can I get a trailer that's like not a fucking novel? Is that, is that five minutes gonna holy shit. Alright, release date trailer reveal. This is maybe the closest I'll get. This was back in June. I have a bad feeling about this. One wrong move and we're dead in the water. The one right move, and you could catch her and end this war. Young Rentier, still on your father's leash, I see. What did you see while eh. was in your head? Cowboy yes. Doom? Not that bad. It looks okay. Okay, let's dance. If the music is, uh, if the music is good, then I can see this game being pretty good. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, chat, uh, chat, I actually think I I would consider a game like this. This actually looks pretty decent. It's, look at it. Kind of cool. Yeah. Maybe not for full price, though. Just going around beating the shit out of fucking demons and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I actually think this would be pretty decent. Not a wait, September twentieth. What? Oh, they must have pushed it back. What happened? I actually don't know. In the month of November, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven freaking games. Six of which arguably are pretty darn height. Yeah, smell it, DMC. Okay, I so, can see that. This is what oh, I mean. Like, delayed. oh, why don't you just play? either Gotham Knights or Mario plus Sonic or Mario plus Rabbids right after the other game when November <laughs> will literally be jam-packed with other games December see, December 2nd see, see 100% whatever game doesn't get picked will never see the light of day 1 million percent it's going to be fucking Mario and Rabbids I'm calling it right now chat Mario and Rabbids is going to win you will not see you will not be able to witness the power of fucking Gotham Knights of the Old Republic. You will never see it ever again. Night Suns. December 2nd, Callisto Protocol. December 13th, Final Fantasy Crisis Core Reunion. And High on Life. So yeah, Mario's even, staying even around. the first half of December. You don't believe me. I'm calling it now. Year, Mario's it's happening. It's going to be crazy busy. You see? It's just out of control, you see? honestly. You see? You uh, see? The amount of stuff going on this year. 50 so, bucks ain't bad. With that being said. Nah, Mario um, hasn't been canned. You know, holy crap. I'm predicting this is Mario be a wild won't be ride canned. until say mid to late December. I'm gonna be busy 
with constant non-stop new release stuff um you know and yes i i am obviously i'm very excited for that but i think what'll happen is near the end of the year or early january all right that's when i'll have a little bit of downtime to possibly <laughs> no, check out some of the games that i did not i'm get putting to my play. cards on the table tales from the borderland either Gotham all right or all righty hold up it looks like expand dong is putting his cards on the table you know what i'm willing to put my cards on the table too i'm telling you now it's gonna be one trillion percent locked in it ain't changing mario and rabbits and you won't be able to change my mind i am willing to eat crow but probably not right now not until after i get checked out but i'm willing to eat crow if i'm wrong i guarantee you he's gonna be playing mario and rabbit I, it just just believe me in this one with others that maybe i kind of had to skip because there was just no way <clears throat> that i was gonna be able to actively <laughs> You're eating pig and play all that stuff okay <laughs> so that's the deal so i will think about this over the course of today you know what, you know what? we're gonna let opinions. chat decide all right, That's what decide. you want starting Friday. So now allow me to share with you the schedule for the week. Today, it is the conclusion of The Evil Within, which is excellent. This is the absolute perfect time to finish the game. We are uh, on the precipice the of nonstop new releases starting tomorrow. Let's finish up else? the final retro game uh, of this God. season. I'm happy I played Damn. it again because there's a lot I didn't remember about this game. Although there was a lot that I did remember. I still kind of feel the same as I did There you go, guys. Ago. Pole is it's up. It's a good game. With some atmospheric and Let's psychological see which, horror uh, parts, one is, there's also what, what parts that absolutely feel? suck because they're just. Is it going to be Rabbit Mario or is it going to be Gotham Knight? Which game is he going to end up playing? I already know what I want. I know what other people want. We're going to see how the chat feels. What's going to be played? It really doesn't seem to make sense <laughs> in a game like this. So it's kind of a combination for me. Some of it I really like, and some of it I really just don't like. Um. Today is the conclusion, and if I'm remembering correctly, oh man, this is the final gauntlets of enemies to the point where I got really was remembering that, correctly. Why was that a good picture? I could have used that, dude. I could have used that as a thumbnail. Fucking a, I can use that later. That's pretty good. <laughs> I just still kind of thinking. <laughs> I got my eyes on you. This is the final gauntlets of enemies to the point where I got really frustrated with the game in my No, we're not getting through. another 24 you hours for you. Please, no. I ain't doing it. At once, you have to take on tons of waves and gauntlets of enemies. <clears throat> and I hate to say it, Shinji Mikami jumped on that bandwagon, and a lot of people uh, had to buy the DLCs to see the ending, and they did. They, they liked the game. They wanted to see how it all ends. I'd not have to spend more money. <laughs> this is kind of bullshit. This strange um, look. So as you're going to see today as we finish the game, Damn if it. all you've seen is watching me play this playthrough and nothing else, you're going to be like scratching your head like, uh, what just happened and what do we do and what, what the, huh? I'll, I'll do my best to try to explain as much as I can, but even then there's stuff that I'm going to not remember fully. I mean, he can, he can try and, uh... He can try and influence the vote. I don't think the vote can be influenced at this point. But I will do my absolute best to try it. to explain it all to you guys. No, wait, no, um, no, so that no. Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Expand Dong uh, and his alternate reality where he's super positive can't trash talk rabbits. The Rabbit Mario game. He can't. I've already played my cards correctly. I know where his true desires land. And I know what he actually wants to win. So no, you can't get this to stop. It Cobble, will happen Cobble, 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 one Cobble, way or Cobble, another. Cobble, 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 it's going to happen. Marvina Thane Charlotte, welcome to the never ending pizza party. Bring your finest paper. I've already uh, played my, uh, from I played all my cards correctly. I already know what the, uh, the true and honest answer is going to be. There's not, because I bro. can't play the DLCs. Here's the thing. Number Trust one, me. I don't have time. And number two, I don't own them. <clears throat> on the Xbox, which is where I'm playing this game, I have the rights uh, to oh, them only on PlayStation. It but I bought Fuck. the Evil Within physically, yeah, no. not digitally. I should have so called I it Gal game on PlayStation. I would have Can had it? to rebuy it rather than play it on Game Pass I like I did. Everything. So obviously, that would be really stupid. So I didn't do that. I played it on Xbox, but I don't have the rights to the DLCs. I couldn't even play them if I wanted to. I'm certainly not rebuying them. Okay. <clears throat> so, for all intents and purposes. Today will be the conclusion of the evil within. Now, 
If we end early, which we I don't might, because I don't remember exactly time. how much is left in the I game. I don't want to. We have options. If we end early, we could do Q&A, where I just kind of do a special Q&A video with you guys and we hang out. He didn't do that, and he didn't do anything. He played the game all the way to completion, and he went five minutes over. So we don't even have to worry about this segment. Um, okay. um, tonight on the late stream, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time, Monday Night Bites. Normally, this would be Sunday night. Last week, it was Tuesday night. This week, it's Monday night. And guess what, chat? We're going to go ahead and watch Monday Night Bites because I got nothing better to do right now. I could be streaming on Twitch, but uh, I don't feel like doing that right now. I kind of just want to sit and exist and watch this. So, there you go. It's time for fishing. Bassmaster Chill. Last week, I had we ain't doing a record-breaking week in Bassmaster. Sorry, dude. I bought two new Boom lures the for the, re the, re the uh, recommendation of a viewer. Wait, what? And I caught non-stop oh. oh, fish. About in the game. I was catching record-breaking fish. I was catching new varieties of fish I'd never seen One before. One fish. We caught, two I think fish, we counted 80 fish. Red fish. In the 120 fish. Uh, minutes that I played, we caught 80 fish. Yeah, that's exactly. nuts. Now, I don't know if these lures it are going to continue uh, to look like that, just or if it was just dumb luck, or if it was just that, that lake, or that session. <laughs> it could be me session. keeping you uh, 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 entertained. I hope you guys will join me tonight and chill with me. As you know, when I do Bassmaster, it is very much more about us talking, interacting, and having a chill stream rather than anything else. And. Just to be quite frank and honest with all of you, we have so many new releases on the horizon. It's very possible that I'm going to have to either reduce the amount of or retire the chill streams for, for a while to focus on the new releases. Remember, the oh, reason that we have chill man. streams in the rotation. Guys, oh no way. The chill streams might be going away. <laughs> I hate to see it. I hate to see it. Am I going to play something spooky for Halloween? Wait. SCP Sophie. Wait. Did you not see yesterday's stream? Uh, fucking Disney's finally getting the boot, too. I'm so fucking glad. But did you not see yesterday's stream? Because... I was, I've been playing spooky games on and off. Like it's been like three or four spooky games and then like regular games the entire time. It's just kind of been what I've been doing. How did you not know? I'm actually kind of upset now. I'm actually kind of upset. Imagine chat. Imagine not seeing me play Phasmophobia and being a dumb scaredy baby the entire time. When I was getting, like, spookified by, like, some random-ass ghosts that were out to kill me. And more Phasmophobia. Yeah, probably. I should I should do more Phasmophobia. But you missed it. You could have been having fun. Now, get out of here. East and ages. We don't want any of those. Disgusting. Imagine that shit, man. Imagine that. But, yeah, you could have been watching this. I was I was having fun. I was uh, having a blast. Me and Dragon Slayer were me. trying to catch a ghost, and uh, it turned out pretty bad. I actually ended up getting killed. I got killed a lot okay, in this game, go... but uh, yeah, we were doing we were doing spooky stuff. If you guys don't know, I have the archive channel, which has all of my shit that I fucking do. All of it. It's all archived here, for the most part. I think there's like the 20, no, the 30 hour stream, it does not exist here, but it could one day. I don't know. I have to chop it up and then I'll eventually do it. So if you guys want to check that out at any time, you can check it out here. I live out in the country. My net sucks. You know, and I know, I know that feeling. <laughs> SCP Sophie, I know that feeling. Don't worry. I'll make that video live probably in two days. Look at this. We even had the candy calzone. You remember how everybody was like, Ant, don't eat this calzone. It'll literally kill you. And I was like, yeah, you yikes, can't stop yikes, me. Yikes, you can't stop me. I'm going to eat this candy no, calzone. No, That's totally what? what's up. What? Totally what's up. My God. What a fucking dank stream this was. I hated this. I even painted my nails black for this too. And I even did the little thing. And I even showed you how I was prepping it. Everything according to plan. <laughs> hey, what's up, Chill Marie? 
Hello, hello, and welcome. Welcome to the stream. Uh, we've completely went off the rails. Yeah, fun. A troll having fun impossible. I, I know, right? I think this is what gave me the problems that I have right now. I, after I ate this, this thing, this absolute monstrosity, I have been having problems ever since. Like, I, I think this thing cursed me. I made it exactly how he told me I had to make it. Like, to a T. Like, to an actual fucking T. This was horrible. So, if you want to be cursed for the rest of your life, make this recipe exactly the way he says to do it. Even with a little jiffy. <laughs> Perry's Cobra's magic. No, Cobra's magic fucking cursed me. And now I'm gonna die. I'm literally gonna die, chat. Can't believe I ate it. I can't believe I ate it either. Is to fill time during a time when I have time to fill. It's not meant to be <laughs> there time. to be a staple of my content at all times. If there's new releases, they always take precedence, and we are heading into the busiest time of the year for game releases. <laughs> Cobra's so I made need a every stream, though. day and night, to continue on with How the new release playthroughs. Then the time. we're gonna do that, okay? <clears throat> so this very well could be one of you know the what? last chill streams Actually, that I do for a bit. You're now not gonna that I think miss about it. Still Murray is here, so that means I can tangentially give a shout out. I'm not as big as some of the other YouTubers anymore. Can you imagine that, Chad? I used to be much bigger, but now I'm not, which is kind of kind of like working from ground up. But I can give a shout out to those people who have never checked out Chill Murray's fucking content. This dude is also a, a detractor. He makes cool and amazing content. You can watch over here at Chill Murray's fucking channel. Go ahead and give him a subscription if you haven't done so already. Look at that. I can give shout outs again. But it's kind of like the old way of doing shout outs instead of the new way. But you can see all sorts of good shit. He does both like live stream stuff and then like actual like cut content. Like actually edited shit. And he makes like good concise like points in like analyzing and dissecting DSP. And he's also like with a VTuber model. So that's also another reason why I should promote him. I like his, uh, like I like I his avatar. And he's got the hand movement, too. I'm not good as... No, don't even say that. Don't even fucking say that, Chill Murray. Nah, you have a specific way of chill that I can only aspire to be. I never want to ever think that I'm better than anybody else. Well, okay, let me, let me take that back. We can all pretend that we're better than DSP. But I don't ever want to think I'm a better content creator than anybody else. I always have room to grow. I always have room to to learn. And I got to learn from everybody. Even other people that may have more or less subs than me. That's why I always like reach out to people and like be nice and shit. Because I don't like to be mean and shit like that. You know how it is. How much is Murray paying you to shill? Oh, you're being an ass. <laughs> Just because I like his content. Man. I can't like another guy's content without being a shill. God damn. I suck. Enjoy that shill vibe of those streams, okay? Oh, also, of course, I hope that we can hit the tips goal tonight. We can add a new fishing lure to the hat. Exactly. We added a giant one last week, which is fun. Gotta learn from everybody, we including cool other people. Some more colorful and new ones <laughs> this week as well. I gotta learn from Tomorrow everybody. It doesn't matter how big or day. small. It's Plague Tale Requiem on the first stream and the continuation of Scorn on the late stream. That's gonna be fun because it's all horror all day long all new releases that's cool two thumbs up for me i'm very excited when two i get to play non-stop new releases and they're all in a horror theme for october that's pretty cool wednesday we're gonna do another session of plague tale requiem on the first stream the late stream is up in the air he does have a gun more score actually you know what that we want to beat i agree right away. he's the piece is better than me 100 percent you do dizzy dreamlight valley and the reason i say that is because supposedly from he what has a gun me, and it goes bang, dizzy dreamlight bang. valley is supposed to get its first major update tomorrow <clears throat> and if this is true <clears throat> Excuse me. If this really is true, funny. supposedly it's the fall Lion King update that's supposed to add Lion King characters and content to the game. If that's true, that's pretty cool. Lion King is still to this day my favorite animated movie of all time. So obviously I'd be all over that to see, hey, can I recruit some Lion King characters? What can we do? So if that's true and it happens tomorrow, I'm probably ah, doing Disney Dreamlight Valley on Wednesday. You're Wednesday. doing what you need to do. Okay. You make the I'll be you make content on like everybody else. <clears throat> When I turn it on together. Friday, it will be the premiere and of either the on. new Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope game or Gotham Knights, depending on what I decide and determine by the end of today. Friday night is a big night. It's the season finale of Friday Night Fights. 
You might say, well, what the hell does that mean? What the hell does that mean? The season finale? <laughs> He's acting like it's a show. I know we mean to say, like, DSP is a fucking show, but did he forget that it was a meme? And he was thinking, it was like, yeah, man, the season finale. We're never going to do it ever again. It's just dead. <laughs> I don't know how he convinced himself that, but pick up the season finale. It means that after Friday, for the I'm ending. putting Friday Night Fights on a hiatus for us to focus on the new releases. It may very well return, you know, once the new releases start to dry up. But at this point, the, the fact that there's two two reasons, really, why I feel that we need to kind of not retire, but put retire. Friday Night Fights on hiatus. Retire it. Okay. The first reason is. I'm going to tell you the reasons why he needs to. I don't even care what his reasons are. Let me let me give you the two reasons why he needs to fucking retire this. Because the games that he's playing are just fucking old games that nobody's fucking playing. He's playing the fucking, the dumbass, uh, the console versions for those shit. And, like, it already had a small audience to begin with. The sales weren't just there. They ju they weren't there. So he thinks that these people are going to play the collection, even though it was only a few amount of people that bought it in the first place. And then he found out the sales number where the Switch actually sold more copies than anything else. He... Bought the game twice, it failed twice, and what, now we're going to hope that it was going to stay around for more than a month? He wanted that game to last, like, the, the fucking 30th anniversary collection, where he could play it for legit five years, Jack. We played that shit for five years. Five years of content. And it was all fucking lame, because the last two years was literally sleeper content. I don't think anybody remembered it. The last two years flew by. God damn. You almost bought it? Jeez, you would have fell for the marketing scheme. Yeah, the the, the cross stream shit just instantly makes it. Or the yeah, have not having cross play instantly kills it. It's just not worth it. And I don't know why he thought it was just worth keeping around. If he was if he really cared about the older games, he just would have been playing Fight Gate. Full stop. Just full stop. But it's whatever, man. Street Fighter 6 is beta. Blew everyone away. Everyone is Let's super excited go. about Street Fighter 6. Hey, Bone just picked me. up arms like, as really the new recruit the in the Hate Army style situation type deal. I was getting deal. better at it by the time aim, the beta ran out, aim, and then the beta aim. ran out. Like, oh, hey, thanks shit. for the sub. I, Appreciate like, it. Just another session. I feel like I would have done way better, right? But the visuals but. are great. The graphics are some of the best I've ever seen in a video game, let alone a fighting game. Um, the gameplay elements are sound. The online play, for the most part, was solid. I like the battle. Like, everything about the game was outstanding. I literally cannot wait to get my hands on this game again. So all the hype for fighting games right Fighter now 6? has been nah. pushed to Street Fighter 6. And even I'm people who are like playing right other fighting games at this point are kind of like, I nah, suck at fighting shit. games. Get Don't really care about those anymore. I watched Street Fighter 6. So we're all antsy. Yo, we're antsy. When's the next beta, right? When are we going to get more information? We're dying for more. Me too. So number one, with all the fighting game hype being pushed towards Street Fighter 6, it's going to be hard to maintain people and be, be excited for retro games. That's number one. Number two, the Capcom Fighting Collection is pretty much dead. At this point, I, I hate to admit it. <laughs> I have. I hate to admit it. Yeah, that's the weirdest way of saying you were wrong. But yeah, I hate to admit it. Uh, yeah, Phil, I hate to admit it too. Uh, for the last two months, when we've been saying the game's dead, it's it's been dead. It's fucking dead, Jim. It's fucking dead. I don't know why he thought it was just gonna revive itself suddenly. It just wasn't. But yeah, Street Fighter 6, when it comes out, you, I'm going to want you to pay attention to what he's going to do. Because for the first two weeks, he's going to do this thing where he cycles through characters. And he's going to do the single player, he's going to do the training, and then he's going to do the online play. Because a single player just cannot be that long. And he's going to do it with every single one of the characters. So you're going to have the first two weeks of DSP just rotating through characters. Maybe the first three weeks. He rotates through characters, he plays the storylines, blah, 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 and then we get to online. Once all that shit is done, once he is forced to play online, just 100% online, that shit's going away in three streams, and I'm calling it out. The reason why I'm calling it at three streams, if he thought that shit was bad with the drive impact, guarantee people are going to understand how to do the drive parry, and they're going to learn how to do the drive rush and just beat the ever-living snot out of it. He's going to get to the point where with all of those characters that they're going to all be above silver, which means he's going to play against no nothing else but people who know how to at least play the game somewhat. DSP is not going to learn. He didn't learn when he was playing the game for those six times. 
He honestly still thought that the way you were supposed to counter drive impact was with another drive impact. Call a month. You know what? A month actually sounds about right. That that a month actually does sound just about spot on. And yeah, the, the song is currently from The Sims 2. Um, I think it's the neighborhood pick screen. I can't remember specifically which one. Um, but I guarantee you, it's going to be a month in. He's going to be playing it. He's going to do nothing but online. And he is just going to get bodied left and right. The moment he brings himself up ab above Silver. And it's not to say that Silver is like the cutoff point. But like Silver is the cutoff point for the people like me versus everybody else. Like, if you know how to play the game, you're gonna Shoxy roll through these Milk, people. 1871 is now lurking and following. No way. What a surprise. It's the loading screen? Is it? You know what? It is the loading screen, isn't it? Oh, you know what? That is. It, it probably is the loading screen. I never... You know what? I gotta play fucking Sims 2 again. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Sims 2 is the greatest Sims game? I agree. Sims 2 was just about where it was at. Sims 3 had a lot of good additions, but it, like, the game was just so poorly optimized. It really was, man. There were so many bugs in it. Yeah, he bitched uh, more and more with each session. So it's just going to get progressively worse and worse as he goes through it. He is not going to love that game. He loves it now because the beta is over and he saw how much attention he got out of it. And he's going to get a lot of attention when it comes out. Bro, he is going to treat that shit just like Street Fighter V. He's going to pop on every time there's a new character. He'll play that new character. He'll play it for like three sessions and he'll put it away. Like, oh, well, you know, not a whole lot has changed. Oh, well, you know, I was kind of excited for Street Fighter VI. Definitely better than Street Fighter V, but, you know, it's not like it doesn't have the fundamentals like Street Fighter II. Uh, well, you know, guys, uh, you know, I tried and everything, but, you know, I, if I'm not playing this all the time, I'm not going to be good enough to keep up with these people. I have to be constantly practicing over and over and over again just, you know, for me to be able to do anything. I can't put anything in. Guys, they're just beating me left and right. Uh, I hate to say it, man, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Like, you're going to literally hear that shit. Man, it's going to turn into the road for Street Fighter Seven. <laughs> it's going to turn into the road to Street Fighter Seven. He is going to do that shit. Mark my word. You're going to listen to the same rant of, I can't keep up with people. I need to be practicing 24-7 or else I'm going to fall behind. And I can't play this game 24-7. Therefore, I shouldn't play this game, period. That's what's going to happen. He's going to get his ass beat. He's not going to say it's fun. Because if he's not winning, he's losing and he hates losing. 100%. I have to throw in the towel. It does a towel trick. Put it on the camera. Everybody laughs. I give up on the Capcom <laughs> Fighting Collection. All right. Capcom <laughs> seems to have literally done everything. I wonder if he does the the little thing where he does the jump scare. I, I you know what I I'm I'm gonna bet right now he does the jump scare at the end of this fucking free stream. Possible to botch this game. Okay, from the get go, the way that they released it. That every Street console Fighter, uh, had a we, console exclusive the version of it release. that was not cross platform. Uh, yeah, we're gonna no get a Street Fighter Week. I, mean, I meant to mean cross platform. I meant to say no cross play. I feel like we're gonna get with no cross either play, Street Fighter Week you're immediately or immediately. Yo, know, yeah, Street Fighter Week. Dude, the amount of players that you're gonna have. Imagine that he's gonna do a Street Fighter Week. He's gonna do, and this is Street Fighter Two Turbo, and he's also gonna love that Street Fighter One, and then he's gonna like. Oh, this is third strike and this is alpha and this is four and then he'll he'll finally lead up to street fighter five what a piece of shit game this was i mean what the fuck were they thinking they'll go on and on it'll be like a 30 minute segment and everything he'll have a special border around it'll have like all these street fighter characters oh shit it'll be fucking it'll be sweet dude i'm calling it now there's gonna be a border there's probably gonna be like guile ryu and chun li on the left there's going to be three of the new characters on the right. Probably Luke's going to be there because he hates smelly Luke. There's going to be like the level one podcast, but there's going to be like graffiti up at the top. And this is going to be in colorful letters. 100%. Mark my words. Somebody timestamp it now. I'm calling it. It's going to be the level one podcast. And that's exactly how that's going to be designed. I'm thinking blues and purples. Blues and purples everywhere. It'll be great. And greens. Blue, purples, and greens. Have in your player pool. And it's one thing if this was a major release like Street Fighter 6 or Tekken 8. This is not. This is a retro games collection. By not making it cross play, no, there it's will one be. of the dumbest Kimberly things Kimberly will done. be up there. It'll be Luke, Kimberly, and somebody make else. Any sense. In addition, this game at launch.
didn't have common features that you would want. Like, oh, can I see the quality of the connection of the person who I'm matchmaking with right now so I don't waste my time joining someone uh, with a terrible connection and all the whole thing lags to shit? Yeah, some orange you know, will makes be no good. Sense. Why would they do that? Orange is I don't know. Maybe like some they didn't try. Orange um, will show up good. The thing is, oh, by the way, another thing that was really stupid. They included all the versions of Darkstalkers in the game, Another all like five or six real of them. Stupid. But then they didn't actually direct anyone to the one that was the most competitive. The one that was the most competitive Darkstalkers game is Vampire Savior. That's the one that was in American arcades, worldwide arcades, and everyone played it in Word tournaments. Word 3D format. Outside of that, there were two more. There was Vampire Hunter 2 and Vampire Savior 2. They were only ever released in Japan and never have real competitive communities around them. So then why would you put all five Darkstalkers games online and for a game that already isn't going to have a wide player base cause confusion among the player base as to what game they should be playing so now everyone's trying to find people but they're all playing different <laughs> versions and it doesn't allow they can't features, find any like competition automatic windows and anti-lock brakes none of it makes any sense at all <laughs> you mean power frankly. windows like it was really just little power to no locks. thought put into the game uh i Powered was one of steering. the few streamer people who no was streamer. a proponent of the game and tried to get people to play it by playing it once a week within a food oh okay number one the few streamer people he should have said the <laughs> the few influencers. He should have just said the word influencer at that point. Streamer people. <laughs> okay. The DSP was trying to influence people by shilling the game by playing it once a week. All right, go on. About a month of it being out, literally every person in the fighting game community dropped the game and went on to play other things. I was the wow. only fucking person who kept playing this game after about a month. What does that say about you and your fucking dumbass mentality, Phil? If you were the only dumbass who was going around promoting it, do you think people are going to be wanting to play it? The only thing they're going to know is, wow, that scrub-ass Phil is currently playing that game. And they're just, they're just going to move the fuck on. Do you think anybody in the FGC even cared? <laughs> who is he even promoting this to? His own audience? His own audience knows he was playing it because he was constantly putting out tweets. Saying it was like slow nights and shit when he wasn't getting tips. Or to come out and talk to him because he wasn't getting any matches. A boomer style streamer. Yeah, kind of like that. And the game's now been out for over three months and there's no one playing it anymore. The game was dead on arrival on Xbox. And the game barely has any players on PlayStation. Every week when we try to play it, we end up playing the same five people over and over. Half the time the connections are laggy. It's disappointing as shit. Capcom released a patch two weeks ago to add in basic features, like see the quality of the connection of the person you're playing. It did absolutely nothing. No one bought the game. They put the game on sale and then only to put, gave it a $10 discount. Instead of like slashing the price by 50%, they slashed it by about 25%. It didn't do anything. No one bought it. Does he think that people were gonna buy it if it was 50% off? Money Miser Phil over here is talking about they should have sold it at, a, at less of a cost. So that way they could have got more people playing the damn game. But it was already dead on arrival. So well, you could have tricked like an extra two dozen people to buy the game and play it and then not see you play it because you only play it one day out of the week for two hours. That's kind of weird and strange, Phil. Strange that you want people to buy into a game that was dead on arrival and has no active player base. Docker. So... Essentially, Capcom completely and utterly botched this game and ruined it for themselves. There's no excuse because the game is fine, but they just had no idea how to market it, no idea how to sell it, no idea what people wanted. You could tell they did absolutely no market research whatsoever. They just had someone in charge of the project that was inept and didn't know what the fuck they were doing. I mean, what were they supposed to exactly do? Okay. It's like they 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 go to the the people who are going to do this this new thing, right? They they're gonna be like, all right, I want you to take these games, these games that we have from like forever and ever ago, to take these games, port them over. I mean, what, they're not reinventing the wheel; they're just putting a port and then putting a UI on it and putting some art. The the, the port is only as interesting as the games that are in there and. People just didn't care that much for the games. Yeah, it was kind of nice to have those games ported over to a modern console and they could kind of play it with other folks, but the people who want to play it were already playing it on Fight Gate. So, what was the draw here exactly? 
Yeah, clearly you should have bought it on Switch too. There's a solution. Fuck fight game. Yeah, I don't. I don't honestly know what he wanted out of all of this. He he really just wanted an active player base to exist for the next five years, and it's just not there. And he needs to stop pretending that Street Fighter Two actually matters. It doesn't. I think the only reason why a lot of people were really hyped for the 30th anniversary collection, because not only did it have Third Strike, but it also had the Alpha games as well. So I think some people were kind of like, yeah, man, I totally want to play fucking Alpha 2 or whatever. Because, I mean, how often do you get to play that, right? But he's so hell-bent because what he really wants is people to care about Street Fighter 2 Turbo and nobody gives a shit about it. It's just fucking dead game, Phil. Sorry. I'm sorry it's a dead game. What a shock. Seems kind of familiar that Capcom will release a collection of Street Fighter games and they don't know what they're doing. Almost as if we just had one of those right before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, so sadly, I did yeah, as much as I could oh. to promote this game. I did as much as I could to try to get people to consistently play it, playing it he once shilled. a week, doing he a major stream of it. I, I can't shilled. do it all myself. You need to have other people in the community do it. They won't. They don't care about what? this. What? Because I hate to say it. What community? Like what community? Bill, what community did you want to just jump up and promote this game? The fighting game community? The one that you absolutely hate? Why do we even care about the fighting game community? Why do we need them to promote this game? Why should they have been playing this? He wants them to do all this work, all this advertisement, all this promotion and shit, just so he can get noobs to buy this game and then play that game. And then he can fight them all day long. <laughs> And this is the same community that I was sitting there shitting on literally last week because some dude made a tweet about his tweet because DSP snuck in his fucking Twitter, made a really, really weird remark saying, hey, only fake people have these fucking arcade cabinets nowadays. Lol, 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 lol. And then DSP got blown the fuck out because he was like, here you go, grandpa. If you want, you can play this uh, copy of the PlayStation 1 Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. And then he started crying. He's, he cried for four fucking days about how mean the FGC was and how he got beat up on. Dude, he was literally saying that he got beat up on. Old man Phil got his ass beat by some dude who did a fucking tweet. God damn. That guy's fucking insane. Fightcade kills these collections because if you have a collection that has absolutely no competitive reason to buy it and play it, why would people? If right now, if you have a working PC... And you could download Fightcade with all the ROMs of these games for fucking free. And you could play them over the internet for free via pirating them on Fightcade. Why the fuck would you buy a collection on console? Right? So without, without a viable reason to do this, people are not going to do it. And then you don't include features that people want, like crossplay. Of course the game is going to fail and die. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to be an idiot. <clears throat> so all I can do is kind of shrug and say, I'm sorry, guys. I did my best. I tried. Guys, I'm sorry. I did my best. I tried. I tried to shill the game, guys. I tried to shill it. I tried to keep it alive. But, uh, oh, man, I couldn't do anything about it. Sorry. Capcom has been making games since the 80s, but they don't know what they're doing. Okay, Phil. Yeah, dude, Capcom doesn't know what they're fucking doing. By the way, I really, really love Street Fighter 6, guys. And uh, I can't they don't make know what they're people doing. play a game. I did my best, all right? So this Friday <laughs> I did my is best. going I tried to, to get be him. I the tried last to get hurrah. The season finale yeah. of Friday Night Fights. Last hurrah. One last session. <clears throat> Hopefully, I'll get competition and give it a, a send-off, all right? Yeah, he's going to get $100 from Jax Raxer. His night's probably going to be filled with like 60% matches and 40% talking. He's going to win the majority of his matches because he has a money buff and nobody plays that fucking game. Unless he plays ranked. And if he plays ranked, he's going to lose half those matches. Because he's going up against somebody who probably knows what to do. That's what's going to happen. I've already predicted the future. Go ahead and at me when it happens. Fucking Friday, Friday night after it's all said and done, go ahead and at me and tell me how right or wrong I was. Don't worry, I'll be listening. After this, fighting games will go on hold Hell for a no, while. Hell no, I'm not going to. Cerulean, no, you can, no. Everybody who wants me to even potentially 
potentially care about the Street Fighter shit, no, I am not going to restream it. And you know why I'm not going to restream it? Because for those of you who don't remember, I restreamed the last time he did a send off. You remember the last time I restreamed the send off? It was, was it? It was about this time of year, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. I originally did the send off for the 30th anniversary collection. And then three, three weeks later, I think he brought it right back. He brought it right the fuck back. And then I was thinking to myself, the fuck are we doing? And that's why I even had the fucking thumbnails change. I had it from... I changed it to, like, from being in prison. No, I changed it from the uh, Balrog looking at a computer screen, a DSP playing, to the thumbnail being of me in jail with one of the boat girls having me in jail. Like, I'm not doing it again. I don't remember I skipped Street Fighter. Wow, and you want me to do it anyway. Get the hell out of here. I would rather have fun on a Friday night than sit here and watch some miserable pile of shit. Get $100 from Jax Raxer, pretend that he likes his fucking collection, sit here and then play for like half the time, and the other half just sit there and like pretend to care about chat. I'm about to look at this tonight. And he's not even guaranteed the fucking 100 bucks. <laughs> It's not, even, it's not even guaranteed 100 bucks tonight. Do it with peace. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to tell you this right now. If peace wants me to co-host, I'm going to make a go. I'm going to make a special exception. If if peace wants me to co-host with him, I don't care who hosts the actual the the actual stream. I don't care if we're both streaming at the same time. I don't even care. We can have it over at his place, we can have it at my place. I don't care. But if you want me, and if, if, if Peace wants me to co-host, that is the only way I'm going to do it on Friday night. Only way. 100%. But if you can convince him, if you can't, whatever. And I, I just, I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm going to have more fun literally playing anything else. Anything else. And it's not to be Peace's fault. But it's just, Peace, dude. I guarantee you, if you ask Peace, Peace doesn't want to fucking do it because it's going to be a shit show. He hates it now too. Yeah, you know what? I don't, I don't fucking, I don't blame him. I really don't blame him. <laughs> that, that shit, Street Fighter took a lot out of me, and the reason why it took a lot out of me because we didn't even care about the games anymore. We didn't even play. Screaming hateful slurs to fill. Yeah, I'd have to be really careful because I'm so close to screaming hateful slurs all, all the time. That'd be fun. It's not like I've never collabed with people before. I collab with folks if they ask, for the most part. I, I just have to set it up ahead of time. Beast likes restreaming Disney. Yeah, he does. Um, And I can get that. I actually can't. I can low-key get that. Because part of me kind of likes uh, Disney as well. Because it's so interesting to watch him legit not care about Disney at all. Like, he, he just sits there and he, like, wiggles around and, he, like, talks to fucking Moana and shit. And he doesn't care about these characters. He really doesn't. He just pretends to care. <laughs> he just pretends to care. Give me all the gamer words. I'll try not to. I'll do, like, bundle of sticks and shit and call him a retard and stuff. Like, I'll do that, but, like, I gotta be careful because I don't want to accelerate that, especially if I'm a, a, if I'm a guest. I, I'll play up to, like, the degree that he's on, but I don't want to accelerate it any higher. I, I have to try and keep it to a certain level. And I know he gets spicy, but not too spicy. Like, he keeps it spicy enough, but he keeps it vague enough where it's like, this is a spiciness level, and then, you know. We keep it to, like, uh, the ghost pepper, but not to, like, you know, the hot chip. We don't do hot chip. Actual, all these new releases. Now, what I'm hoping is that over the course of the next couple of months, we will have more information from Capcom about Street Fighter 6. The when it's from coming Moana. out, will there be more betas, stuff like that. That's my ultimate hope, is that we'll have an idea of what is the future holds. And maybe after a couple of months... Capcom will wise the fuck up and either put <laughs> this game on Game Pass or PlayStation Plus Premium. Hollywood or both. getting way um, too cocky. Or maybe they will reduce the Set price even further dog. and more people will buy it and then I could go back to it at a future date. 
as of now, it's just not sustainable. I can't sit here for two oh, hours. Oh, shit. Okay, okay, hold right. up, hold up. <laughs> uh, expand Dongus. You are going to be restreaming me, right? Because if so, I will try and keep my language to a minimum. He's lurking. Okay, I mean, it's cool if he's lurking. I'm just making sure if you're going to be listening to me, I need to keep it to a minimum and not be too... That's the other thing, too. I don't even know if I'm being watched. So now I got to be really careful because I don't want to get people in trouble. <laughs> I don't want to get people in trouble. I'm going to assume that you're currently watching. I'll be... Thanks for keeping me in mind. I I have to. I can't help it. One of uh, one of my cool people that I like to collab with is, uh, you know, possibly restreaming me. I got to be on best behavior and not say any... And not say too spicy of a word every single friday night <laughs> and and wait for matches for half of that time and then when the match joins it's the same person i played five times and the connection sucks i just can't do that i can't i can't make that entertaining enough for my viewers i try and we have conversation we do stuff but it's like you're tuning in for friday night fights not friday night chats they <laughs> okay? can sign a waiver for him that's it friday's the final friday I night fight session until further notice all right after that I'm going to be balancing whatever the new game is I started playing on Friday with Plague Tale on the day streams. On night streams, we will still have things. I know Ludwig signed like off, but I have another Valley person that's going to be signing we're off. We're also going to start using night streams to implement on, things like maybe everybody. the conclusion of Scorn and other stuff like that. <clears throat> I can't okay. believe, you know what? This is the one thing I didn't predict. Event, I didn't predict this right. I thought he was going to drop Scorn. I think the money buff really, really fucking helped him. And I think he looked at some kind of semblance of a walkthrough. Now, I don't think he knows it 100%, but I think he has a rough idea of where he needs to go and what he needs to do because he's actually paying attention to the core mechanics of this is a thing. This is what this contraption does, you know, blah, 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 which is good for him. Um, But I was expecting him to get rid of it on screen, too, and it looks like he's actually going to finish it, which, you know what? Big ups. Phil is uh, surprising me and uh, exceeding expectations. Uh, Phil is actually going to complete the game that I thought he was just going to drop. Eventually. That's pretty cool. The night streams are going to be these new releases. I would say the week after definitely is when we're going to start to see night streams will be for new releases as well. Okay. Um, One final thing. Halloween event. Halloween last event. absolute positive last chance for you to nominate games for it if you have not yet. this In the next few days, I'm going to get a moment to sit down. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to close off the nominations and I'm going to start making the poll that you guys are going to vote on to determine what games I'll be playing during the Halloween marathon, all right? So if you haven't nominated games yet, I have no clue what the heck you've been waiting for. Type exclamation point Halloween into the chat right now. Nominate those games, and uh, good luck. The I most Jasper's nominated games the are the room. ones that are going to make it into the final like poll in. to determine what I'm actually playing on Halloween. As a follow-up on that, because I talked about it yesterday, my Halloween costume has arrived, sure it's missing the some milkers. components. I'm going to have to go it's out uh, and go one to of store, Cobras. Or... or uh, I'm going to have to uh, order some things, odds and ends online in order to make that costume complete. Sadly, they kind of misrepresented it online, which I hate. When they advertise something online, they say, oh, it comes with this, and it shows up, and it doesn't. They lie. What am I going to do? Mm. Refund it or, or, you know, return it? No, I need the costume. I'm not going to return it at this point. I'm just going to, I guess, take the hit. Shirt. You know, uh, what are you going to do? So it is what it is. And uh, I hope <laughs> it wasn't this one. You guys this will dominate games, and then over ones. this week, I will close that off and get the poll going. You guys will start voting. All right, sound good? He has this shirt All right. somewhere. Um, I, I think it's like you can no longer. The get last it now. kind of odd or end here. Oh no! You know, housekeeping thing to mention before we get to news. You today, can't get it anymore. You used to be able to because it was this design, but he would have it instead of it being King Cobra JFS's uh, fangirl. It would be a. Uh, it would be what is it called it, it's this it would just say sexy goddess it's the same exact one but he had it it was like a swimsuit thing but it was pretty good I, I literally just stole his stolen design and then just adopted it as this one and just made it into a shirt it's a lot good. of news to talk about today <laughs> um is the members all right so now guys after today starting tomorrow we are hitting full stride with non-stop new releases plague tale scorn Whatever game I choose for Friday, either Gotham Knights or Mario plus Rabbit. Oh, no, my cock Resident doesn't ADLC, reach my belly button. Modern Warfare 2. That's the rest of the month. I'm sorry, like, guys. That's literally the rest I of the can't, month. I can't. I also uh, new content every day. It? With that being I also said, don't have a sponsor with G Fuel time to and a channel something member. else. If you've been holding off, 
Now would be an excellent I can't time use to magic. renew your membership if it's lapsed. And now would obviously be an awesome time to give some membership to get your fellow wand. viewers to help out people on this channel and also help the channel Imagine grow. if I had a wand. The most members you've ever had like is 640. Waving around and shit. When I created this goal for the month, we were at five something. All right, like 540, 550. We were just at 560, but then two member bombs from September expired, and we literally <laughs> have had zero movement on members since then. Come on. All right? I can do the stroke. Would appreciate if you enjoy the content that I put out on this channel every day for like free, angled. if you could become a member. Becoming a member is an excellent way to consistently support this motions? channel and have income for me that's more dependable every single month, okay? <clears throat> you get many benefits for becoming a member. Pause a highlight in the stream chat and video comments. Oh Access to God. all my emotes video in comment. stream chat and video comments. A cool chat oh, badge comment. to show how long you've been a supporter in the stream chat and video comments. The ability to bypass the slow mode in the stream chat and talk as much as you like while everyone else is limited. I think it's like one chat per, per few amount of seconds or something like that. Um, Wow. Priority access to special events. People who are members are right now are perks. get to pick a game that are going to be that's going to be in that Halloween marathon for sure. Everyone else has to Lord VPN get to that final poll, but members uh, get to pick a game outright. I don't know. Okay, Among most my things, uh, most of my things, here most my things that I've of, gotten you know, benefit, a thing for tons of them have not been I would for hope that. You consider becoming a member and supporting this Did channel. Get it would help new? tons. It would be amazing now the, if we start uh, getting all the these Yahoo. new games. If we can maybe hit new records for memberships on the channel. I think now what's going to happen, you're going to start to see once tomorrow hits. What do we got? Every day, better viewership. Every day, more people checking out the new games. It's going to be very exciting. Okay, you I'm excited guys. for it. I hope you guys are too. Hey, look at that. A charity event thing with Playstream GG. So, Hello, how are you? This is Mary that. from and Playstream cool. GG. We're Maybe joining Monday. with Doctors Without Borders and Heart Support to host an all-star charity event. You got to stream between twenty the twenty fourth and the thirty first, and any content is valid for the charity event. You can go live whenever you want, and if you do this shit, you might be able to win some cool and amazing play stream merch. I don't even know who the fuck the play stream people are. I have to go into a Discord to ask them about it. Please see Mary Ann. I am not going to talk to Mary Ann. Mary Ann go fuck herself. That was like the latest thing that I got. I also had another thing. They were like. Dude, you should totally play this one game. And I was like, no, I don't want to fucking play this game. And if you do, you could like be entered to win some fucking dumbass shit. It's like, no, pay like either give me a free key or fuck off. Give me some give me some like actual like actual things. Give me a, a fucking payday. My day fuck off. It. I'm not gonna deal with it. Thursday. I would appreciate it. If you would like to support the channel, anything is appreciated. But of course, tips are great. Why are tips a great way to support the channel? Because I get them right now. Yeah, and any Marianne. tips that I raise between now and Thursday go towards my day off. Um, I already have enough money to pay my big utility bill coming up on Thursday, but everything else that I raise this week goes toward my day off on Thursday, including things like me going grocery shopping for the week, having a nice meal out with my wife, which we haven't even talked about what we were doing this week because things have been so hectic and busy <clears throat> and money's been so tight. We haven't done anything we wanted to do. We wanted to go to a pumpkin patch and a farm this <laughs> month. We didn't do it. Um, we wanted to go to the zoo. We didn't Bruh. do it. Bruh. You know, what are you going to do? Bruh. Month. You so hear this any... shit? You hear this shit? Yo, listen to this. This dude has been talking about how he's been penny pinching and he's been having problems paying the bills and everything this month. You hear this shit? Thursday, including things like going grocery shopping. Uh, grocery shopping, which we already went grocery shopping last week, so we've already ran through the groceries. It is literally not even been a week, and we're talking about groceries we don't even have right now. We having a nice meal out with my wife, which. We're talking about a nice meal, which we're not even going to tell you what it is, but it's a nice meal. We haven't even talked about what we were doing this week because things have been so hectic and busy. <clears throat> and money's <clears throat> <he's> been so tight. <throat> money's so tight. We haven't done anything we wanted to do. We, want we wanted to do stuff like... We wanted to go to a pumpkin patch. and a f For some reason, we're going to a pumpkin patch. Farm this month. We wanted to go to a farm for some reason. We didn't do it. Um, we wanted to go to the zoo. We wanted to go to the zoo. Notice how these are all things that he just all of a sudden dropped on us. Because I know he hasn't mentioned this shit before. 100% he hasn't mentioned this shit before. But isn't it weird that we're not talking about this shit? Hmm. Oh, man. Uh, well, it would have been great. Me and my wife. We could have went to the pumpkin patch. Uh, we could have went man. to the zoo. When the hell was he going to go to the zoo? On his day off? He can't even take days off for himself. When was he going to go to the fucking zoo, chat? When was he going to go to the zoo? Yeah, he's been saying he's been wanting to go to the zoo for the last five years. Bro, he's just making shit up. He's making shit up so you can feel bad about him. We didn't the do fuck it. Fuck out of here. Yeah, what are you going to do? 
that's life. It's once again the same thing happening every year, kind of. Um, so we don't even know what we're doing this, this week. But basically, I have one day a week where my wife and I don't cook at home and get to have a meal out as like a date. So that's where your, your funds go when you tip the channel, all right? And in Anything you tip me right now helps go towards my date. I can't actually take my wife out on a date unless you guys pay for it. Guys, without your support, I can't take my hot supermodel wife out on a date. Please, please tip me today. Everything else is great, and it helps long term, and it keeps this business running, but tips directly help my one day off a week. And I would appreciate it if you tipped, you know, it would help a lot. That's why we have bills, rewards here bills, in place. Bills, 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 but help me go out on a date. dollars or more in one go. Oh, man. <laughs> magic 8 Ball. I love that he came up with this Magic 8 Ball shit, because he is loving to sell this. He loves it because there's two or three idiots that fucking do it all the time. I think they're going to do it during the stream, too. So you're going to see at least four Magic 8 Ball questions today. It's going to be from the same guy. He likes to LARP about it like he actually cares. He asks it relationship advice all the time. It's pretty It's pretty sweet. I like how uh, the long term is literally one month, but it resets every month. The long term is like two weeks, and it's always resetting every two weeks. Because that shit always resets. Dude, he was making a big deal yesterday because he was like, I don't know if... Uh, if YouTube is going to pay me on time, I mean, my day off is, how did he do it? He was like, how did he do it? He was like, um, my day off is, and then he looks over to the, to the left. He's like, uh, and then he's looking through his fucking phone and everything. Yeah. Uh, I get paid, uh, you know, after my day off, he didn't even remember when his fucking day off was chat. He was like struggling to come up with an excuse. But he was like, oh, yeah, man, I always get paid late. I always get paid late. I'm going to get paid, like, after my day off and all this shit. And my bills are coming due, but I'm afraid that I'm going to get paid late. Like, bruh, think about this for a second. If he knows specifically when he's going to get paid, I'm going to get paid on Friday. It's going to be late. He declared it was going to be late and he's going to come in on Friday. That means it's not late because he knows it always comes in late because he says it always comes in late. He always knows when the bills are coming up, too. He likes to pretend that the bill that's coming up, he, he gets a little piece of paper that says, you have 24 hours to pay this bill, or else we're going to fucking cut off whatever service it is. Like, that's not how it works. You have until probably the end of the month to pay it. And if you don't pay it, you're going to have a late fee. And if you don't pay it a few times, you're going to get cut off. Because people who deal with that shit, they deal with that shit. That's how it kind of works. But he likes to tell you this, all, all this dumb shit, because he loves to pretend, and he loves getting off to the idea that he's poor as hell, and people think he's poor. But he's not really poor, and then if you tell him he's a poor, miserable soul that should get food stamps, he'll say that you're fucking stupid. And if you talk about Walmart, he'll say that's only for the dregs of society. But then conveniently forget about the fact that two and a half months ago, this dude was going over to Walmart to pick up an online order for his wife. Now, yeah, you probably forgot about that because he tells so many fucking stories. But if you remember correctly, and it was when I was saying, it's like, wow, wait, Ken hasn't been going with him at all because he was like, I have to pick up an online order from Walmart for my wife. And he went on a big story about how Walmart's gotten so much better ever since the pandemic and how easy it is to do online pickup. And I was, I was like, man, you are kidding me. This dude said he would never go to a Walmart and now he's picking up an online order from Walmart. How come we can do that forever ago? Yeah, he loves to fucking remix the ever living shit out of these stories. And he completely forgets when he tells another story. It's kind of uh, it's kind of funny when you think about it. When you pre when when do you predict the next big drama thing is going to be akin to stream elements business? Um, I think it's going to be in the new year. Um, that's kind of how I'm feeling. Everything's going to happen. Right now, I've been saying that he was going to get chargebacks. I was saying he was going to get chargebacks the moment he got dropped off of stream elements. And sure as shit, he started pulling out the fucking chargeback cards because why wouldn't he? It's easy fucking bait. It's, look at how, how non-serious it is right now. Because yesterday it was like, oh, it's so serious. Oh, the chargebacks. He even made a big segment. Oh, you could clip this. Oh, this dude gave me $4.20. Which, by the way, by the way, by the way, chat. A guy randomly gave me $4.20. You can't see it because there's no notification I played. And I didn't play the notification either. And he said a thing that you can't even see. So you don't even know his name. You don't know that he gave me four twenty. You don't know any of this shit exists. But... Believe me, bro. He gave me a message and he said, oh, it was $4.20 and uh, he insulted me and how I'm always begging and I'm always, you know, asking for tips and everything and uh, chargebacks and blah, 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 blah. Okay. 
And how do we know that's true? Because Phil told us. See, this is what's happened. When he lost the ability to have all this shit automated, you can't even believe half the shit that's coming in anymore. You can't believe any of it no more. You have to just assume that Phil's telling the truth 100% now, even when it comes to the tips. How wild is that now? You have to believe everything that comes from his mouth with these tips total. He can't be lying, ever. He can't sneak anything away. Yeah, isn't that a little weird, chat? Isn't that fucking weird? Isn't that weird? Pretty cool. Let's ask the 8-Ball a question. Will I finish The Evil Within early enough to do something significant on this stream? No. Don't count on it. Wow. Apparently, I'm going to have some difficulties with the end of The Evil Within, according to the Magic 8-Ball. Yeah, so until he brings the tip tips on it, it's not true. In one go, you can ask true. the 8-Ball a question, okay? I don't if believe we raise the 50 for a bucks moment. in tips, I put on my gunner glasses. If we raise $100 in tips, you get to choose a silly hat for me to wear out of all the selections that we have. We'll have a poll for it. If we get $150 in tips today, which would be stupendous if we do, you get to choose either a vest or a jersey for me to wear uh, today on the street. Spoiler alert, guys. Um, spoiler alert. He didn't make that much money at all. He actually only ended the night with like 68 bucks. So, uh... There you go. You got spoiled. Which is awesome. Thank you and to anyone who contributes in any way. I really do appreciate that. Um, I wonder if he's going to talk about tip, the night was I'm going to give you a shout out and play an appropriate level of animation dependent on the amount that you tip. We have all different animations, including $4.20, $5 level, $6.66, $10 level, $20 level, $30 level, he's lying about $50 the ball. level. Oh, and yeah. I've been saying that shit as well. He's been lying about that ball because you got to trust his word that that ball, whatever gets fucking red it's uh true and honest but how are you going to do that how can you fact check the ball he can't show the ball on stream he said so himself you have to believe that everything he shows you all the time is truthful and honest 100 percent. no questions no questions all of those are more generic animations all the animations i just mentioned are either specific or halloween themed but if you go above that there's a 75 dollar 100 dollar 150 dollar 200 dollar animation okay? i love how this show works so, thank you in advance to anyone <clears throat> Who supports it anyway today? I really appreciate that. Thank you. Let's get to game news, shall we? Or I should say, industry news. <clears throat> okay. Oh yeah, you never hear of a streamer so, saying that I'll play a tip animation according to your price. Ugh, whatever. It's it's so fucking weird. And he stopped promoting the four twenty as much. He always promotes the eight dollar now. He's trying to trick people into thinking eight dollars is the new minimum, which is kind of funny and it's actually kind of uh, savvy for him, if you ask me. But, uh, I don't know. That's just my opinion, right? Well, first of all, an interesting and funny follow-up to yesterday's story about Amaranth, the Twitch streamer who revealed to everyone something very personal on one of her streams, completely unbeknownst to anyone. She had been married all along. Which we knew. And how is this interesting and funny? Even though she was one of those infamous, hate to say it, sexualized streamers on Twitch who would do things like be in a hot tub write names of her contributors on her half-naked body and do other sexualized content like rubbing oh, a giant man. inflatable pickle. Big up to Amaranth. Um, she revealed that all along she'd been married and never told anyone. Not to say that that's deceptive, but basically figured, hey, if I tell anyone that I'm married, uh, they're probably not going to contribute to my streams yep, the way they do. Yep, he recycled the news. But then revealed that her husband is an abuser and is mistreating her and is completely controlling her life. It's so funny that we started off by saying this is uh, pretty funny. So I know what he wants to do, but because he's doing this entire backstory, this history lesson of what's happened 24 hours ago, uh, he's making it sound like this is the funny part, which is kind of stupid when you think about it, but it's also kind of hilarious. Including all of her financials, all, any money that anyone contributes to any of her streams goes to her husband, not her. And even everything that she, the house she lives in is owned by the husband, like everything is in the husband's name and her entire life is controlled by this guy, to which... The internet went crazy for 24 hours, and has there been any follow-up to the story? And to my knowledge, no. I've seen no concrete updates uh -huh. to the story at all. Uh -huh. But everyone kind of weighed in. <clears throat> okay. And Phil, with his magical weigh-in, was actually pretty good. I uh, I agree 100% whatever the fuck he said. I don't even know what the fuck he said. I actually can't even remember what he said. It was basically, uh, she's a bad person morally, and she's rich as hell and uh he hates the kind of streamer she is but he also feels bad if it's true and he has to believe it's true and something 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 uh and that's it 
and that was basically it. On the situation, most people are sympathetic, including me. Listen, I'll tell you, I absolutely positively disagree with the, with the fact that people do this stuff on Twitch. I hate the sexualized content. I think it's very degrading to women. I feel it's not empowering whatsoever. It's sex work. It's just a watered down kind of sex work, but it's still sex work. Um, I feel that it's a situation where people are constantly, uh, not necessarily misled, but it's not like these kind of people who make that content don't know what they're doing. I'm actually going to make know a that point that I made on minded, Twitch as well. People It'll actually maybe be pretty are good. losers in real life. I can talk about it. Antisocial. Don't have about personal about relationships with other people. And, I remember, and this is the I way of feeling like they can get attention time. from a person. Okay? They okay. throw money at these people thinking that literally one day they could meet them and have a date or, or, or go out with them. I know that sounds crazy because it's completely nonsensical and anyone with a brain knows it's not true, but these people aren't thinking logically. They're thinking with emotion. They're thinking with their crotches. They're not thinking like, like normal people, you see? And this kind of content preys on that. However, <clears throat> this situation with Amaranth re re revealing she's in an abusive relationship literally has nothing to fucking do with any of that. And the fact that some people now decided to make this their, oh, it's time for me to stand on a soapbox against this kind of content. You could have done that any other day, and I have. Today's not the day to do it. Today's the day to say, fuck, this is terrible, and she needs to get out of that situation, and you got to worry about the person. Then why do you keep going on history lessons about how much you hate sex work and how much you hate these kind of streamers? He literally prefaces each time he's talked about Amaranth with a fucking three minute ordeal about how much he's opposed to people who have tits and they stream and they stream in provocative manners. I get it. I don't really like it either. But he has to go on this tirade every single time he mentions these folks. And then, oh, well, you know what? You shouldn't be standing up in your soapbox. I do it all the time, but now's not the time. Well, why did you fucking do it just now? Why did you just do it just now? Completely forgot that he did it, by the way. He doesn't even realize that he went on a full minute and a half talking about it. <laughs> he literally just did it. I don't care about the, the the crappy content she puts out and the, you know, the abusive nature of it. I care about a person being misfucking treated and hopefully can get out of that situation. It's time for us to come together a community and say, we need to stand up for the right things and call out the people who are stupid and disgusting about it. Sadly, Keemstar is one of them. <laughs> and that's the funny part. It takes him almost three minutes to get here, but he finally says what the funny part is, which is hilarious because he started this whole thing by, and here's the funny part, and then he goes on to list, Amaranth is a titty streamer, and she is constantly on camera, and she's writing her name on her boobs and everything, and she's in a fucking hot tub. And you you as a regular viewer that's coming in here is like, wow, is that the funny part, Phil? I mean, it's kind of funny to normal people, but like right now, it's not that funny. Why are you talking about this, Phil? Shouldn't you be talking about the abuse or whatever? Shouldn't you be using her name for clout? And now he gets into the point where now he can use somebody else's name for clout. Let's fucking go. And probably the poster child for the worst reaction ever because Keemstar started reacting, saying things like, so it's pretty obvious that she's being mistreated, but... And then he went off about all the content she makes. And literally the entire internet, including major content creators and others, have come up against Keemstar, telling him to shut the fuck up. That we're tired of your shit. We. He's including himself in this, by the way. You're an asshole. Worst take on the internet. Not the time for it. Keep your fucking lips closed because it's none of your fucking business. And when people tell Phil that, he sits there and cries. People are being mean to me on the internet. Why is everybody picking on me? Blah, 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 blah. It's, it's funny when it's somebody else, but when it's him in the crosshairs, I like this little smirk that he's doing, by the way, because he knows, he's like, man, I'm going to get Keemstar to respond. And guess what? Keemstar did respond. So what did he do? What he always does, he deletes the tweets, says, oh, well, I'm deleting all these tweets because people keep taking them out of context and villainizing me, and that's not right. However, however, if you want my full elaboration of my take, Check out my show tomorrow where I'll talk about, like, what, what, what the fuck is this? You think it would have been appropriate for, for Keemstar to use the platform of Twitter that you want? It's like 140, 150, 180 characters or something like that. It's like 200, whatever. That's like 200 characters. I don't know the fucking amount and I actually don't give a shit. But we're supposed to use that platform to give a complex answer to a fucking complex situation. Really, Phil? Maybe you should have said the same thing you did to that guy about uh, 
the fucking arcade cabinet. And that way you could be taken out of context and then you could be looked at as being a negative individual. I like how he I like how he's doing this shit and he does the same the same exact shit because what did he do when he fucking made that stupid ass remark? What did he fucking do? He would then go on to do what is it? It's fucking DSP gaming. It's the fucking Twitter drama. I can't fucking remember. I actually just cannot remember which one it is. One of these. Good lord. There's so much fucking worthless content on this channel. He would end up doing one of his fucking pre-streams. I don't know if it's like fucking episode 90. I can't remember when the fucking tweet was. He would go on to use that entire fucking time and talk about how he was wrong. How he was beat up on. Actually, fucking what's it? tweet. Just look up DSP Gaming tweet. Oh, wow. Wait, I did a thing on it. <laughs> I forgot I did a thing on it. When did I do this? Seven days ago. So it was last week. Yo, what did I say? I need to see this. I need to take my take. My take is very important. Here we go. Here we go. Yo, it was this. So he would go on a fucking stream. He would sit there and he would just, he would just mouth off the entire time. Oh man, they were so evil to me. Oh man, they were so mean. Oh man, 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 man. Oh man, I was wrong. And then like, I think, where is it? He ends up deleting some people, right? <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to remember. Like, somebody has a clip of this. Was it, um... Shit, I think Aqua Teal might have this. Hold up, hold up. Aqua Teal. Not the economy. Six days, seven days. No bubbles is i think it's this one ladies and gentlemen we yeah it is it's this one <laughs> i think okay he leans in eventually i gotta find the moment where he leaned in because it's actually really really fucking good uh, here it is here it is here it is because you could tell when he was doing those angry leans uh, here i am 40 years old it's the last thing i would want in my life i wouldn't want a game cabinet in my house you know what i mean so that's all it is it's an innocent observation and kind of a, a comparison of me uh, uh, as younger versus older. All right, Black Lady walking goodbye. You're out. And anyone else is going to say that it's a dig, you're out. Just just leave now. Because you're obviously, you're here for an agenda, and I'm not going to put up with your bullshit. Okay? Okay, you too. Goodbye. Here it is, because here it is. Here's all the sneak dissing idiots. Okay? Here's one too. Here we go. Goodbye. And you too. And by the way, these are all the sneak dissing regulars that sit here, and they just sit here doing this constantly. They're going to be kept around. Back. Don't even ask to come back. The people that he kept around forever and ever, he kept them around. Oh, suddenly they're sneak dissing idiots. You know, I know why. Because they all said the same thing. DSP, you were uh, you were being negative in that tweet. And he was being negative. He was being really negative in that tweet. And he got really fucking salty. And for days and days and days, he got fucking salty. <laughs> But this dude over here is talking about, well, you know, you should uh, take that offline. Or no, you should take that on Twitter. You should stick to your guns on Twitter. What happened with, with this? He fucking ran away from Twitter after he got blown the fuck out. And he had a 25-minute cry. A cry. Because some dude insulted him by saying, Bill, you're irrelevant. That's what got him set off. And now when Keemstar does the same shit, where he makes a dumbass tweet and he's like, no, nah, I gotta explain myself on fucking stream. He doesn't want anything of it. No, do it on fucking Twitter. <laughs> he wanted, he, he, he doesn't give the same fucking, the same fucking courtesy to fucking Keemstar. He wants Keemstar to fucking live by a different set of rules. This dude is an absolute piece of shit. This guy literally is taking a woman being abused by her husband as fuel for his fucking show. Which he would then end up doing himself because in his own fucking pre-stream podcast, literally the day before, he would use her as fuel for his own fucking content. Surprise, surprise. 
Bill can't even live by his own fucking words. It wasn't this one. It, that was the other one. It was uh, this one right Man. here. It was literally this one. And he would do it right around here. Right around the fucking end of it. He would just talk about fucking yeah, uh, the lady. Most people, like, no one ever expected that was going to happen. Um, right? Jeez. All right. Well, I guess it's time to. Uh... I should. I should do it like here. I gotta put it in the middle. So, how is that women's empowerment? It's actually the opposite, and you created the space for it to happen because you all you cared about were the dollar signs rolling in on that stream, right? So, he literally used her as fuel for his fucking podcast. But heaven forbid, Keemstar does the same exact thing. He's in the wrong. But uh, DSP, he's in the correct. He's he's in the right. Uh, but not according to this current DSP. This DSP, he's in the wrong. He literally is using the abuse of a human as a way to get more fucking views on his content okay. that's pretty fucked up to think about the situation in that in that perspective okay um so by the way no i absolutely positively am not for that kind of streaming but at the same time i mean if like i said if there's even a nugget of truth somewhere in this story it's really messed up and okay ladies and gentlemen it's this simple Stop watching Keemstar. Stop watching Keemstar. Hey, this is pretty good. Because now I can go to this portion. And now you can see that portion. But him reacting to that portion. Right. I'm right. You shouldn't manipulate your audience for more money. Let's play the clip. Come on. All right. So we have DSP, Darkside Phil. Can't believe we're talking about Phil here. Oh, jeez. Uh, he apparently has an issue with you, Keem. Okay, let's hear it. It's this simple. Stop watching Keemstar. What? Whoa. Stop watching Keemstar. Oh, no. Stop watching Keemstar. Wow. Jeez. What is he so fired up about? Oh, God. He's mad. Stop Whoa, we got we got little facts. That's kind of cool. He's just, I'm pretty Keemstar. sure he's just going to keep saying All right? this. There's only so many fucking people on the internet that can tell you this guy is scum. I'm he's scum. an exploiter. He's used time people out, for personal time gain. Out, time wait, out, time out, time wait out. you used him for personal gain? <laughs> I'm an exploiter. This guy You're right here, me. this guy right here cams up once a month saying he can't pay his bills and yeah. hustles his audience yeah. instead of getting a real job. Yeah. And I offered him a $50,000 a year gig to launch a podcast with um wings of redemption and boogie 298 you are let's hear the rest though you offered me the same amount of money as this retail <laughs> <laughs> Not too many times damn. he keeps getting away with it damn. because people i'm exploited watching him if people for once would actually use their fucking noggins and say this guy's a scumbag stop fucking watching his content he would disappear no but people keep watching no i there will, will hold more on pause him if i lose all my viewers all right and i only have like two people that roll with me yeah which uh, would happen if you fired me shut up uh i would uh continue making content for those two people because i i actually fuck with my fans i i spent hours the other day everyone that bought a hoodie i sent you a personal video i like actually like fucking appreciate that because i'm so out there and constantly getting involved in all kinds of shit yeah so when i come across someone that's a real fan like i fucking really appreciate you I oh yeah both keem and D D dsp you know, are dicks. use my viewers like but the thing that i'm trying to make a point is is that this is the reaction that everybody wanted this is all what you wanted even fucking dsp wanted so you got it on last podcast, so this will be a talking point Teddy fresh yeah, i'm not gonna yeah, watch yeah. any further it's than like they, his it's, it just doesn't reaction. seem like these people care about their fans play it all right, hold this on. guy doesn't care about his fans. No, and those Hold are like on. cheap dollar we'll store toys behind him. Now at least like what he has to say. At least pop. When I'm talking, Chris, you yep. better mute Hold the video I'm ASAP. Hold on. When you Hold see on. these juicy I'm little, to we're you. doing too much yeah. talking. No, we're, we're play not. These clips. You what think do you they want to see DSP? Right. I You're hear crazy. What, what he wants to say. Oh my! You, nobody wants to listen to DSP. This I don't want to listen to him. mouth freak. Actually, we need to take his own advice. If we want him to go away, we just need to stop. Watching. I was gonna talk about his toys. Papa Guts got these nice Funkos. This guy got dollar store toys behind him. Anyways, bro. Okay, play. Stop <laughs> watching Keemstar. He is toxic. He is a virus. 
virus. Is destroying content creation as a whole. Why is he mad? Actually as a just whole. used the physical and mental abuse of Amaranth as a way to get views on his fucking Sam. show. Stop watching him. No, I didn't. <laughs> no. Kind of. No. <laughs> no. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And it's funny because both of them were in the wrong. But yeah, you did. And I did too now, technically, because I've shown this multiple times. But that's pretty good. If you're wondering what this is, this was Keemstar's own fucking stream on the Keemstar show. Uh, I don't even know if it's still going. It probably is still going. I don't fucking know. No, it was dead. It's dead. Hey, look at that. Look at that thumbnail. That's pretty good. Got the booba and everything there. It's pretty fucking sweet. And, you know, obviously everyone's going to say... I can skip every... past... Wait, no, not this one. I can skip past this one. I can... Not double click it. Oh, shit. That's Stop new? watching... Wait. Ke Stop. Wow. Why is he so loud? Oh, yeah, it's because I fucking boosted the volume again. Watching. Watching. Now we can move on to other real news. There you um, go. And then he skips it. Konami made a large <sighs> announcement. Yeah. Or did they? Probably something. They certainly made a cryptic remember. announcement that this coming Wednesday... At 2 p.m. Pacific time, they are going to be doing a digital event. A hey, big up digital event. I don't even fucking care about that. Did he get any questions? No, he didn't get any questions because he got one tip from Snorlax King. That was it. <laughs> that was basically all that was. So there you go. The pre-stream podcast can basically be summed up by he talked about Keemstar. And Keemstar talked about him. So that was pretty good. So there you go. Everybody got everything that they wanted. All right, so now all that leaves is to watch DSP in his fishing segment because we're going to watch DSP in his fishing segment. Aren't you excited, guys? You're fucking excited. My favorite Amaranth image is still the one of the cat getting a decent chunk of flesh. See, that's what I was thinking. It was like, I thought she had a cat. Oh, well. Ah, oh, damn. He's running late to his own stream by two minutes. Oh, and he uh, said, good evening, everybody. So everybody's probably, like, psyched to see this stream or something. I don't fucking know. We can keep him on here. Yeah, hopefully you're very excited for this uh, worthless stream. All right, uh, I'm going to be continuing on watching him tonight because I don't have anything to do. I mean, I do have things I could be doing, but I have nothing important to fucking do today. This is going to be pretty cool. Pretty sweet, if you will. That's the only people that have currently talked in chat, and there are currently this many people in chat, so that's pretty good. Uh, they'll start lining up, though. There's 28 people, and they're waiting for DSP. Eventually he'll start, and he'll play some crappy-ass music. You know what? While we're waiting for him, we should watch a video. I actually know the video that we should watch, and it's Cobra-related, too, so that's going to be pretty good. Let's see. Go to the history really quick. Cobra. I had, like, a good video that I wanted to watch. What was that video? It was, like, a noodle burger or something. No, it was the worm burger. Oh yeah, the fucking worm burger. Let's see. Oh my god. It's like King Cobra Worm Burger. Yeah, the ghost pepper worm whopper pack. Nice. Uh, I guess we can watch this fucking uh, abomination to the Lord. Okay, that's... No. We're not playing that clip. Can I drag this, please? I don't know why that's being extra. Okay, no. And fucking play it from the beginning. I'll play it from the middle. What up, YouTube? It's your boy... What up, YouTube? ...with another food review. Happy Halloween season. Let's grab a shot of some sake. That's yeah, what's sake. What's That's what's up. So we're going to be doing a review of the Ghost Pepper Whopper from Burger King, man. It's going to be crazy. Now, sake is for 21 and up, so yeah. All right, let's grab ourselves a chair because... Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. I'm gonna stack those. This ghost pepper whopper, custom made with everything on it. Yes, please, with some jalapeno poppers. Let's get one of those real quick. 
<laughs> the unga bunga works well for this. Ooh, oh, 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 you too. You too. Oh, Ooh, shit. Nice. You Ooh, save. you too. I almost dropped it, but I saved it. That was Ooh, ninja. We. I was like, no. Ooh, we. There's our ghost pepper whopper with the uh, jalapenos, extra cheese, extra bacon. Let's get a close up of that action. All right. <laughs> Looking pretty spicy, man. Well, let's make it spicier. Am I going to watch DSP's night stream? Popper. Yes. To make it even more spicy. If somebody asks that again, I'm gonna tell them to rewind the stream. The fuck not. I gonna eat this? Hell no. Get get the fuck on there. Stay. Then we got four jalapeno poppers on there. Looks like he started. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh. But I think we could do spicier. Here I have some ghost pepper, spicy chicken flavored, dry black noodles. <laughs> yeah, now, really. these are really spicy. <laughs> you know what? I gotta repeat that. I gotta repeat that. I don't care what the haters say if they can't say, or if they say I can't get a girlfriend, fuck them. My cock touches my belly button fully hard. I have big muscles, amazing guitar, and singing skills. <laughs> And definitely helps me get a girlfriend now. If only I could get a job, that would also increase my chances. I also need to learn how to have more confidence in uh, myself. That would help too. That's a what a fucking classic cobra. Now these are really spicy. These are god damn it. Here we go. Now these are really spicy. I like these. Thank you to the fans who sent them. <laughs> now, I added just a little bit of liquid smoke and a little uh, bit of uh, soy sauce. Liquid smoke is back. Step one of making these, you want to fill it up with water, microwave it, then you drain the water. Uh, Step two, you add the sauce that comes with the packet here. And a couple drops of liquid smoke and a couple drops of uh, soy the sauce. The tactical soap, uh, soap brings all the ladies. Which they kind of look like worms, like... Ooh, look at that, look at that, look, yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Should we put some of these on the burger YouTube? Would that be fucking nuts? A little scoop Beef. of that on there. Yes, we shall. <laughs> it just slides right off the burger. It didn't even get close to the burger. Let's use the greasy hands. Not even washed. It's only Slap them in, in the, there. Uh, Pretty good. I like the, the fingernails, by the way. Dude, look at these fingernails. Look at this shit. Yo, look at this. Oh. Oh. Imagine what was in there. Yeah. Get on there. Oh, it knocks. Okay, sir. <laughs> Get a rocket right the fuck. It knocked a um, jalapeno popper off. There we go. There is a uh, King Cobra food hack. Mm. Fucking. He's trying to think of a name. Pepper Whopper. <laughs> I'm squish that down. So it's on there. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. There she is. There she is, boy. Those, um, ghost pepper ramen noodles uh, with a spicy uh, chicken uh, flavor. Uh, 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 they, they got a little stank on them, dude. Uh, 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 uh. I want to grab a shot. <laughs> Goddamn fucking camera. Okay, I want to grab the um, a shot of beer to coat my stomach. Oh, shit. Cussing up a storm here, dude. So, YouTube, here we go. Can't wait for the cross section. I don't want to lose any of the noodles. You hate this? You love this. Shut up. You love this, Bill Brasky. Oh, I got the Y wrong in Ozzy. It's like a little fucking 
weird you see thing. See spicy ramen noodles in the center with those jalapeno poppers? Hell yeah, look at that cross section. That's looking mm -hmm. pretty dank. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Knowing King Cobra JFS, it's like, Original ain't gonna be spicy enough. We're gonna just amp it over the edge a bit to where it's uh. still tolerable. It's actually a really good burger, man. I'm digging it. The bun, very Halloweenish. <laughs> Even if you don't have the um, Halloweenish. The ramen. No, I don't want to show the teeth the burger. Pushing. That was horrible. Putting jalapeno poppers on top of that just gives it an extra layer of cheese and. Ooh, man. Put the black sesame seeds on the orange bun. Ghost Pepper Whopper YouTube. I think he did the one chip challenge as well, and he was fucking dying doing it. That's why DSP was be trying to be made to do the one chip challenge, because also oh, uh, Wingo did it. Sasaki for that. Yeah, big up Sasaki. Mm. Gonna look that up. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, DSP should be. <sighs> He'll eventually play. We'll keep him up. Funny. King Cobra chip challenge. Yeah, he did the one chip challenge. But this was years ago. I thought one he did one recently. Yeah, he did. It, no, he did the nut, the gummy bear. Never mind. I saw this shit. I was like, oh my god, this has got to be horrible. What up, you do? You want to set the timer for five minutes on the phone? I'm going to do the world's hottest gummy bear challenge. That's what's up. Hope you all have an awesome day. Now, I like drinking on camera, but... And I, I got a little bit of money for alcohol, but I just decided that I didn't want to drink tonight, to be honest. I like drinking, but uh, passing out on streams a little eh. <laughs> Look at the happy, happy little Boglum. He's all tuckered out. Hold the fallen Sylvester Stallone. He's about to do the hottest gummy bear challenge. Yes. So we're going to eat it to start the timer for five minutes. We hear an old Aluga car horn when the alarm goes. Nah, off. he didn't do that edit. It was from Bite Size Cobra. Let's do this. Fuck it's <laughs> 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 He gets really, really everything with this. Swallow it. <sighs> Why do I do this shit for you too? Ah. Does Cobra have a job? What does he do? He makes wands for a living. Wildlife was set. That's a spicy meatball. <clears throat> Oh, fuck. Ah, I need some Kleenex. Ah, ah. <laughs> he just makes these animal noises the entire time. It's still ready. Ah, no, he's not ready three yet. Three minutes and counting. He's kind of still ah, fucking that's around. That's one mean yo. <laughs> I didn't spit it out, dog. Trust me. Ah. Oh god, I fucked my god up. Uh, uh, ah, my uh, stomach. I just wanted to do a spicy food. Uh, 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 uh. Survived it. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Oh god, I feel like I'm gonna puke. Uh. Profit all the ones. Some of them are, can be pretty uh, expensive. Uh, uh, how much? <laughs> He's got snot on him. Uh, He's still got the snot on him. He doesn't even realize it's there. He's just got a like a line of snot on him. That sucks. I'll be fine. I'll catch you later. 
Okay, and that was the end of that. I think there was like some more shit afterwards, but I don't fucking care. The King Cobra one. It was like a wand tutorial. No, not this. Not the how to make a wand, but like he made a wand recently and it was like pretty bad. Yeah, the <laughs> the wand lathing. Holy shit. Yo. On? He did this. He did this as a fucking YouTube video. And like this shit, you want to talk about something scary? Like this is scary to watch. <laughs> By the way, I love how he's currently using this thing, and it's like it's spinning really, really. He, he has loose clothing. He doesn't tie back his hair. He constantly reaches for the phone during this entire thing. It is a nightmare to watch. Like if you have anxiety, watch this video because this video is like it's perfect. It's by Lead and Lime, but uh, this is like this is great. Am I aware of Cyrax? I am aware of Cyrax. I don't fucking delve into Cyrax though. He's a he's a fucking weird motherfucker. Oh my god. Why? Oh man, these are some rough rough images. This one's always going to be my favorite, but this one's pretty good too. You know what? I should get into the spirit of Halloween too now that I think about it. Guys, I need to get into one of my costumes. Let's see. There you go. I can be the colonel now, too. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. I'm going to be the colonel. I got to make sure. Uh, where is it? Sure. We got a nice old drumstick right here. That we can uh, keep with us. There you go. Damn it. The drumstick there. Just right there. Put it in the, the fucking... Firmly grasp it. Firmly grasp it. Firmly grasp it. There you go. There you go. All right, perfect. There you go. Firmly grasp it. I got a whole bunch of chicken to sell you. Come here. Fried chicken, boy. <laughs> I tell you what. All right, there you go. We can feel uh, festive and very Halloween-y. <laughs> you know what? Oh, shit. I can also do this. I should have gotten an empty one now that I think about it. It's okay. The 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 fucking coating. It, yeah, you know what? The chicken grease is like an extra coating. The fried coating. There you go. I'm just uh, getting real authentic right now, guys. Don't mind me. But where's the boob? The what are you talking about, the booba? <laughs> oh, man. God, why does he take so long to start up? The robust chicken, I agree. Wait, is he not playing any music? Oh, he is playing music. It's just very low. <sighs> okay. Oh, be prepared, be prepared, be prepared. Kill this thing off in the bottom. The breasts are in the bucket. Yeah, exactly. The breasts are in the bucket. Slave owner in. Uh. Now, wait a minute. Hold up there. Firmly grasp it. It's my, now my new tech stone. Awesome. God damn it. Uh, he's busy behind the scenes working his ass off. How fucking busy do you gotta be, man? We're already five minutes late. Do I have a DSP costume? No, I don't. I'm getting hungry, though. I want him to start so that way I can go and grab a bite. 
said I wasn't going to eat, but, like, I'm kind of hungry now. Just pause this for a second. I want to have a little bit of a buffer. Just in case. Anna's DSP right now? Basically. I have other costumes, too. Ludwig helped with uh, some other costumes. I have more robust costumes, if you want. You know what? I'm going to stop the count now. We have 66% for Rabid Mario and 34% for Gotham Knights. So this is how the chat is currently feeling. They think that uh, DSP is probably going to play Rabid Mario. Uh, and that's what I'm feeling too. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but those are the results for the uh, poll. I'm going to put up another poll, chat. This poll will be... Uh, which costume is restream best and we're gonna put on what are we gonna put he's just gonna do the same segment right now so you're not missing it we'll put uh i don't know if we want to keep you know what? we'll keep colonel ann we'll keep uh we'll have uh docky ann A clown and no look cool and yeah and uh we'll put bowsette Ann because we love the bowsette there you go guys uh which uh costume is the best for restream <laughs> Colonel Sanders. I'm not going to do the Clussy, because if I do the Clussy, Clussy automatically wins. I don't want to wear the Clussy again. You guys already made that. Weekly chill late night session of fishing fun that we like to call Sunday Night Bites. Although last week it was Tuesday Night Bites, and this week it's Monday Night Bites. There's been a lot of stuff going on you know between what the street fighters beta sand? um uh, between the closest me i have to, to do private videos is... for patrons last night uh there's been a heck of a lot going on kind of shifting around right. Let me, the schedule hold and that's fine we might even have more coming up because now this coming week we're actually heading into the very crazy Beef. um new release gaming season the What's hardcore the gaming season as i used to call it um with Playtale, technically tomorrow, the closest that I have to close for a while. is Friday. This we're gonna have a new release. It's either gonna be this is my closest new Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope or Gotham yeah. Knights. If you wanted this, the week after that we got two it, new releases: with Resident Evil 8 DLC and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And with all that coming, it might shift the schedule around but... even a little bit more. I don't know if exactly I'll be doing fishing every Sunday night. I would like to keep fishing in the vacation uh... once a week. I really we don't enjoy want our late one. night chill stream. This one fishing. is uh, not a lot. Um, but we have to see. We have to see what happens. The thing is, here's the thing about you guys don't get the vote in the streams, such as Disney Dreamlight Valley. I also have to refuck up the, the lighting on this. These the lighting is like weird for a variety on my purposes, face. for sure. But the real reason they exist is because that. I need something to fill time between new releases, like the summer. There was almost no high-profile new releases whatsoever. All right, guys, whatsoever. you voted on uh, the fucking cast. I, I in. guess we're going to have to be, uh, you know, about that. For the variety, I instituted some of these games as late-night chill streams. But when I am playing non-stop new releases starting tomorrow, uh, we may need to use the late-night streams for just the main games to make progress in them so I don't get so backlogged that I'm not finishing anything before right, the guys, next game comes out. All right, guys, we got Bowsette and... <clears throat> There you go. So, you got what you voted for. Oh, guys I'm about it. Something like Sunday Night Bites in the next few weeks ends up having to be skipped or go on a hiatus or whatever it may be. Listen, I really enjoy this stream. I have a great time with it. I know that you guys do too or you wouldn't be here to chill with me. But, uh, you know, that's that's how it works. New releases will always take priority on DSP Gaming. Um, and I hope that you guys understand. The chat's full of, okay? full of now, that being said, Yeah, pretty much. Wait. Queen of Games. It's all about chill fun. Dude. Yeah. I'm a pervert too, technically. Come on, we're all perverts here. In. I like. We to all say just like to do it in measured quantities. When I play quantities. these chill streams, really the main focus is on us interacting and having a good, relaxing time. <clears throat> and hey, 
if I happen to catch a giant fish, Pizza's just lying. Pizza's just lying. Uh, He's in the like stream too. Last week and catch a record eighty some fish in one if night, you're which was here, insanity. You're, um, you're questioning. You know, all the better for it. But that's not exactly what I'm focusing on. I really would just like to have some chill conversation, a nice relaxing stream here tonight with all of you. Earlier uh, today, I'm fucking in relaxing. The very in nick the of grave. time, I finished the Evil Within. So with that stream, there was not a lot of opportunity for interaction and discussion because I was very focused on getting as far what about as the I other could costume. There's a lot game. of other costumes. So that way it wasn't lingering. I'm just not using the coming moment. out. Okay. <clears throat> the boyfriend now, free girl is seated. <laughs> a couple quick things. Uh, if you tip eight dollars or more in one bill tonight, you can ask the magic eight that? ball a question. You love Here that, we go. dude. Magic eight ball. Will I hit a new record of yes. some type tonight? Yes. In Monday Night Bites. Yes. Ask again later. Uh -oh. Well, if I ask you later, it doesn't matter because we'll know. <laughs> you stupid eight ball. But anyway, yes, if you tip eight dollars no, or more, don't send you can ask the magic DMs. eight ball I don't question. Need to see those right, All right now. If you tip me, you know, any amount, you're gonna get a shout out. And <clears throat> if you are the top tipper, you get on the leaderboard. Yeah, probably. Um, we have I worship the, animations the, the that devil. I will play not? for levels of tip. There's a four dollar twenty cent, five to ten dollar, six dollar sixty six cent, ten to twenty dollar. 20 to $30, 30 to $40, 40 to $50, they all those say the categories. If you tip within there, you will get a fun animation, Halloween animation play. Um, there are larger animations as well for larger contributions, like 75, 100, 150, 200, but those are almost never played, wow. which is perfectly fine. Okay? <clears throat> mm, nice and convenient to say that shit, huh? Now, the reason I'm bringing this up is twofold. Reason number one. Because this Thursday is my day off. Reason number All one. tips that I raise on my streams between now and Thursday go to my day off. One. Meaning one. groceries, pet supplies, things for around the house. One and meal a week that I happen to have with my wife that we don't so cook much, at home, man. which is nice. It's kind of like a date. Um, oh, the date. All the hey, funds cool. go to that. Okay? So that's number one. It's important. I need to raise tips for my day off this coming Thursday. Number two, we have an ongoing thing with Sunday Night Bites, which is now Monday Night Bites, where we raise $100 in tips. I put on my fisherman's hat, and we add a new fishing lure to the hat. What does I that mean? I basically present you with several different lures uh -huh. um, to choose from. You vote, and whatever wins the poll ends up being added to the hat permanently. Right now, we have four different lures on the hat, including a frog, a small neon yellow and white lure. Then we have a colored, um, I think it's like a tri, a, a dual color lure. It's like pink. Yeah, on somebody's top, probably going to give them a, a bunch of money. And then we, the new one we added last week was the big ass lure, the biggest one I had, the giant white one with a big red eye. So now we have all of these lures on the hat, which is really cool. All right. You it can sure almost would tell be great to there. add another one tonight. Because number one, that would mean I got good amount <laughs> of support there for my is. day off. But number sure two, would be great. I like the idea that we're ongoing adding something, oh. building something together on the stream. It's kind we're of building nice. It. And I have many lures. Yeah, we're building right something added, together. Tonight, we're building a hat. That we're building box, the investment. Some of those. I think there's like a crawfish thing, and a shrimp and different other things that we can add to the hat as well that are a little bit different than the ones that are on there already. Okay. So, yeah, he tried to do a lure to anyone who supports the stream in any way, as little as just liking the stream, getting 100 a likes on the stream, dollar helps a month. for engagement purposes. Talking with me, all I need that helps. Everybody gave me Becoming a dollar a, a month. member or doing a super chat or a super, t super sticker that helps. Tipping a stupid that helps sticker? a lot. Wait, did he say a stupid sticker? Helps for engagement purposes. Talking with me, interacting that helps. Becoming a channel member or doing a super chat or a super, t super sticker that helps. Hey, Jill, he did say stupid sticker. I, I just realized that. He said stupid sticker. Wait a minute. T super sticker. That helps. That helps. Becoming a channel member or doing a super chat or a super t super sticker. That helps. <laughs> Tipping. Yeah. That He's helps saying a stupid sticker. It's a big up stupid stickers. Blah. Okay. All I right. really would love to hit this hat goal tonight. I keep striking <laughs> my microphone. I think I might love to hit the hat goal. So hit the mic. To me inadvertently. Because that's the second time today I'm just moving my hands normally and I smack the microphone. I don't know what I'm doing here. Anyway. It would be great anyway. to add another lure to the hat tonight. Here's why. Sure would be I don't great. know if doing this next week, right? I don't know the next time when we're going to get to do this. Bruh. So it would be great to kind of have a nice, successful... If we're not doing this next week, then why the fuck do we care about giving this week if we don't know if it's going to come back? ...stream here tonight, and then if we goes on what's hiatus, the fucking, it goes on hiatus, what's you know, the, so we can bring it back the when draw we have downtime, okay? We're going to give you money so right. we may not so come guys, back thanks again? For being here. We have one contribution so far to shout out. Jason did a super chat and says, I've joined your stream. You're cute, playing an adorable game. 
Your avatar is fabulous. My avatar? <laughs> you mean DSP Gaming in text that kind of looks like Street Fighter logo? Uh, okay. Yeah, Unless Phil. you're talking about another avatar I'm not aware of. But anyway, Jason, thank you for the super chat. <laughs> I don't even know what you're getting at there, but uh, thank you. Yeah, your All avatar right. looks pretty cute. So I agree, Phil. Ado, I think we should get started. <laughs> Derek, good evening. How are you? It's good to see oh, you Oh, Derek, here leave. Get out of here, Last Tuesday, you caught 88 fish. The two new lures... The fish really like biting. Yes, I, I really seriously thought we are going to match that tonight. But we'll we'll go to a different area. We won't do the same lake. We'll do a different one. And let's see what happens. Looks like our first tip has come in. Ew, I just got a tip from Joker Boko saying tonight's dinner is a chili cheese footlong Oof. from Sonic. No, and I've never tried that. Another yeah. good way to end my day. Sounds good. I had the chili cheese footlong from Sonic, if you remember. <laughs> the fish really um, love biting. During a feasting with the king. God, what are we talking about? And I loved I don't it. Even know what that was actually about. the thing I liked the most from Sonic. Everything else that I got from oh, Sonic, I didn't really Sonic like that food. much. But was that was Sonic actually quite game. good. Was that last year? That would have been a feasting with the king last year, actually. But uh, all right. So thank you, Chocobogo, for the first tip of the night. No, I trash man. No, no, no. With the tips no, going, here is your animation. No. Don't, don't. I don't want to do a sub goal for something I'm going to consume. Trying to get this whole thing down to an arc. Fuck no, please uh, don't. When it comes don't do to this. Tipping. I'm getting better at it. It's been about two weeks since this new method that I'm using, and it seems to be working. Dan the Man has re-upped his membership for 10 months and says, Hey, Phil, what's going on, I'm Dan so the Man? I'm so scared if that happens. To the I don't want it to happen. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely keeping those lures there for sure. Derek says, keep those lures from last week. Oh, yeah. That, I'd, I'd, be doing, I'd be pretty stupid to switch those up now, no? However, Five hour energy amp and Red Bull? Uh, God, my kidneys are shrinking thinking about that. Take a look at the percentage of fish that I've caught. That Sabine River. Ew, apple John's juice, River ginger ale, and coconut call. rum? I think maybe we'll do Sabine River today. I feel like one of those is like way too much. I think it looks like a plan. We're going to do it. Here we go. Is the. Well, maybe actually right, it probably uh, wouldn't be that bad. I don't like coconut I'm going to start though. recording, do a little bit of an intro for those cool watching on demand on YouTube, guys. And then we will start. Okay? Ew, Here we the go. Chili chug. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome back to the fucking Monday Night All right, Bites. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Monday Night Bites. I know the right? past couple of weeks, my Bassmaster fishing We're streams have been thrown into lures uh, tonight. I got, We're we gonna can't see what skip we can ahead. Do. We can maybe. All right, guys. He's literally. I don't know if he's gonna do lures. He's either gonna do immediate fishing or he's gonna do. I'm kind of hoping he just does immediate fishing. Oh shit, yo, he's uh... doing immediate fishing. Yo, poggers. All right, we're gonna leave this with a buffer. Oh. Perfect, yo, this is perfect. We can put this at 480p and hope to God the stream dies. Let's see if we can find a nice little spot. Yeah, let me let me let it buffer for a second. Start our fishing let it play and uh, let me change the Albert. music. As I spoke to Goofy, to chill out with his fish aphrodisiac. He instead dumped a ton of laxative. You might see floaters in the water. Okay, thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Thanks for the heads up, Lucas Albert. It's absolutely disgusting, but I appreciate your input and your concern. So it says there's a lot of fish already. Which is weird, because you would think, why would there be a lot of fish here? You would think they would want to be in a secluded area with water. But according to the game, there actually are fish. Let's, uh, maybe, maybe swim over here. Like, you would think this would be the area with all this foliage. Like, this would be a good area for fish. Let's go a little bit further in. Yeah, I'd rather swap the coconut rum. I, I don't think I could fire. do coconut rum. I have played one, but I never beat it. Xeno Gears, I have played one, but I never beat it. Chrono Cross, I never played Question that John Smith just asked me. So Derek says this is a 360 mile long river, the Sabine River, in the southern U.S. in the states of Texas and Louisiana. It's a little bit of back. Yeah, he. Um, so why don't we, we give this a when toss he's here moving? The the fucking boat now, overtakes what, uh, what him so use, much. Like week, you, oh can't God, work, right? you can't even hear nothing. You can't even hear yourself think. Let's try this. The deep little black and blue. I, I hate it so much. Like, I try and put some BGM on, and it just gets drowned out. But he always talks a bunch whenever he's driving, because he doesn't have to think. All right. Well, hopefully you guys are strapped in. This is going to be one of those kind of streams where we kind of just chill and exist i, I guess like i don't lure. even know if i want none to play anything on the side i might boot up literally none of the switch, fish went for this lure but so i don't feel like doing a whole lot for this lake they did not care look but yeah, hopefully you enjoy uh the sounds of 
uh, Wind Waker, the great sea theme for the oh, next two oh, hours. Because you're oh, literally going to hear oh this as the music. Oh my god, did you see the size of that catfish? You didn't bite this it. is the music that you're going to hear. The Let's try time. a different lure. Let's fishes. try the other lure. Okay, let's try the other one. You know, this one the I'm not gonna fire up Monster Hunter. Jig. I gotta redo all this. of my shit for Monster Hunter. I gotta get all my sus mods on where I can see like that the jiggles. That was a giant catfish, so. But I haven't updated it yet. I play on PC, dude. Come on. That's boat theme music. So again, hopefully you enjoy this for the next two hours because this is the only music you're gonna hear. You're gonna feel like you're on the high seas of fucking stupidity. Why not play Ocarina of Time fishing theme? Nah. You know so what? See, fight Fona? I feel like this is a bad angle. This is why they pay you the big bucks. So much this is why they pay you the big bucks. This is like the right way to approach I didn't this. think about it. I didn't have let's, the... Let's you know what? I'm so used to him moving. Bank. By the way, I got like, no tip. Awesome. When he, whenever he was moving around, I would play it like this. But I guess he's tip counting. Lumpia, turkey burgers, and banana ketchup. What in the heck is banana ketchup? I've it's never had that. Oh, wait, sweet that's supposed to be My bad. I misread. It's supposed to be real wise. What is banana ketchup? It's Filipino. I've never had banana ketchup before. That's just sounding. It's Filipino. It's, it's sweet ketchup. My it's bad, the, Derek, I read the It's the food that you said was gross, Phil. No, why would a catfish sting you with their whiskers? That sounds ridiculous. It. Oh, I got a tip here. Hold on. Kind of? Dead Iron has tipped me three dollars. I started playing Ghostwire Tokyo today. What's your opinion about the game? Um, right, I like the art design. Let's I like kill the of the ghosts. Some of them are pretty cool and creepy. Um, I actually like some of the side stories and content. Um, but ultimately, the game is kind of a disappointment. Um, it does get repetitive and grindy. And there the game, go. sadly, here's the thing: when you start I'll playing the game, it starts getting interesting, and you start unlocking new combat abilities and things. It's really neat. But once you get about halfway through the game, you've pretty much unlocked everything in the game. <clears throat> and you start to realize, oh, I, I almost kind of saw everything already. Now, there are a couple unique story developments and things, but for the most part, it ends up definitely getting rep repetitive. And that's a shame. It almost feels like maybe they should have kept adding new things to the combat or new kinds of challenges. But they really don't. And a lot of the enemies do get pretty repetitive and like oh, once you've seen them once you've seen it a million times you know what i mean um and that's not good obviously there we go we're nice and chill now oh, we're like on, it was right there frozen and chill bite it he he bumped it and didn't bite it seriously he bumped the lure wait okay what i'm what gonna the? I'm gonna oh, grab a. Uh, what in the something. holy heck was that? I, I gotta I, grab something. That was a weird catch, right? That was a weird catch. I was pulling the lure up to cast again, and he bit it on was the I way Was I muted up. the entire time? That was an odd one. Here, let's actually try to catch. Was I muted into the and lane. I didn't realize so it? We got our first catch. And I was muted for like yeah, the last three minutes. Banana ketchup. I've never. Okay. So those who revive says banana ketchup is a sweet. Yet I was so worried. I was like, oh. God damn it. Interesting. I was making fun of DSP not knowing sweet banana ketchup because that's Filipino and so is lumpia. But I mean, DSP oh, hates man. fucking Filipino food, so that's whatever. All right, be right back. Get it. They're up. There we go. They all they all swim by it and didn't bite it, and then the finally one did. There's something about this lure. That fish loved to bite it. Oh, we got a heartbeat, which means this is a, a fish I don't have yet. Yeah. He jumped. We got a jumper. Very nice. So a tangy sauce from the Philippines, huh? Let me try it. Banana ketchup. So is this a new variation or just a trophy size? Let's see. Check out the green beast from beneath. So he's a spotted bass and he's green. And that's the uniqueness about this bass is the colorations. Cool. Very nice. Good start. Jade said he had a good time with the evil within. He loved it. I'm glad to hear that. So it's a fruit ketchup condiment. It has banana, sugar, vinegar, and spice. Lumpia are various types of spring rolls found in the Philippines. I see. So you're dipping tasty spring rolls into this unique sauce. That sounds good. That sounds pretty darn good.
I don't know if this is supposed to be on the bottom or not. The fish still bite it. But I have no idea if this is actually supposed to be on the bottom or if I should be doing it like this. Oh, we got a big boy. We got a big boy. Yes, we do. A skinny fish. We got a skinny guy. Spring rolls are great. You know, I grew up eating egg rolls. I never even knew what a spring roll was. And then probably in the last decade, I started eating spring rolls because a lot of places out here have spring rolls, not egg rolls. Um, I think I like the spring rolls better if it's fresh and crispy. Because uh, the egg roll, that fish is glitched. It's a ghost fish right there for October. Um, there it is, the ghost fish. There's a ghost fish around the boat. What is going on with that? Um, a spring roll is that thin style of wrapping that they fry and it's crisp very crispy and usually the spring roll is full of a bunch of tasty veggies and they can add other things to it while the egg roll typically is a more like heavily deep fried thicker coating right look at this guy what a finned freak of nature the long nose gar seriously this guy it looks like a, a, a spear or something throw, <laughs> throw it at your enemy and pierce his heart with this fish pretty cool no, no run today, Jade. I think actually I'm, gonna, I'm going to go on my, uh, my my run tomorrow. Try to get back into the swing of things because these past few weeks, it's been very weird with special events and things throwing me out of my sink of doing it. Uh, but now it's cool. Now we're in cool fall weather. So it will probably be the perfect time to jump back in probably tomorrow. Yoink, already got a fish. Beautiful. They love this lure. I don't know what it is about this one lure. But man, do they love this lure, right? Derek asks... Do I like the Karate Kid movies? Raph Macho has turned 60. Um, you know, they're all right. I'm not in love with them. I think, I think I like Mr. Miyagi better than anything else in the movie. You know what I mean? Like, he's, he's charismatic and fun to watch. He's a funny character. Um, but am I in love with the movies? Not really. I've only seen them maybe even once or twice each. Seriously, I've never really seen them that much. What the frick? I definitely pressed it in time. There we go. Huge! Oh boy, that is Shack Daddy super bass. A big old largemouth bass. He's a chubber too. Look at him. <laughs> Very nice. I oh, I never saw lot, right? Derek says I only saw the one with Jaden Smith and Jackie Chan. I've never seen that. That's that's the remake. I, I, I only know about the originals from the eighties. Yoink! So what it is, if you give it a, a tug quickly and make it move fast across the floor of the, the lake, the fish start to think it's real and it's trying to escape it, and then they go right after it. Look at this guy. Sorry about that. White I was, uh, cool. grabbing a bite. I got some pork adobo that I wanted to eat. No sleep real vibes. I haven't seen Gremlins in a while. Is it for the Halloween time? I mean, yes or no, it is a horror Lupia movie. Reminded me of it. But it's more of a, you know, it's not a gory horror movie. And... It basically it's set around Christmas, so it's arguable. Is it as a Halloween horror movie? Is it a Christmas movie? I like to think it's a Christmas horror movie. I think I like the idea of having seasonal things. With bones? For that. Look at this no, glitched fish. Whoa, come on, you didn't bite it. It's super Look at that was fatty. a giant catfish and he didn't bite this thing. I have That's rice, below. I have rice. Whoa, <laughs> come on! <laughs> You're probably gonna hate this. Come on, how'd I miss? You're probably gonna hate this, Homer, but <laughs> the rice that I currently have, it's a mixture that of white rice and like, uh, it, it's like black it's rice, but it turns the rice up. Uh, Yoink, wow, like, immediate bite, very thing. nice. It's supposed what to be happened? better for me, because oh, uh, I need to stop eating released, so much white rice. Strike, but then he released the hook. You know, oh, you need oh. to put brown rice and everything. Oh, shit, brown rice, black up. rice, you know, whatever, whatever. So it's supposed to be healthier for me. Nice. <laughs> I just miss eating white rice, damn it. No! Oh. That's a more pale fish. That is a white bass. Okay. Have I seen Krampus? I saw the first one. It was definitely a weird Don't movie. Don't eat the damn... Uh, uh, lots of creepy... The, the Krampus itself is quite scary. Along with the creatures certain, that it, it, uh, it teams up with or whatever. High it rice that I like Those are pretty crazy. And then some of the time. gore is pretty crazy, too. But, um... Do I love the movie? No. I saw it, like, once. It was all right. You know, I'm probably never going to really care about seeing it again. But I the like the idea from, like, of having seasonal south, I don't horror like movies. Too much. I do. I and like how, the idea that horror is stationary rice. That ghost fish is not going to go away. That is incredibly creepy. Since it's flickering, I'm going to say it's the ring fish. It's like from the from it comes out of your TV, flickering TV. 
Jeepers Creepers, I hated. I didn't like Jeepers Creepers at all. I thought the movie sucked ass. I gotta mix the rice, because, um... I don't know. I just... I'm trying to do a little bit better. I don't know. Got him. I've also been trying one. to eat stuff that's a little bit more... Just stay with the ghost fish. ...digestible all night. for me. All night long. And rice is Actually, so much easier Actually, it's 8.36 in the morning, according to the clock in the game. So it's a very early morning fishing right now. All night long. <clears throat> Dude, please. Got don't, don't do this. Here we go. I'd like to Spotted be able to eat these. We're on a roll. This is good. <laughs> really doesn't have a whole lot to talk Dark about right Goldbox now. Says it's such, it says it says it's a so bad it's a good movie for me. Which movie? Krampus? I have seen Sinister. Sinister isn't scary, except for one scene where there's a shock with, with a jump scare and a lot of, uh, basically you don't actually see the horrendous act happening. Yeah, that's pretty robust. There's a giant audio scare when it happens and you know exactly what happened even though you don't really see it on camera. And it's scary as hell because it's really gruesome. Outside of that, the movie's not scary at all. Like, yeah, I wasn't scared at all by the fucking movie. I thought it was hilarious, actually. <laughs> I thought it was a funny movie. <clears throat> Krampus. So Gar Darth Gullback says he thinks Krampus is so bad it's good. Movies can definitely be so bad they're good. That's that's definitely true. I say my Super Mario Brothers movie from the 19, uh, early 1990s, as well as the Street Fighter movie. Those are two so bad it's good movies for me. Guilty pleasures. Jade, no, I currently have no plans to go back to multiverses, as you know. Um, I really like the game. I played it for over two months straight. I was learning the new characters, and people were giving me feedback that they didn't like it. They were bored of it. They thought that the game wasn't interesting. I said, okay, I'll stop playing it. So I did, and, you know, I know. Stripe has been added. Stripe from Gremlins, the villain Gremlin from Gremlins 1, who's added. Apparently, he's a pretty cool character. But people don't want to see me play it, so I'm, I'm staying away from it, you know? No, it's not Crazy Ralph pretty Macchio cool, 60. I mean, Ralph Macchio played that kid when I was, like, in single digits. So I'm not yeah, surprised he's 60. You know, I'm 40. No. I don't fucking care about BTS. So there you go. He was probably in his 20s when he played those movies. Even though he plays a teenager, he's probably in his 20s. Technically, in terms of BSP's audience, it was a dead game for a way while. Way older than the person. But I mean, he's saying it's a dead game because he can only measure shit from his own audience, to be fair. No sleep real vibes is when I play Sonic for... Oh, come on, bite it. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, okay. This is when I play Sonic Frontiers. I need... What the hell was that? Dude, the fish ripped a big one. Or the fisherman did. You heard that, right? By the way, the glitch is back. Look at his face. The goatee glitch <laughs> is back. Half of his beard is fused into his face again. And he just ripped a big fart when he pulled the fr fish in. Oh, no, that? no, no, no. I don't, you guys I don't heard do it, banana right? ketchup I on I'm my rice. I'm not making that up. Like, he totally ripped a big one. He just completely ex spread I the I got cheese. some in the kitchen, but... What I, happened there? <laughs> I don't use it for anything but maybe anyway, Lupia. How about this? For the premiere of Sonic Frontiers and the premiere only, if we hit... A certain goal. I'll then, have uh, a Sonic yeah, I'll hat. Put on a Sonic hat. Yeah. But that's like you guys know, it's not a hat that I like wearing. It's yeah, not no comfortable. Shit. It makes me sweat quite a lot because it's not really meant to be a hat. It's a costume with a big. It's basically like having a big pillow taped to the top of your head, all stuffing and shit. It's not comfortable at all. So I don't like wearing that during a stream where I have to, you know, play game and entertain you guys. <clears throat> yeah, don't make it too obvious. Though. Oh, come on, bite it. Come on. I've seen the banana what ketchup the song. Fuck? I don't know the fucking banana ketchup song. Did I've never heard the commercials before. What is going on? Wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Is there an actual banana ketchup? Did you see that song? lure had a mind of its own? It jumped out of the water. It did not want to be bit. You see that? <laughs> what is going on? Banana this is ketchup. some weird stuff tonight. Bite it, catfish. Get it. Oh, it's a big boy. That is a big catfish, and I want it. Come on. He's way out there. He's like way, way out there. Wow. Because that was like what the, the mat I just cast and he bit it. Oh, this is a pain. I'm assuming that you meant he to be fighting like me. relating he to the banana song. not want to any closer song. to the boat. Look at this. <clears throat> Unless there's an actual banana ketchup song. How do I feel about Gotham Knights only being 30 frames per second on console? <laughs> I mean, I would love it to be more. Uh, I can't really, I mean, I don't know. They're claiming the reason is because of the co-op aspect, which I answer, I don't want to play co-op. So why do I have to nerf myself for people playing co-op? It doesn't make sense. Um, then they made another excuse of and said, oh, it's because of the Xbox Series X. And everyone's like, no, you're full of shit there, too. So I don't know. I don't know. It just sounds to me like they could not uh, 
they could not get it to be what just happened am i still this isn't the catfish anymore what happened <laughs> did the catfish get free and i immediately caught a second fish yep is that what literally just happened it is isn't it i lost the catfish i got a new one bass beats of the century catch 100 bass in total ladies and gentlemen we have found basszilla basszilla he says even though i've caught a 54 pounder he thinks this three pounder is basszilla so i got an achievement which is awesome um i don't know how i lost the catfish it disappeared and i got a different fish on my line i don't even know how that happened um um are you gonna say words but anyway, what was going on i was answering a question i got distracted yeah no like, shit oh, we've all gotham knights right i think they're just <laughs> full of it i think that for that, that they just could not perfect this game engine and get it to run at 60 frames so they said make it 30 because it would be too odd for it to be jarring to go to 60 then 40 then 30 then bill i don't know how to tell you but it's probably gonna run 60 on the pc it's just the limitations of the fucking console you're playing i'm assuming i don't fucking know i'm sorry that you have to play on the smelly console yes i mean i play on console too i love my consoles but kind of stop being mad about it right you do you think you feel a oh man more frames of animation will make the game more responsive so it's annoying but it's not a game breaker for me not a game break no, okay not seen cobra kai uh-huh i don't you know how many times he said oh glorious 60 <laughs> frames now it's not a game breaker no i never saw we're back a dinosaur story Oh, really? You never see? Oh, that's a good movie. I like how they Did eat I the Black hot dogs. Friday fights. All the hot like dogs. in person people fighting each other on Black Friday. No, I've told my Black Friday stories once, just just for the sake of seeing what it was, because I wasn't intending to buy anything. I drove to a Circuit City in the morning before it had opened for the doorbusters. And as I was driving into the lot, there were literally people rushing the store, running in front of my moving car in the lot. Yes. While I was driving, I'm like, what are you doing? You're going to get hit. You're out of your fucking minds. They were just, like, bolting for the front door. And it didn't matter because the front door was locked. They were just idiots. Um, And then when I worked at... I told you guys the stories about Best Buy. Number one, there was the guy who was trying to return a game. I can't remember who was on Black Friday or just after Black Friday. So he was trying to return a video game. And... The people at the customer service desk told him you can't return a game you can only exchange it for the equal game because we don't know if you played it and beat it or trying to return it now so he's like well then fuck this and he grabbed the game and he literally took the box because it was still in like the uh oh my god hold on packaging it was in the box it wasn't just like the disc it was in the whole box so he was like fuck this and he yelled out and he went like this and he threw it like this, okay? And when he threw it, it basically did this giant arc in the store flopping like this. And you could watch it go all the way from the customer service desk all the way over the electronics into the center of the store, into the media area, to which it landed. And you heard a guy yell, Oh, what the hell was that? So basically he assaulted someone with this game. So we had a security guard at the time who was a former Marine. And he ran over to the guy, he grabbed his arm, he tossed it behind him, wrenching him basically like, like he was like a citizen's arrest. And he basically forcefully ejected the guy out the front door onto his ass onto the concrete and said, don't ever fucking come back. <laughs> so that was a good story. Um, that was a good one. And then the, the na you guys know the nastiest Black Friday story. You know the nah, story, tell us right? again, I don't, Phil. I don't think I want to tell it tonight because it's really tell disgusting. Us, tell us again. I don't think I want to tell the story. Of tell us the, again, uh, Phil. You know what? Tell us the story maybe, again, maybe Phil. Another time. Maybe I'll tell that tell story, story on Black Friday. Again, but I'm going to save tell that one. Tell us the story again, Phil. <clears throat> okay. Tell us the story again, Phil. He loves telling these stories. <laughs> no, I don't want to like tell it tonight. I don't want to tell it this story tonight. That's for that's for yeah, Black it's probably Friday a poo itself. Story. It's always either a poo Any or a... Any for Tales from the Borderlands. The problem with, with the new Tales story. from the Borderlands is it comes out at the time when there's literally so many other interesting games coming out. Oh, wow. Somebody that asked this question. game like that is just not really the one to play right now. Like, that oh, game like that, was, you don't need to play right away. Uh, you can easily play it later down the line. And I liked the first Tales from the Borderlands. He was wrong, so psyched to play this Tales from the Borderlands shit. Knights, and now it's just gone away. You know, it's like, fuck it. We don't even care about it. He promoted the ever-living shit out of this game. So I'm not playing it now. I may play uh, it somewhere down the line, but I'm definitely not doing it right now. Yes. It's just a really bad release time. I don't know what they were thinking releasing it in the midst of all those other games. That's the kind of game that you release when there's really nothing else going on. 
and so it gives you something to do as a time filler. That's not a game you release in the midst of everything else. That's just nuts. Huh. Have I seen Beavis and Butthead do the universe? No. I saw the, the, the movie from the 90s, Beavis and Butthead do America. That was the last Beavis and Butthead thing I think I've really seen. Yeah, I think it's a Telltale game. Daki, yes, by the end of this stream, I will decide what game I'm playing Friday. And it's either going to be the new Mario plus Rabbids or the new Gotham Knights. I'll, I'll tell you by the end of this stream, all right? I'm going to take in your advice over this stream, every, the advice everyone else has given me, um, and I'm going to make a decision by the end of tonight, okay? So there you go. Falling asleep? No. If I'm looking at my food, it's going to look like I'm asleep. All right, I'm kind of... What is the name of this lore? I'm, we'll I'm eating again. my food. This lore is insane. This. I'm trying to be fish quiet. Fish don't go more than five seconds without biting it. Sorry, I can barely sorry, get it in the sorry. water before a fish bites it. I'm kind of hungry. And when I look down, I can't track my eyes. Got him. No, what? How did I not catch it? There we go. Yes. Whoa, it's big. That's a big boy. That's the biggest one today so far. A six pound, 12 ounce striped bass. Beautiful. Beautiful. They play Mario Rabbits if they had a Bowsette Rabbit. All right. Uh, no. Yeah, there's I'm a like million the rich fish around They're the boat. They're pretty I don't know weird why. looking. All right, let's take a look. I don't this particularly is enjoy them. The Sledgehammer Swim Jig Black Blue. Oh, yeah, this game for sucks me reason, they, These fish will not stop biting it. If you were here for any kind of entertainment, it's not happening. This is basically <laughs> either story time or sing time with Bill. Uh, Darth Kolbach, excuse me, says, I didn't think this was a horror <laughs> game. Yeah, apparently and sometimes you get uh, ghost fish. Those are pretty good. You, the, the fish that you catch and Sometimes and don't he'll throw pause back. the whole stream and he'll show They're off his lures. And he'll be like, oh God, you can do all of this if you give me money. Fish, and it means it's one I've never caught before. Either for Usually the size on or Sunday, the species, I'm going to guess the we, size. Uh, we watch this shit. Usually it means it's a, it's a trophy sized fish. I mean, I got nothing better to do on a Sunday other than chill. And sometimes I'll like build like little model kits or something. He's a fighter. So welcome to what I usually do on a Sunday God, night no, on Twitch. God, no, what the hell? There we go. What is this it? This has usually been my unofficial restream. Eh, it's a green one. Is that the spotted? Although this month I haven't been doing Check it. Check out the green beast from beneath. It's a large mouth bass, over five pounder, trophy size, and that's why it was a heartbeat fish. Exciting. Who sings Roller Coaster of Love? I don't know who sang it originally. I know it was originally a song from like the 1970s, and then Red Hot Chili Peppers read it in the 90s for the Beavis and Butthead oh, soundtrack. Um, I feel like but I don't know who sang it originally. He's going to sing a lyric. Okay. Darth Goldbach says maybe Ruvik is infiltrating the stream. Perhaps. I mean, it's kind of weird that I just finished Evil Within, and now we have, like, glitched ghost fish. It is weird. Jade says he'll be here Friday no matter what game I play, and I appreciate that, my friend. I appreciate that very much. Yeah, the 30 MS. See, there is a factor. An important uh, we put factor, together one of them. All right, that I have to consider. Uh, it was uh, games for the next, you know, blue, months uh, two months. And would you like to know the factor? It's the, uh, the brown um, Here's the girl. factor. I had a slow summer. We all know that. We, everyone who was here, you can agree. There was almost no new viewers on these streams. It was pretty much the same people every day, which is fine. I like having the same people here chilling. But the whole point is that I need to have some growth. And I feel like I really stifled my growth over the summer because there was no new games. I was just sitting the here playing downtime stuff. And that's fine for a set audience, right? It's Chewbacca. Oh, wow. Chewbasa. Did he just do a Chewbacca voice and called it Chewbasa? He's never done that before. A largemouth bass trophy size six pounder Chewbasa. What the frick was that? What's frick? <laughs> Oh my God! Alrighty then. This one okay. Really did it. By the way, shout out to Main Vega who did a super chat. Says, "What's up? Hope you had a good day off. I didn't have a day off. I don't know what you're talking about. Do you have a favorite band or album? I do not. I have not listened to music actively in many, many, many years, so I do not. Um, last time I actively listened to music was the 1990s. I'm not even kidding you. Okay. So thank you, Main Vega, for the super chat. I think it was this um, one. Okay, so getting back to what I was saying, Chubasa. Um, because we had a summer with relatively no new games that brought any newcomers to the channel, I now need to take advantage of the games this fall season that absolutely people are going to come to the channel to watch. He must have missed So I want he people to come back who maybe have been away for a while because That's I like wasn't doing new stuff. Does. And at the same time, I want to bring in newcomers as well who maybe have never watched my content, okay? So... 
it's gonna be game selection will be very important all right and the way i'm looking at it is you know what games are going to be the games that maybe people want to see me play the most and for what reason and i think there's di various different reasons why people watch me play games some people um want to see my reaction to a certain style of game and how what i think about it if it's a game that especially that people don't have see to have a set opinion on they like to get my opinion on it <clears throat> that right there is a bass watch there you go spotted bass three pounder um i think there's some people that literally come to my streams to relax. Now you can't do that on every stream that I play. Nope. If I'm playing a competitive game like Street Fighter or Call of Duty, you're not going to get that relaxing experience. But there's absolutely certain streams where Nobody you can get that comes experience here to relax. really, really well. Like tonight is a perfect example of that. And I think that there are people who will be coming by specifically for more and relaxing games on my streams. Nowadays. And so I Dude, should be always sure to at least have I find have myself listening like to more country nowadays. I fucking so, oh, God, hate it. Oh, man. I screwed up. I should, if I didn't reel it in, he was going to bite that. I hate that. modern I that country now. I really do. Again. But yeah. So again, there's a lot of factors. There's a lot of factors right now. Um... Looks like Derek would prefer if I played Gotham Knights because I would not mind if you saved Mario plus Rabbids for a later date. Um, Again, that is something I want to emphasize. That whatever game I do decide yeah, to yeah, play yeah. on... Whatever he's going to play later. So here's what I was talking about. Yeah, I, I put together uh, 30 Minute Accessories. I put this one together on a stream. <laughs> we were chilling, having fun, listening to her react as I sat there and put together a model kit the entire time. We were just sitting there we were having fun. We were putting it together. We were slowly assembling her. It was pretty good. We had a fun time. I had a fun time. Had fun uh, putting it together. So there you go. Every now and then I'll put shit together. He's never said any of this kids. stuff before. He's never said a Chubasa, and he's never said Hydrilla Gorilla. Did they patch the game and add in this stuff? Because this is brand new to me. <laughs> Cooper, I appreciate yeah, your, your music is kind re upping of your membership. However, I don't appreciate you saying political things that are actually factually untrue. <laughs> uh, I expect political. you to for, uh, issue a written and verbal DSP is the most underrated right wing streamer. Apology to myself and the stream chat as quickly as possible. Thank you for the support, though. <laughs> Okay. DSP is the most underrated right, right wing streamer. Kid is, is, I agree. Is fact or something? Maybe it is. <laughs> I don't know. I, I want to hear that. To, How do you say for, it again? Uh, saying political things that are actually factually untrue. You're re-upping your membership. However, I don't appreciate you saying political things that are actually political. factually untrue. Political. Uh, I expect you to... Because listen. political. Heartbeat. I Shit, I had it and it swam by. The problem is sometimes when it goes behind the boat, it can glitch and, and, and get stuck on the boat, which I obviously I don't want to he happen. He's so fucking buggy. Oh no, oh no, 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 Don't break the line. He went behind the goddamn boat. He glitched oh, it. Loose. He went behind the boat. Come on. Yeah, this there. is the one that I put together. It was this one. I got Although it. I want to get it? the alternative. Look at this guy. Like, I want to get the cool. uh, alt skin color for it. Boy, I'm kind of mad because I was trying to get it. It's like so the pink today, one, I a think. Seven pound, eleven ounce largemouth bass, and he can sing. He's a crooner. Look at him. <laughs> Very nice. A crooner. Darth Goldbox says, "Man, you're gonna have to count again at the end of tonight compared to last week because it looks like you're catching a ton." This is the magic lure. I don't know why this lure catches so many fish. Yes, tomorrow I am playing. Uh. Playtale Requiem, absolutely. One million percent if it's yes. Pink is her alternative. It. Can't remember. Here we go. I think okay. I think that's supposed to be her option part. He's like a smaller fish, but he's a fighter. I think. Yes. I think it's color B. Yes. I, or not small. color B, but uh, Geo Three. I think. When are we getting Game GameCube playthroughs again? If not, I well, could just. Number Replace one, there has to be something days. people want to see me play on GameCube, and there has to be, like, an event to do it. You know, previously, we did viewers' choice playthroughs and things like that. Um, but there just haven't been any GameCube games that really have been in the running. She's Color the, C? The hold on, hold on. Which is Color was, C? Uh, Metroid Prime, but actually, Metroid Prime was re-released at one point on the Wii, so I'd probably play that version. So. 
I hate this because all of the oh yeah that's right it's the um as you're the fish it's this one it's the no, uh you can the auto set the motor and green to move slowly in a direction as you're fishing oh but you can't I didn't do realize that you're already hooked I don't think god damn it right do I like this song Monster Mash I mean I don't sing don't it don't hate it but I don't love it I'm 40 years old I don't really think about the song Yo. Monster Mash too much you know what I mean they yeah. have they had the it's swimsuits? Like, I don't really have it on my mind. Oh my god, that's right. You know, I don't no, have kids, so I don't have kids running around. I don't have kids running around. Wait, wait, did you get this one? Yoink. Don't tell me you got this one. Oh my god, I'm so fucking jealous oh, yeah. right now. Derek says he also Red Animator, if you got that, I'm jealous. Daddy super bass, and that's another new quote that's been added. Damn it. That's a small How bag. much was it? Was it like 14 bucks? Why don't I do viewers' choice anymore? It's not that I don't. It's that. We don't do it often, so that way it's something special when I do it. The viewer's Man. choice, like Skyrim was viewer's choice, and then we did another one too. We did two viewer's choice games recently. Where are the animators? What was the other viewer's in? choice game? I can't remember. Yeah, they're pretty cheap, but what was it? They always sell out of the option parts. I wanted like I some different hair and whatnot. I definitely did two this year so far, but I can't remember what the second one was. Yeah, could convert the gunpla kits into armor for the yeah, yeah, yeah I've seen them, I've Whoa. seen them. Whoa! Because they're all interchangeable for the most part. <laughs> what the hell is that? A giant fish photo bomb. Jane does not love scorn, but he says I. Yeah, he here. really doesn't remember. Perhaps check it out maybe. tomorrow night, Jane. Maybe we'll get better. It's a ninety-nine now. Yeah, Do you get I, I saw that, that but like I tried going no on, uh, it was a Gundam Pro. No I've never looked at the achievements. And in this case. Uh, I don't know. I didn't want to pull the trigger because if I do that, I'm going to buy like $150, $200 worth of shit. And I really shouldn't be buying so much. What's right my now. favorite ho I need Halloween a song? Off. Oh, it's the uh, Frankie's back and he's better than ever. I really, really didn't need to hear that. I don't have an SOS thing on this anymore because I had it built into Streamlabs OBS, but because I'm on OBS just for normal streaming, I can't uh, connect it. I can connect it, but I have to reconnect it again. And because I disabled most of it because I had to like re-import everything in, it's not available. So uh, I do apologize. I wasn't quick on the button for stop. that. Stop. Stop singing. I'm being yelled at right now. Isn't that the Hess truck song? I don't know. Is it? It is. <laughs> is it? Yes. The he What's the Hess truck? I've never heard of such a thing. Of the course, Hess that's my original work that I just created on the fly. Ever. I don't know what you're speaking the of. Hess truck How dare you is even, uh, here. insinuate that maybe I, I stole it? Is. It, it, it is. If anybody's listened to the Hess truck song. It's, it's this fucking song, right? Oh my god, this is 2006! Jesus! I feel old as hell. Uh, let's see. Is it. For high flying excitement for 2006, the Hess truck and helicopter. Real working lights, whirling rotors, and a lighted landing strip. Only $21.99 at Hess stations. Energizer batteries included. Look what's this year. The Hess truck's here. Happy Man. holidays from Hess. Hell yeah, fucking Hess truck. I fucking, I remember I that, that shit. for some reason. Um... <laughs> it sure would be great to get some more support with tips. So tips are very slow tonight with all the oh, no. so far. Tips. Um, and I'm looking to raise funds for my day off. I hit my hundred dollar goal earlier today with, with Evil Within. Again, if we hit a hundred dollar goal tonight, the goal is to add a new fishing lure to my fisherman's hat, which we do at a hundred bucks. So if you can support the stream in any way, please do. And thank you to anyone who tips because that will help me the most for my day off. Thank you, thank you, and thank you some more. This is a uh, gas station. If Jay I recall goes, correctly, they're not a gas station, but they're a uh, I know oil the one. What's company. This? A fish just bit my oh lord. my god, Jesus! <laughs> Couldn't remember if it was an oil company or specifically just a gas station. I remember it as a gas station, uh, but yeah, that's that's what Hess was. White crappie. <clears throat> Your favorite song is Weird Science, says Derek. Weird Science.
Yeah, it used to be a one button press to mute it. The problem that I have is I have to like, I have to tie it together. But because I don't have a emergency SOS button on this layout, I I can't like quickly do it. I'm gonna watch DSP uh, Daily Rapper now. Uh, I'm probably gonna skip out on the Daily Rap. I know a certain little, uh, a certain, a certain individual would love me to watch it, uh, but I don't think it's gonna be that robust. I don't think so. Plus, I'd just be playing the waiting game for it to happen, and it, it just takes forever. Uh, it's unfortunate that he would mention that. I feel like anyway, he'll get some continue. money. I just don't know if it's already Why would locked you say in. That? I feel like it's not locked in at the moment. You'll know when it comes time in about like 15 minutes when he goes on pee break. He'll go on a pee no. break, or like he needs some water or whatnot. And that's when he'll he'll do a secret bit. bag then. That's when you know if he has locked in or not. Am I gonna boycott uh, Bayo three? Nah, I'm gonna. I already I already pre-ordered it. I'm gonna buy it. Still committing to it. No shrinkage here. If she wanted the job, she should have took it for 4K. If she doesn't like it, she doesn't like it. Fish. It is what it is. She's not entitled <laughs> to be the voice actress. swollen, largemouth bass. How nice. A That's nice, how I see it. She's, she's just not entitled to be All the right, voice actress. Good. People want a petition to have her in. I mean, whatever. Don't matter. No, I'm not going to be doing a poll between Gotham and Mario. I'm going to make the decision for myself. Like I said earlier today, if I make the decision for myself, then I have no one to blame but myself. Can't say that trolls voted one way oh, or another. Shit. Okay, okay, I'm checking, I'm checking, I'm checking. So there you have it. Witch Doctor? Ah! Eh. I heard the Witch Doctor song sung a couple times. I don't really care for it. I actually don't no. like it. Did you walla walla bing Damn bangs it. to yourself? How about that? Was I'm that so jelly. Guy? No, I was not. At the, at the same time, I'm so Sheldon jelly. The at the same time that Bill and I was on, there was another show that was called Beekman's so World. So jelly. And for some reason, I always watched Beekman's World over Bill Nye. But even the Bill one Nye piece way good. outlasted Beekman's World. He could do extras with the shields too. If he really wanted to. Yes! Why is he saying that? Zero. Yes! I didn't care for Bayo 2. I'm not going to bother with 3, especially since I don't want to hear Fem Shep voice on a character. I mean, I don't care one way. It's just, it exists. Yeah, this river definitely has some glitches. We got a disappearing, reappearing beard. We've got ghost fish appearing. Hey, chicken tacos. Uh, I'm okay. I'm hanging in. I just ate some leftover. Uh, Pork adobo, just a little bit. Some uh, mixed nice. rice. I'm feeling okay. From my mind, I could be from my head, better. Why don't people Dude, understand mind? Yeah, see, this is what the streams really devolve into. He doesn't have a whole lot of people that he really wants to talk to. He starts singing randomly because, I don't know, he thinks that serenading them is like the best way to entertain them. It really doesn't, and that's why a lot of people say, hey, please stop singing. He doesn't really respect that. So. Quite popular out here. All outdoorsy stuff, hiking, fishing, camping, mountain climbing, all very popular in Washington State. It's actually a really good state for it. Oh, I immediately Honestly, I'm probably just going to play that in sucks. Japanese, to be fair, Keon. Because, uh, I don't know. I, I prefer the Japanese anyway. But I still want to check nah, out the I'm English. Now. Uh, it's one of the few series I, I probably just check out in English. Just to hear it. Jared thinks I'll catch more than 88 fish tonight. I actually you know, I don't never, think so. I, I, I never got into Metal Gear, um, but no, I didn't even fucking purchase Metal Gear 5. Can you still hear it during SOS? Uh, no, I cannot. The uh, Like I said, I don't have the SOS screen built into the um, Stream Deck for this layout. Like, the Stream go. Deck that I have Some at bite. the moment are... It's related to, like, really shit. specific shit. There we go. Like I can do basic things, like if I need to change shit or if I need to do sound effects or anything, but none of that shit's built in for this anymore. Oh boy, you're gonna have to do some it, it, measuring. 
It's just, it's not there Come anymore. on. He seems, he keeps insulting these small fish. I don't like that he's insulting them. Do I think I'll ever beat the 53 pounder? I'm sure I could, but the thing is I would need to go to those specific spots and I feel like there are specific spots and specific, like that lake that we caught that on. I'd have to go back and make sure we're there. Try to find that spot again. That's probably a spot in the game where they're predetermined to have giant fish. You have to keep fishing in that spot and I don't remember what it was. So, uh, you know, I'm just uh, trying to like uh, 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 uh. Another little one. Why are the big ones? Now I get all little guys, right? Oh boy. You're gonna need to measure you, that. You just said that, you ass. Why is this guy making an ass of himself? I'm gonna try to go into the middle of the lake. He did have to t a tip or send a super chat response. I mean, not yeah. to talk with me, no. Maybe with him, nope. probably. Oh! As soon as I was gonna say, no, I'm not gonna catch anything, I need to go back to the shoreline. I caught it. <laughs> There's any memorable Halloween as a kid? I mean, I've talked about my Halloween experiences as a kid. They're just not that great. I remember when I was very young, I used to go around my local neighborhood in my usually it was nah, Scheme, I can't do that. Scheme Sorry, was bud. After. I remember being like, you gotta like enjoy like this. Human characters possible. for Halloween for a couple of years there. Um, and I basically trick or treat my neighborhood, and it was an okay amount of trick or treating. It wasn't great. Um, back then, it was actually a much safer area. If like you today, like it's actually a really fishing, bad area. Maybe but there's back an then, appeal to this. It was actually this? safer to like trick or treat and have your family out. It's and stuff. kind and of I, okay. Um, so I would go maybe with myself and my cousin better. and my dad. My dad would take us to trick or treat. Um, so I probably did that two, three years. But then after a while, my parents decided that it really wasn't a good area to do it in anymore. And so I started trick or treating near my great aunt's house. And that had mixed results. It was sometimes good, sometimes not so good. And then there was one year when we decided because it was bad weather, we were going to trick or treat at the mall. But my parents didn't research like when the mall was open. So by the time we arrived, the trick or treating had ended. So I show up in a costume, walk around the mall. And everyone's like, sorry, you know, the time for trick or treating is done. There's no candy anymore. I was like, you got to be kidding me. So that year, I literally got no candy for Halloween because um, we went late to the mall after it had, it had closed like super early. Well, not closed, but they stopped doing the trick or treating like really early. Um, so that sucked. <clears throat> um, but I can't so even sorry. tell you. I'm so you know, sorry to the hear that. The last time I trick or treat, I would say my memories of Halloween are usually you give out uh, like candy at your house, Phil. My dad, which was fun. Um, you know, and having some Halloween decorations around the house, which was kind of cool, but nothing too special. I don't really have like too many special Halloween memories or anything from being a kid. I don't have many special Halloween memories. Uh, yeah, I really don't. I think I enjoy passing out candy Ooh, nowadays. Sorry, I had a coffee before the stream. I swear I did. Remembering I me trick or treating. I don't care Those about real life songs. Have you seen the Adams Family song again? No. Don't. Yes. All right, ready? Don't. Oh, that's a big fish. Damn, how big is this one? Please don't. Oh. Five pounds. Jeepers creepers, check out the. You know what? Can I just skip ahead? Though? That's right. Jeepers creepers, check out the peepers. Perfectly timed for Halloween, right? So let's see. The Adams Family goes. Man. I know why they do it, by the way. They do it because they know the trolls, quote unquote, uh, don't like hearing it and everything. Which is, I mean, whatever. But they technically have to hear it because they have to have the stream on. And it's probably gonna annoy folks too if he's singing this. Because they probably wanna chill and they don't get the opportunity to chill because he's singing. Shit! Oh, come on. And now, okay. <laughs> Halloween was the devil's work. Uh, womp womp. Flippity flop, what do you got? Flippity flop, what do you got? Jeepers creepers, look at the peepers. It's a Chewbassa. <laughs> what are these quotes? 
Derek, I can't do stuff like that. He's like, rank your top five Halloween movies in order. I can't do that, man. That's a question for Ask the King when I have time to think and research. <laughs> I can't answer those, those crazy research. ranking questions on the fly Let's during a fishing stream. Five, man. This man. Is, it's not going to happen. It's too much, too much investment, man. Let's come up with five. It doesn't really matter that supposed much. to be relaxing. Let's relax. <laughs> I honestly guy. don't like uh, Halloween movies that much myself, so I don't think, even think I can rank movies like that. I can do scary movies Worst in Halloween general. candy ever? Probably those nasty-ass peanut things that aren't peanuts. They're, they're, they're actually like... Um, peanut brittles? <sighs> the they're peanut shaped brittles? like a peanut. But they're kind of they're they're oh they're like the marshmallow hard, peanuts. But they're supposed to be like you put them in your mouth and they like they melt, but they don't. What's it called? Let's see. What's it called? Is it is it called circus peanuts? I don't know. That's not circus. Peanuts. Is that what they're called? I don't know. But they they're shaped like a peanut. They're kind of orangish, but they're not peanuts. They're a candy. And you put it in your mouth. Is it tastes it? horrible. Is he it talking about horrible. circus peanuts for real? It's weird consistency. <laughs> They're nasty. I don't know who eats those. I, guess I don't he's know a single about person who would have asked for that at Halloween. Because eh, they're not some people great. say, oh, candy corn. I personally, I don't like candy corn. Uh, candy My corn wife actually right. loves candy corn. So I can understand that some people actually like it. Um, I don't. But I don't have never heard a single person say they like those peanut things. Yep, circus peanuts, I guess. I've never had them for Halloween. Marshmallow really circus peanuts. That's what they're called. I don't really care. Those are disgusting. Ugh. Candy corn for me is just kind of. Come on. <laughs> it's so. It's for me. It's like too sugary. I just don't like them. Yes, I've seen. I saw the first three Scream movies. I don't recall if I saw the Scream four, and I know there's a recent one. I did not see the most recent one. Whatever. Yeah, one that sugary was. wax. Oh, it's a gar. It's one of those long-nosed guards. He hooked when he caught Halloween. it. Did you see that? How he, like, twisted to grab it? That was kind of cool. wonder how big this one is. What a Halloween candy do I like? Whoa! He's cool looking color, man. What a finned freak of nature. That's a completely different color than the one we caught earlier. Look at that. Echo wafers are pretty good. Do I... He, Derek hates Tootsie Rolls. He says, do you like getting lollipops? I don't oh, really like dude. hard candy. I never, Tootsie never Rolls really are have. okay. Um, They're personally, not I actually bad. do like Tootsie Rolls. I was about to say, don't hate Tootsie Jade Rolls. Jade says, here's his five bad. top Godzilla monsters. Ghidor King Ghidorah. No. Godzilla, King Ghidorah, Gigan, Megalon, and Giris. And he also likes Rodan. <laughs> See, I know I saw a lot of those movies when I was a kid. But I don't really remember them that well. You know the other flavors I of like Tootsie Rolls Zero are kind of weird. King Ghidorah, he was I kind of actually low key like, like the Mega vanilla Godzilla. one. He showed up in a to couple of movies. Mix it up with the chocolate <clears throat> or the um, vanilla and like lime. But outside of that, you know, I know them. Like I know Rodan or like the is the lime one that's and cherry. Like the bird. Those are pretty good. And then, good. Um, or like the prehistoric bird. And then Angiris, isn't he the the uh, spiked turtle style uh, dinosaur dude? <laughs> turtle <laughs> style dinosaur. Y'all got. Oh, Terrible candy taste. I'm just saying I'd eat it. It's not my favorite. Dumbest one is Mothra. Why? But I'd eat it. Why is Mothra dumb? What do you have against Mothra? What are you sexist? You're a sexist. Just to say it. <laughs> just say it. it's the only female one. You're a blatant sexist. We all mixed Jolly Ranchers. We get uh, it. Yeah, Jolly Ranchers are good. I don't. Mm, I don't like them now because it's just like. Oh, what happened? A little. No thanks. That was Ricky. weird. Whoa. I somehow went right into cast mode again. Even oh, yeah, the polygon to. clipping. Yeah, it's kind of bugging Jerry's me, too. Reese's is favorite chocolate and Hershey's. I like Re anything Reese's with peanut butter is usually really good, including Reese's Pieces. I like the little crunch bars. Or anything else Those are good. That they do with peanut butter. Got the puff rice tasty. in it. Um, I like Hershey's chocolate as well. I like, you know, I'm a chocolate alcoholic. I, I just love chocolate. Anything chocolate, I'm, you know, I will eat and enjoy. Chocolate flavor. I don't think I've ever uh, had a chocolate I didn't like. Bears, seriously. Uh, I don't know about that. How 17 keeps fighter. dying on me? I understand that. Shit. Got him. What is he? Whoa, Warheads. he's a big boy. 
How big? Are Seven really, pounder? really, really good. Five pounder, 12, uh, 15 ounces, white But bass. I remember Pretty cutting my uh, tongue on a warhead once. It means that's the biggest you've ever gotten. Because, like, the way you style. suck on it, and then <clears> eventually <throat> it kind of gets sharp sometimes. And it just well, kind of turned me off the warheads. Commercial. I have not. I have been to Hershey, Pennsylvania. Yes, when I was a kid, I went with my parents once. It's very hard to remember. I know we toured the factory, and I know that there, there was a theme park, but I, I really don't remember. I remember the trip, and I remember being in the room and smelling all the chocolate. But that's really yeah, all the I remember. Acid I can't can remember much else about it. Yeah. I think we bought, like, a mug that, that was Hershey, Pennsylvania mug, and I think my parents bought me a calculator that was that looked and was shaped like a chocolate bar and smelled like artificial oh, chocolate. Oh, those things. Those but chocolate bar uh, calculators weren't really that rare. I remember getting one of them at a Scholastic Fair. Oh, shit. And I got the... Uh, and they also did it with pencils, too. Because I had a Mr. Good Bar yes, got it. pencil. Those things oh, weren't big boy. like that special. How about lemon heads? Lemon heads are good. It's Chubasa. Pretty embarrassing. Oh, chew. Says, no, yeah, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Taking a Charleston chew and you put oh, it in the man. freezer. Payday isn't payday. Frozen Charleston chew. And nuts, no chocolate. Those are great. Right? And you could bust them up. And you get little pieces of Charleston chew. Play Securo again, maybe someday. If people want to see it, I want to play Securo again immediately. And do it Hell again. yeah. Plus, people told me not to because I was doing too well. So. Whoa! Freeze Maltesers. White chocolate urinate. Um, it depends. I'm okay with it. And so many bites. It's not a go-to for me though. Why would I even change more my position or my lure when I'm getting this many bites? Right? It's insane. Just personally. Yes. Another one. Yo, uh, whoppers See, are pretty is, good. This is great catching as many fish, but if we were like actually doing a competition, you have to get trophy size. You can't keep a fish that's not trophy size. Malted so milk. So anything I'm catching uh, that doesn't say trophy wouldn't even count for the competition. What was this? It's the it's a malted Dark milk. says he would love a so. second Elden Ring run with a new build. I'm fully intending to do that. A new game plus run with changing my build. Um, absolutely. Hey, Con, I need uh, it to a point where I'll have stuff on box for when I, I play the DLC. He mentioned eight dollars. I'm assuming but at some no point he's going to do it. So I guess we'll have to figure out called. when we're doing it next year. How about year? a candy calzone for Halloween? I'm not doing another candy calzone. So Derek says his favorite candy is Nerd Skittles and Mike and I can like candy so You like that artificial fruity tangy flavor I'm not is what it is. That You're one of those kind of kids. I don't who uh, likes the artificial yes, tangy Smarties, but not by much. I don't really like either I mean, I'd say I didn't like things. I like usually Smarties and things like that. But man, I'm a crazy. I'm crazy for chocolate. I can't stop it. I can't stop the chocolate rush. Sweeties are the okay. So a smarty is like they're wow, chalky, they hard. but the sweeties are like they're smooth. What? Oh, he swam away. Yes. Here we go. Big boy. How many pounds? Twelve pounder. Biggest one of the night so far. Biggest fish I caught was 54 pounds. I don't think we're going to get any 54 pounders in this lake, but I'll take a 12 pounder and for sure. I've never had a cloud nine. All right. Derek said, Did I like the, the chocolate and the Gene Wilder Willy Wonka? I mean, it's it's cool. Never to mind. Watch it, I may have had a cloud real. nine before. I think out of all the bar, the candy bars and the Willy Wonka, isn't the scrum diddly um I, I believe this was a real bar. marshmallow. And the Everlasting Gobstopper was real, but was not the same as the oh, Gobstopper in the movie. Oh, man. It was just a jawbreaker. Like a Never had it, jawbreaker. but I want it. Um, it looks pretty cool. Outside of that, I don't think I'm a any fan of the actual candy peanuts that movie and is caramel. Real, right? it's, all, it's all fabricated. That's pretty good. There's no, like, Wonka bars. They're not, they don't exist, right? But you weren't thinking? No. I'm glad I didn't fucking do it for Halloween. It would have just been... You know what? You should have. Okay. No, I don't want to say anything. There are Wonka bars? I've never seen a real Wonka bar. Yeah, there like I said, I've are. only seen. I know I've it's seen a, a Scrum Dooley bar before because the name it's resonated in my head. I never it doesn't bought know one, Wonka bars but exist. I knew they existed. I'd seen those in stores before. I've never seen a Wonka bar in a store, though. Yeah, it's like an actual thing. It's. I don't it's know. Raining, okay. Dude, you know what They're that means? Kinda... 
even more increased chances of better catches when it rains. They're, they're okay. So not only are we having a great night with the catches, but we're going to have an increased chance to get even better fish now, which is pretty crazy uh, to think about. Mm -hmm. Wow, this fish is a fighter. You hear the heartbeat? That means it's going to be one that I need. It's going to be a record size. And he is not coming in. He is fighting me I don't pretty know if strongly here. Chocolate he caramel. I think they were like just milk chocolate, Look, but they may have wow. had variants. Come on. Oh, yeah, the fucking gobstoppers. Yeah, gobstoppers. Uh, Come on. Here we go. No. Damn it. He dipped when he should have dapped. He zigged when he should have zagged. Fast. Here we go. You know what? I'm not going to disagree. Another big one. <laughs> his hair is kind of fucked up on his character still. Big fish, big fish, and no whammies. <laughs> what the hell? We're, I've been playing this, this game for, what, two and a half months? He never said anything like this before. Big fish, big fish, no whammies. That's a pressure luck reference from the 1980s. Yeah, nerds. Mm, yeah I think nerds are Wonka, too. What in the holy hell the is going Wonka on? Are Why are there all these new quotes tonight? They must um, have patched the game. That's the only explanation I have for it. He seriously never said any of these things before. I don't know if they were Wonka balls. I remember there were, well, all of the boys, or the... the Egg candies with toys and oh, shit in them. I didn't even know what bit. I couldn't he see. Didn't, he didn't really see him around here. There were, there were too like many lawsuits fish. for him. Lion chocolate bar? I can only find it in India Market. I've never had a lion chocolate bar. Oh. Snickers with oh, punch bar no. style puff oh, rice? No. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, I've never up. had one, but now I want one. Come on. Puff oh, rice is hoi. always good, All too. Right, I got it. <laughs> yeah, it was banned in America for Keener eggs, but they had a, a equivalent moly. that was they okay. They say play it live on stream, and they had to. I think they just us. had as Wonder Balls. Huh? Oh, they saw me playing it and live they on had stream, it, so like, they did the game just for me. That's amazing. They specifically Perhaps had it where the, the toy was wrapped in plastic or something. I have something. no idea if anyone else streams Bassmaster. I have no idea. <clears throat> Certainly, if anyone streams it, they're probably more serious about it. They're not a casual player like me. Like maybe they do tournaments where they're trying to catch the biggest. We're kind of waiting stuff, for I it. I just, He's good lord, look at the size of that one. Out. I just casually mess about. That's the ghost fish. Ghost fish. Kinders are back now. I the ghost thing of a fish. They oh here we go. Whatever <laughs> lawsuit was against that, I think they settled. I think. Because I I don't know. I can't remember if it was like a. Not a oh. choking hazard. It was a uh, contamination Peter hazard. Peter Tomerkin. Oh, I don't know what the name of the host was, but yeah, pressure luck. Big bucks, big bucks, no whammy. Cadbury cream eggs. Stop. Oh. You landed on a whammy. Okay. And then we call it the, the Michael Jackson whammy. I'm gonna let this play. Take all your money. <laughs> that was a great show. I loved Pressure Luck. I really did. That was one of my favorite. Uh, uh, this is the break. The day. Here's the I break segment. I my battery from earlier is charged. Here I it comes. Alright, so right, I'm gonna up this to 720. See if it'll fucking take. This is it. Not clipping it. Somebody else can clip it. You landed on. Ooh, a whammy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. By the way, we're about to split, uh, hit our halfway point of the night, guys. <laughs> oh, guys. Thanks for yeah, being a exactly. great audience. It's just a shame we got, like, no support tonight. There has not <laughs> been a tip in, like, an hour. There, there has not is. been a, anything on uh, the YouTube side can't for be over happy. 30 minutes. Uh, I don't know what's never going on tonight. Happy. It sucks I'm having a good time with you guys, but obviously I need support. This is a business as well as me just chilling with you. And, you know, already earlier today was very slow during Evil Within. You know, I'm happy to have new stuff tomorrow, but... It kind of sucks. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> All right. All right. Good. So we're at our Go halfway point of the night. I love Here how he included that in the part. So now we got to hear it again. All right, everyone. We are at our halfway point. So obviously, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask. I'm going to say, <laughs> guys, if you like my streams, if you like the chill. You know what I'm going to do. Fishing, now, guys. Uh, if you could support it, I'd appreciate it. I'm about it's to do really it. It's weird whenever I play this game because I swear half the time it's really slow and the other half it's really good. Like last week. We hit the hat goal. We had a lure. We had all that uh, going. Oh, my God. Here we God. are this week, and now it's slow $8. Like, seriously. It's not that big of a deal. You know? But, uh, so I, like, I'm telling you guys, I enjoy doing these kind of streams, but when all the new releases Do come you? out, 
I've got to cater more towards the new releases. Why? Especially the new releases are likely going to get a lot of support. And as you can see, this is really not. Uh -huh. um, but allow me to tweet. At least send out a tweet and a post oh to let everyone know. God. I'm putting you know, away my dishes. If they support, it would be great. Um, we'll see what happens. I, you know, I can't really, I'm not going to go crazy over it. I'm not going to freak out, you know. Okay. We're having a great chill time in Bass Master tonight. But sadly, support is very slow. The slowest we've even seen on a Bass Master stream. I'd love to add a new lure to the hat tonight. So if you can swing by and support, I appreciate it. Thanks. I'm gonna put the link. I just don't get it. Last week, people rallied, remember? Last week, people were, like, really excited. They wanted the lure. And now this week, we're doing exactly the same thing. We're having fun. And, uh, no, it's a bust. Like, I just don't, I don't get it. But, you know, I don't think I can. I don't think there's anything to get. It's kind of like, I guess it's luck sometimes, right? Luck of who's available to attend the stream, who's coming by, who can support when, you know. It's not predictable. It's definitely not predictable. Okay. Uh, Da Vinci B... Did a super chat says, do you remember a game that was called Black Bass on the NES? Long time viewer, through ups and downs. Here's a tip and some props for keeping your head up. Uh, no, I don't remember that game. Black Bass does not sound familiar. Nope. Thank you for the super chat. Da Vinci B. <clears throat> okay. All right, guys, we're going to resume. Again, if you can support tonight, please do. Tips preferred. We're trying to add a new lure to the hat. At this point, we have absolutely, uh, <clears throat> you know, really no hope at this point unless we get a rallying. It certainly would be great if we can get some more likes on the stream to hit the 100-like goal. We're at uh, 73 right now. You know, we're very close. With over 200 people on the stream, we could definitely hit that tonight. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we're heading to the second half of our Bassmaster stream for the week. It is now raining, which means increased chance of better catches. As if we hadn't had good enough luck already. Let's continue. I can, uh, for a second, he put him down to 480p as he buffers for a second. <sighs> put that there for a second. Let go. And let's take a look at uh, Twitter. ESP Twitter. Missed an epic snort, man. Trust me. Every snort is an epic snort, if you really think about it. Didn't have to worry about it too much. Uh, let's see. All right, there we go. Uh, we're having a great chill time in Bassmaster tonight, but sadly, support is very slow. The slowest we've ever seen on a Bassmaster stream. That's a lie. I'd love to add a new lure to the hat tonight. Well, you could do that if you wanted to. You just have to add the lure. So if you can swing by and support, I'd appreciate it. Thanks. And it's whatever. It, it's Phil. Phil is like... Gillis. None of this shit makes any sense. It never makes any sense, chat. It never does. So I guess catfish come much bigger than that. I don't know what he's expecting okay. out of these streams. Whoa, what the heck happened there? I have no <laughs> we idea. read the what tweet. What's going on? Thing. I think he glitched out. God damn it. The lure like glitched and went to the five wall, but you can't even do that, that here. Weird. That was freaking weird. No, we're not doing Proteus right now. No sleep real vibes. We already got enough new releases to hold us over to the point where I'm skipping certain new releases because we have too many. So we're not doing any kind of downtime was stuff. Thinking That's about it. it. We're done with the downtime stuff and adding downtime playthroughs at this point. Next time, those will be available will likely be like December-ish. So again, I know a lot of people are not going to be used to that. I mean, we had an incredibly long summer of essentially all downtime things, but now we have to play the new releases that we've all been waiting for. All right, we got a bass, and I yeah, got I'm a tip. Right. The bass 
is a spotted bass is a three pounder exactly. The tip is a ten dollar tip from someone who goes by the name Nothing. It says for some good old big fishing support. That's it. No, it was anonymous tip. So thank you to the anonymous ten dollar tipper. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, anonymous. Hope you enjoy your animation. It's time for slime. Yes. Oh yes. Oh, time to feel funky. Oh. And. And. What we got going for us right now? We're now up to eighteen dollars in tips. Thank you. Good evening, Blastoise. How are you? Why is this being stupid tonight? Or if you were in France, that would be pronounced Blastoise, right? Not Blastoise. Blastoise. Ha ha ha. My favorite Pokemon is Le Bastois. Squat in the face. Uh, Espritzin in the face. We. Oui. Very. Uh, nice. Yep. Yeah, oh, something. it immediately got out. What the hell that was? That was something. Wee oui, wee. Oui. That was really something. I don't know what the I hell that was. I do agree that Murray has quite some awesome movies. It I was agree pretty good, probably. Never do that again. Never do what? Never do what? Never catch fish? Yeah, <laughs> never catch a fish. What are you? Are you part of that uh, animal group? Animal rights group? You can't, you can't do anything involving animals? Pet, PETA? 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 Uh, PETA? PETA bread? Yeah, pick up PETA. Bread PETA. <laughs> oh, man. He is, he is just going hog wild tonight. What happened there? <laughs> it's the, just going just so wild tonight. What am I about to land in? He did it again. A few times in a row. There we go. Yes. I want to. Who was more in your face popular back in the day? Jim Carrey, Adam Sandler? Definitely Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey was the epitome of Hollywood for a while. Like, that's who everyone wanted to be. Adam Sandler was definitely a runaway star, but. He was known as like an indie style comedian that then just happened to make it big with a style of movie style. that normally wouldn't even make it in Hollywood. Well, Ruby Jim Carrey was like Hell yeah. the archetype of what you wanted in comedy in Hollywood, you see? Smoking! Actually, wait. I should just play Kirby. Who is it here? I'm playing this. Yeah, we can play Kirby's Dreamland. Here we go. Forgot how much I love Dreamland. Hell yeah. Cuban Pete. My name is Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the rumba beat. And then that's a chick chicky boom chick chicky boom. You love this. You love this. You love this. Of course. Can't make movies like that anymore? I guess not. The joke he says to the cop, you remember the joke? So there's a cop that hates him, and he steps on a cockroach and kills it. And he goes, ah, murder in the first degree, solved that one, Ventura. And Jim Carrey turns to him and he goes, in character, of course, he goes, all right, well, murder. The, the, the murderer became insanely jealous of the size of the victim's dick. <laughs> and then committed, committed murder, something like that. You know, I'm paraphrasing. I don't remember exactly how he says it. But I mean, wow. th those lines are so funny. It's so funny, man. Yeah, he's just paraphrasing that. <laughs> what a what a very Jesus, specific one year, he played thing. Jason Voorhees for Halloween. Another kid played Jason Voorhees, so they had a stare down contest. Who won? That's a that's a that's a creepy one. Who won the stare down? Kind of embarrassing. No, I'm not right doing now. the most annoying sound in the world. I refuse. I absolutely refuse to do that. I've kind of been doing it right now. To do. uh, uh. Oh, damn it. However, I, I will do. Oh, it's a big fish. I will do the most annoying sound from Good Burger. Oh. Remember? No, there please. Please don't. Sighting. Don't be an ass. Don't be an ass. Do you remember right Kel? Now. I forget the name of the character. Don't be an ass. Don't be an ass. Do you remember when ass. he does the most annoying sound? He goes, Bloop.
Very obnoxious. That I that I'll do. <laughs> hey, he's going to hand tonight. He thinks I guess this will bring in the money or something. Shit. And I caught it anyway. Boom shaka laka. Tiny bass? What? Boom shaka laka t -t -t tiny bass. What the hell is going on with the quotes in this tonight? I've never heard any of these, right? I don't know, Phil. I don't think the we have any room to Keenan Thompson it. hasn't even aged since that movie, Good Burger. It's because he's a vampire. You didn't know. It's very, it's very well documented that Keenan Thompson is a vampire. He eats, he eats the blood of uh, children. <laughs> he sucks the blood of the young. That's how he stays so youthful. Of course. How did you not know that? All right. That's what, why do you think Kel with the bloopity thing? Why do you think he was doing that? Because he was trying to annoy you to distract you from the screaming of the children that Keenan was drinking the blood of. So, bloopity, 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 bloopity. And the background's like, ah, help me, help me. He's sucking my blood. Bloopity, 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 bloopity. Are you, are you still at it, Keenan? Oh, okay. Bloopity, bloopity. <laughs> yes. It is 100% confirmed. This is all factually documented. You can find it all over the internet corroborated by yeah this people. is when things get weird here we go am i a vampire absolutely not how could you say i'm a vampire have you not seen my pictures since i started <laughs> doing the short schedule with my phone do not bro i've seen your pictures that's the problem you look translucent as shit you don't get any fucking sunlight of course we're gonna wonder if you're a fucking vampire have you actually seen your own picture See how, how ugly and old I look? There's absolutely no fucking way that I'm a vampire. I'm old. I look like a fucking a wrinkled prune. I look like a shriveled yes. eggplant someone shoved under their arm for like a week. <laughs> how could you accuse me All right. of being a vampire? I don't know, Phil. Um, let's see. Here. I, I don't know. You look oh, lighter than the wall. I I don't I don't know. Sexy pickles. Timmy a dollar twenty-five says there's nobody ever like Chris Farley. He's a wolf in, once in a lifetime person. Yeah, I agree. I I absolutely agree. You know what's funny? You, you to compare funny. someone like John Candy to to Chris Farley, and you can say their body type and their general looks are similar, but man, were they different comedians, huh? They were what? completely different style, personality, delivery. Yeah, because they're different. I have to. I have to agree, man. People. Some of the great comedians were always super unique. Oh, okay. I, I have nothing I, I can I say to that. Hack, 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 because they're idiots. Because they made that that meme up themselves with absolutely no corroboration of it ever existing. But they all just repeat it in a circle like parrots because they're dumb fucks and they have this sheepish mentality that they all say the same thing that it's real when it's not. So it's just a proof of their own idiocy. There's uh -huh. many things about me that you can make fun of that are absolutely truthful or have a nugget of truth in them. The ack, ack, ack laugh is not one of them at all. It's it's completely untrue. They're just stupid. <clears throat> and then you could come back afterward and not... So I don't have to loot those items yet. If I drop the brain, then I won't be attacked by it again. Octoa just cheered with a detractor meme. Ack, ack, ack. You're not the top chair anymore, are you? Hilarious, Octoa. We all, as you know, we all laugh out loud hilariously when the ack, ack, ack meme is used. And even though I don't laugh saying ack, ack, ack at all, it's literally something that some, some idiot made up and said that I sound like when in reality I don't sound like that at all. Uh, but thank you for the top cheer. Okay, when I'm outright laughing at something hard, I sound very odd. But I don't sound like a seal, and I don't sound like ack, ack, ack. They say, my, my laugh sounds like ack, 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 which it doesn't sound like that at all. You know, it's just stupid shit that people say. Great. Dark spirit, ack, ack, ack. It's much like how they say my, my laugh sounds like ack, ack, ack. So when I laugh and I go, ha, 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 or ha, 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 ha. Does that sound like ack, 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 ack? 
Donkey Kong 64 took me a dollar. I love your snake laugh. Now apparently I have a snake laugh. First it was like a seal laugh, and then it was ack, 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 which makes no sense because I don't think I've ever laughed ack, 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 ever. I like how it's just always been the same thing. But if you have the ack, 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 it's like this. Because this is like how he laughs. That's not allowed, so I'll give you a perfect example, okay? Uh, there's this stupid meme that my, my laugh sounds like ack, ack, ack. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when I laugh, do I say ack, 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 ack? No, I don't. I so, ha, 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 or, you know, <laughs> or little things like that. It depends on what's going on in the game. But I never, never say ack, ack, ack. I've never said it once ever. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Not once. So it's a completely fabricated meme from detractors making you just say, oh, he sounds like an asshole. Listen to this ack, ack, ack. It doesn't sound like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, look at this! <laughs> what the fuck? Look what I did! <laughs> yeah, the claps always get me too. It shit gets me. I haven't seen it in a million years. And that was some classic laughs. Oh, little guy. Jade has never seen a Friday the 13th movie. They are gory slasher flicks. So if you're down for that, check them out. They're pretty classic. Most people, you know, who like 80s horror say that's one of the, the big ones, the big franchises. I would agree. Another heartbeat fish. Man. Derek is watching part two of Karate Kid where they go to Japan together. I think I've seen that one like once. <laughs> Here we go. I've seen the Truman Show, of course. Everyone's seen the Truman Show. That's a big one. Everyone's seen the Truman Show. Nick Knack, Patty Whack, and give that hog a bone. That's right, Nick Knack, Patty Whack. What are you talking about? That's a fish, you idiot. <laughs> no, I cannot do a Tony Soprano in crashing. What is the best Pop Tart? None. I hate them all. I seriously detest Pop Tarts wow. now. When I was a kid, I would eat different ones like blueberry, uh, raspberry, strawberry. Um, and then I started eating weird ones like s'mores, but I could not eat that today. I hate it. It's disgusting. Red Phil. Oh shit! Oh, I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I with you. Damn, I wasn't ready at all. I don't think I'm gonna get this one. Never mind. I caught it anyway, even though I wasn't ready. There we go. What is with this lure that every fish in the lake bites it immediately? Would I eat Pop Tarts cold? I've eaten Pop Tarts cold. I've had them both warm and cold. Uh, I don't think either helps, they, but they're gross both ways. They're pretty gross both fucking ways, man. Yeah, we're gonna Honey be buns? happy. And eh, not a fan. I'm not I a fan with anything with too much sugar on it. Ever be happy? This dude is uh, chronically unhappy. He's unhappy with his life. He's unhappy with, like, the amount of money he makes. He hates his job. He hates, like, the people he has to interact with. It's a little guy. He hates his reputation. 
That's about his life he likes. Tiny bats? What is he even... What is the... What is he emulating? Isn't Boom Shakalaka something they say in like professional basketball, the NBA? So what is he saying that now? What does it even mean? Uh, Milano cookies. Milano cookies are good. I've had Milanos before. They're tasty. Do I like corn dogs? Corn dogs are okay. I haven't had too many of them. I've had them a few times. I thought they were all right. I'm not in love with them. <laughs> he teleported. You saw that? He was down there. He just zoop, mostly his fault. His yeah, it is mostly his fault. He just kind of doesn't want to take responsibility for it. Zoop. NBA Jam? Oh, amazing game. NBA Jam, like, I had never played a basketball game before. NBA Jam was the first basketball game I ever played in my life. Dun, 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 those little Debbie chocolate rolls in the freezer with the popsicle stick. Love that. Making them into the Love sticks. NBA Jam. Great game. Yeah, if you dip the them, it would probably be amazing. Would have been Screw Attack Gaming Convention 2013. I think I went in 2013. And that was when I actually got like second or third place in the NBA Jam tournament. I think it was third place. Another big fish. Look at the size of that. Would it kill Phil to put on some music? An yeah, it would. Gorilla. Unfortunately, Hydrilla. he doesn't understand the idea Gorilla. of Whatever that how means. horrible Six it is pounder. when, like, Large really, really quiet. Oh, man. Any child actors I like in the 80s and 90s? Of course. Fred Savage, um, Corey Feldman, Corey Haim. Um, it's funny. Just look at, like, this class to Stand By Me. Or, or any of those. What was that other one? The ones, uh, the vampire movie where they were all kids. Lost Boys. And then you watch, they all, you know, all child actors. They were all famous during that time. Yeah. Jade would love to see Gotham Knights on Friday. Guy. Again, I'm making a determination by the end of this stream of what I'm playing on Friday. Did I meet Stuttering Craig? Of course I did. I met Stuttering Craig several times. Before I was ever a YouTuber, I met Stuttering Craig. Uh, we, at, we know the uh, story about and we hung Better out and I was on the Screw Attack team for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 tournament. The original Modern Warfare Can't 2. Can't tell you how many times ago. I've heard this I was in story. a tournament with those guys. Actually, I take it back. Now Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 1. It was the Modern Warfare 1 tournament that I was in. Again, you know, before I was a, a prominent YouTuber, no one knew me um, on the internet. I was I was hanging out with those guys and I was uh, doing stuff, content with them at the, at the event. Um, and then later on, years later, became a YouTuber with a name and a business. And Craig had me as a guest at Screw Attack Gaming Convention. <clears throat> oh, no. No! Macaulay Culkin, he was later. Macaulay was the 90s. We're talking about, like, 80s for child actors. Macaulay was definitely the When he announces Gotham Knights, I see you sweating buckets. I think get? I'm sweating buckets one? on what I'm supposed to one. do in this level. I think I have to chase all of these and he not get the my hook, lines. Man. It's so big, it's completely no! straining my I hook. I killed one. Oh, no. I killed one. Come on. Come on. Got him. What is it? Pretty big bass. Yeah, I, I guess uh, Craig did start streaming again, which is great. I was glad to hear that because originally he was going to quit completely last year, which made me kind of sad because... This is a guy who I used to watch Screw Attack all the time back in the day before I was a YouTuber, and I lo I loved their stuff. You know, they had Angry Video Game Nerd, but they also had things like the Side Scrollers podcast. They had Top Ten Countdowns. They had all kinds of fun content back then that I used to watch. And uh, you know, man, Screw Attack's been through the ringer; doesn't even exist anymore, which is really sad. And uh, you know, he went off to do his own thing on YouTube, and didn't really work out. Like he wasn't able to make a living because he wasn't—he was basically starting from scratch, and just you know. The carryover from his old screw attack days wasn't enough to maintain a channel. Yeah. So he had to go out and get a different uh, job. I guess now what he's done is he's kind of split his efforts. He still has a job and everything, but now he does the streaming as like a side thing, which is nice. The Stranger, it's a very strong possibility I'll play Fallout 3 next year. Because next year we're gonna we're alternating basically. Two years ago I played Fallout New Vegas. This year I played Skyrim. So likely next year we'll I'll be doing um uh, a Fallout. But the question is, will it be Fallout 3 or will it be Fallout 4? I don't know. I've never done Fallout 3 direct capture ever. 
So it will be my first time playing the game direct capture and actually getting it to look good. Plus, it's supposed to look really good on the Series X. Apparently, it runs at 60 frames and everything, full 1080p. Um, so that'd be cool. But I've also only played Fallout maybe, 4 once ever. I'm trying to suck them all up. So maybe there'll be more incentive to see me play Fallout 4 again. I don't know. I guess we're gonna see what happens. Thank you to DJ who gifted a membership. And Wonder McThunder kind of has accepted. It. So congrats, Wonder. It. And again, thank you, Dietrich, for your channel support. I appreciate that. No, you, you have to commit. I'm going to get this guy. He's really fighting hard. Oh, man. I got it. Yes. I got it. Dietrich, you did another membership. Thank you, Dietrich. Big fish, big fish, and no whammies. Another pressure luck reference. George Costanza, 6.0, has accepted the gifted membership. Thank you, Dietrich, and congratulations to George Costanza. All time favorite Call of Duty? Uh, excuse me, probably <laughs> the original Modern Warfare 1, although I did love Modern Warfare I 2, the original as well. Time, uh, even though I had broken stuff, I played the hell out of it, and you guys have seen, you know, back in the day, I made a ton of videos of it. That was when I went on my crazy kill streaks and stuff. That's where I Spawn I Die came from. So, hey, you Dietrich, you did that? another membership. I spawn this I one die. Went to Nathan Wall. Congratulations to Nathan on the gifted membership. And again, thank you, Dietrich, for all the support tonight. This is very nice of you. Dude, another heartbeat fish. We're catching endless trophy fish tonight, which is really good. Yeah, just over a hundred more to go. That's right. No, he will get it eventually. Got him. Yes. Dietrich just gifted another membership. This one went to John Smith. Congratulations, John. Oh boy, that is Shaq Daddy super bass. Shaq Daddy super bass. I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. So I'm glad that he's enjoying the bass for catching. Shaq Thank Daddy. you, Dietrich. I also received a tip. A $6.66 tip from an anonymous oh, tipper. Says, Mario count. wants to know if you made a decision. The boss doesn't like to wait. I'm going to announce it at the end of tonight's stream. I promise you I will announce my decision about Friday's game by the end of tonight's stream. It's going to happen. I promise you most With people that tip, won't care. We've hit $25 in tips. Let's get the animation going. Guys, just so you know, we've got a little bit over a half an hour left on the stream. You are okay. really going into overtime. It sure right would be now. great if we could get some more tips to try yeah, to hit sure the would be the great. I mean, at this point, we're halfway only to the goal for the glasses. So it is very slow going when it comes to the tips tonight. Um, Literally look the six dollars and sixty six cent tip in, in the face fishing. and we're trying to hit a hundred dollar goal so we can add a new lure to the cool. hat, the fisherman's hat, right? But I am having a great time with all of you. Thank you for chilling. Guys, we're, we're 13 <laughs> we're likes away time. from hundred likes and me blowing blowing bubbles yeah. for you. Pick up some right, so if you could please support in any way. It's easy as simple as liking the stream could help. There is currently as no little tip animation with one Jasper like. and John Smith. That is no. At one as point, there was, I was playing one Skyrim, light. but it wasn't really Jasper. It was, you know, the Khajiit. Can help but no, we don't have anything this. with Jasper right now. In the arms of an angel. And then Jasper comes out. And he's like, being treated. Okay. Don't you want to help this suffering animal? Please, don't eat tips today. But bubbles are banned. No, they're only banned when it's convenient. Right now, they're not banned. Don't worry, the bubbles will come up eventually. All right, what is it? Another bass. So many bass, right? All right. People are thinking I am going to top my record from last week, which was 88. I don't know if I'm going to top 88 fish, but we are catching quite a few. So, it's excellent. Hey, what's up, Vizmir? We're getting bite mm. after bite after bite. Jane says he likes the masks... When he says, Literally. that's a spicy meatball. I don't remember that part. I remember the quote. I don't remember what when it happens or what happens. Derek, did I know what? That Macaulay Culkin is 42 years old? No, I don't really care about people's ages. I don't track them. So wow. I, I, did, I did not know that. Yeah, why don't you tell I, Derek how you really feel? I, I don't care. <laughs> Derek, I don't care. Don't well, tell I'm me. the new Mario movie. Well, I first, I'd have to see the new Mario movie. And then I could review it, but I don't know how it's going to be available, and I don't have any really the on-demand services, so 
but likely not for a long time. I can't get this fish to stop. Dude, the fish will not stop pulling my hook. I got nothing, man. He's gone. He's going to get out of here. I don't know. I'm going to catch this thing. Sucks. It's what I need, but... I'm making Frankly, no progress. Frankly, you can see it as a zoo. Come here. And he jumped and he broke the fucking line. You fucking piece of fucking piece of shit. That's fake rage. Okay, I'm getting a little too excited. So, Diedrich had done a super chat and he said, I went 4-4 four and four this week in fantasy. Had a lot of players on buy. Let's take what we can get. Wish me luck for next week. Welcome new crowns. Uh, I wish you luck, Diedrich, in your fantasy uh, football, right? <clears throat> I hope you do well. Hopefully you will win some big cash and prizes at some point. Thank you for the gift of memberships and the super chat. Yeah, I hope the large. received an additional well. tip for six dollars sixty six cents. They said it's the same anonymous person. They want to see your ass on fire again. <laughs> they love seeing ass my asses of fire, which sounds familiar, like it's from something else. It definitely is. I know what it is. It's from South Park. But uh, all right, thank you to this anonymous tipper. It's time to see my ass on fire a second time. Big up ass love on it. Fire. You love to see my flaming ass. That can mean so Officer many different super ways. Chat Please from... be careful with that, Phil. Hold on. That can mean so oh, many work. different I'm things. Damn thing. I see the super chat from Cisco. This says the game was postponed. Same deal for tomorrow. Oh, you mean the Yankee game? What uh? What happened? Why did it get postponed? Why do you care? Why do you feign ignorance? Why do you? Even I don't know who they were playing. He had said earlier on the <sighs> first stream that if the Yankees Bears. lost tonight, that he would double the tips from tonight. So he would have doubled the $31 and made it 62 which would have helped a oh, lot. Oh, that's but why he, he cares. That sucks. <laughs> that's why out, he that really cares. <laughs> of course I he's going to care. I received a $1.25 Money tip from Sexy Pickles. Order. So there will be no one like Chris Farley. He's a once-in-a-lifetime person. I, I agree with you. I completely agree with you. There'll be people who, who try to bite off of him and, and be like him, but no one will actually be him. Off? Completely unique guy. In a good way. Okay, Indeed. let's continue. Um. Yeah, we're getting in. Let's go with a hamster. John Smith, don't don't thank me. Thank Dietrich. Dietrich's the one who gifted you the, the membership. He says the new emotes are awesome. Thanks. He loves the new emotes because he got gifted a membership. You got to thank Dietrich. Dietrich's our, our, our big supporter tonight with the, uh, with the memberships. I guess so. the memberships. I should promote the eight ball again. All right, guys, remember, if you tip eight dollars or more in one go, you get to ask the magic eight ball a Why question. Why are you doing this? Which, incidentally, earlier I asked it a question and it said ask again later. So let's ask it. Magic uh, eight ball, by the end of tonight, which we still got about a little about half an hour left, will I hit the new record? Half will an I hour left? More than the you first said half an hour week, left 10 minutes ago. Oh, he's just being a dick now. Concentrate he's actually, and ask again. All right. He's actually you being better a dick. answer me this time. I'm going to get really upset. Magic 8-Ball, you very annoying, sarcastic jerk. Will I catch more fish tonight than I did last week? Literally unga bunga It is mode. decidedly so. <laughs> so apparently I am going to catch more than 88 fish tonight. I guess we'll see. Big ups the 88 fish. says that fish. Coraline and Monster House are his favorite two Halloween-style horror movies because he was born in the 2000s. They are good movies. I remember Coraline really liking it, although it was incredibly creepy. Monster House I only saw once, and I didn't really... I don't think I was in love with it or anything. What happened there? I don't even know. Let me Coraline. Lost my fish instantly. Oh, I should have brought the fish. Damn it. Do I like Abbott and Costello? Uh, I used to watch it when I was a kid, but I definitely enjoyed The Three Stooges way more than Abbott and Costello. Um... So I don't really remember many of the shows. Is that there I an saw option to tip them to the crack the eight ball the open and, and stuff, drink the liquid? Right? I wish there uh, was. You know, like I said, I was I was a Three Stooges kid. How many screws does it take to make one horsepower? I have no idea, Turtle Dude. Is this a joke or? When were you alive again? <laughs> Derek says even I believe you will catch more than eighty-eight fish tonight. So there you go. We're all, we're certainly on pace, Stooges right? Kid. We are certainly on pace at this rate. <clears throat> I don't know where he's storing all these fish that he's not sinking the boat. Again, there's no effort. I just cast, strike, reel. It's just over and over and over, nonstop. Yeah, it's crazy. I know why the content's not that great, though. Look at that. It's 
a little guy. An itty bitty. Oh boy, you're gonna need to measure that one. You know, I understand him uh, celebrating the big ones. Why does he have to insult the small ones? That's messed up. Big ups Phil and the small ones. How many licks does it take to the Tootsie Roll to get to the Tootsie Roll Center of a Tootsie Pop? Three. Everyone don't knows say. that answer. We've also had commercials. Don't, don't say. Don't. He's thinking about it. Like, do I want to go the a one, a two, a three? Really hard. There we go. Yes. yes. Favorite ACDC song? Probably Highway to Hell. Another spotted bass. Derek says, pressure look questions were fun because there were multiple choice, three answers. Yes. Correct. I remember. I love the show. I used to love that show. That was the board. <laughs> big bucks, big bucks, no whammies, and stop! Uh. You just won a vacation to Delaware! Oh. Delaware! That's great, Phil. <laughs> All right. Fuck you. What's the dollar value of that vacation? Two dollars! <laughs> He's really out of material right now. Give me the spike. I'm gonna lose it. I need this one too, and I'm gonna lose it. He's pulling too hard. Yep. Nothing I can do about it. Nothing I can do about it. He's a son of a bitch. That fish was a son of a bitch. I'm putting the rum away. Uh, Wayne's World of Bill and Ted. You can't choose. They're both great. They're both great movies. You can't choose between those two. Absolutely We're not dead not. inside from watching this trash. Not really. I'm playing a uh, Kirby. Now that would have been a hell of a crossover like, movie. This right now is there, fun. There, there weren't many crossover movies uh, in the 90s. That was the problem. This right, he, to right now thing. is fun as hell for me. No one wanted to collaborate. They should. I like Kirby. I would have loved that. Get the Imagine little, the wild uh, stallions the rocking little out dreamland dudes. Wayne Garth in the basement Having all together. Fun. That would have been sick. Jumping around and shit. Oh, I've seen some clips of Family Food with Steve Harvey, and I've probably seen like one or two episodes, but I haven't watched game shows in so long. No, I never actually saw it. Michael J. Fox movies besides Back to the Future that I know. Uh, Teen Wolf, for sure, right? Um, You know, I think that's probably it. I know he's been in a you lot know, of I can just movies, leave but out there for right that's now. probably the one that really come to mind for anything. me. Oh, The Frighteners. A movie that yeah, I actually really like, but a lot of people hate it. I always it, said I like family food instead of family feud. The pick up family food? Must be a game show I've never heard of. Maybe it's an Hollywood Australian Doxy, game show. I don't even show. know that one. Would I consider reacting to wrestling angle summary videos? I mean, I'm, oh. I'm not really into the wrestling thing anymore. You know, I haven't watched pro wrestling in, in over two years. Um... I, do I follow the trends on Twitter? Yes, just to kind of be in the know about what they are, but I don't really care. I'm not invested oh, in it, it like I used to be, you know, when I was younger. I hate this little dude. Um, so I don't think I would really care that much. 672, we have this membership for 18 months. Says, which detractor ah. clip of you actually makes you laugh? I don't watch detractor clips. <laughs> you may not realize it. I don't watch detractor clips at all. Like, at all. I don't. I, I, I don't. Why would I want to do that? Right? Why on earth would I want to put myself through that? That's pretty stupid, no? So I don't pretty watch them, stupid, so I don't have no? a favorite or maybe laugh because I don't watch them. Like 72 is flying really close to that okay. sun, bud. Careful. We're only going to be Hollywood? able to rely oh, on that. Uh, so yeah, it sounds familiar, Doc Hollywood, but close. I've never seen that. Yeah, I've never seen that movie. Darth Gullback says, I don't think you went more than five seconds without a bite tonight. I don't know what I think this lure is glitched. I think it's not supposed to be this good, right? 
I really don't think so. I don't think the, the lure's supposed to be this damn good, but it's like overpowered, an overpowered fishing lure. As crazy as that sounds, it obviously exists. Look. That's a video game. So I don't... the eight ball said we're gonna beat the record from last week. I don't know. I, don't know. I think we're cutting it close. It'll we may fine. or may not. I don't. I don't think. I don't, don't think we will. Don't stay after like just for under. super I'm long. Like we're gonna be just under the record, but the eight Maybe ball could be right. Won't. I don't know. I don't know what you're cheering for, Phil. All right. Maybe you do want it. Maybe you don't. I don't fucking know. No, I never even seen any of those cameos from any of these people that these that bought them. Essentially, those people are just doing it for their own jollies. I'm never He's gonna watch that them. shit. The only reason he I watched the Andy them. Dick one was because. The person who had done that eventually <clears throat> edited into the in I don't know why he's fucking lying that he's never seen them because he's specifically related to the ones with wrestlers before. He said, I don't know why people are paying these wrestlers to do this because you can pay him for anything. This was before the indie dick shit. So he knows it exists. I don't know why he's pretending he doesn't know. Like, is it gonna hurt him less? No, but he's trying to, I don't know, protect his fragile ego. And like saying, oh yeah, I've never seen him before. Just admit it and just move on. Why would you even pay them to say that? It's dumb. I'm never gonna watch it. I don't care. I really don't give a shit. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. Keep going. Guys, we are running out of time. Just to say, we are at uh, about maybe... 20-ish minutes left on the stream. 20-ish minutes. First of minutes. all, we are a mere four likes away from hitting oh the 100 likes. Oh, my God. Goal. That I is feel like I can rewind time 20 minutes ago, and it was 30 minutes ago. And then it's like the time keeps increasing more and more and more and more. Like, yeah, time has slowed down for him. Fucking, I'm ready to zip for it. I don't fuck. To at least hit the $50 goal. Then at least between the two streams I did today, I would have hit one, you know, the first level 100, goal on both. Uh, barely. 100. But right now, I don't know. It's looking like this is actually one of my slower days ever, uh, which uh -huh. kind of sucks, admittedly. Uh-huh. Overpowered Boone has been, the fish have been biting nonstop tonight. Nonstop. Jay says he never saw the first Plague Tale. He's looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, the new Plague Tale should be great. It really should. The first one was so good, I can't imagine this one not being as good. Shit. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, you can't get a power from that. Egolio says I'm guilt tripping. I literally haven't guilt tripped anyone. I'm stating facts so you can uh, get out of my stream and never come back. Enjoy your permanent ban. No, you don't get to just stand here and wow. say things that aren't happening to try to spin your own negative narrative. It's, it's not okay, going Okay, bud. <laughs> Get a little too close to SNL home there. Member? I haven't seen SNL in like 15 years. I don't know. Hey, man, you're kind of guilt tripping. No, I'm yeah, not. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> My stream ain't your stream. I can guilt trip whenever I want, whoever I want. Hey, bud. Calm down, man. I'm not doing anything, and it's still pulling. I literally didn't do anything. It just kept pulling even though I wasn't even really in, so there's nothing I can do about that at all. No, no I don't want to get rid of her. Oh! I'm glad you like the Fantasy Battle Royale from Saturday, Derek. If you guys haven't seen it yet, 30-man uh, fantasy over the top uh. of horror-themed Battle Royale that I did in WWE 2K22 to end Saturday's marathon stream. People are saying it's the best one I've ever done. I think it's the best one this year. I don't know if it's the best one I've ever done because I used to do these like 10 years ago and they were absolutely insane and wild and full of glitches. This one was just genuinely fun because of the variety Damn of characters it. that were in it. And they really like it was get shocking rid of her. some of the eliminations and things that happen. You know, guys that are 10 times the size of another getting eliminated by them. It was wild. So um, I had a lot of fun with it. If you haven't seen it yet, you don't have to be a wrestling fan to like it, especially if you're into Halloween, like horror and monsters, like slasher villains. That was a lot of the characters that were in it. So you'll end up liking it. Even if you don't like wrestling, you should have a good time with it. I say give it a look. It's actually my featured uh, video right here on the channel. So. Oh God! Don't remind me of the match. With Mario. That was I that was definitely one right, of the worst. It. it was so glitchy. 
He was floating in the air coming down out of the sky. It didn't make any sense what was going on. There was constant glitches when he was in the ring. He was out of control. <laughs> yeah, we're running out of time, guys. Running out of time. Hey, it's supposed to be. All right, we're winding down. The final catch is here. Can we beat the record? I don't believe, I don't think we will, but we'll see. I'm gonna keep going. It's getting late. It's already uh, 8.30 p.m. there where he is fishing. Stop this. This is a tiny fish. Yup, itty bitty. I'm doing well tonight, thank you for asking. We're having a good chill stream here together. No Sleep Real Lives? I don't know, you'd have to ask them. He says, why don't movie companies make great adventure movies with groups of friends like they used to, like the Goonies of the Sandlot? I don't know. Maybe they don't see profit in them anymore? Bankrupt? Maybe they're like, oh, kids they don't have do that no anymore. Ideas? Get together and do things. No they just sit on ideas? Fortnite all day, you know, or play Roblox. What? So they don't have any in life human interaction. So you can't make a movie about that because they wouldn't relate. It's unrealistic. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. I really have to ask have the no idea what kids are nowadays. He's so out of touch. Overpower Boon says, I cannot believe that that next month will be two entire years into this console gen. It certainly doesn't feel like it. Of course, because because they, they're still not available. You you don't feel like something's happening until it's actually happening and it's, it's around you or available to you. It's not real to you until it's there physically with you. You know what I'm saying? And you know what it is for most I'm people, saying. you just haven't had these consoles. I've been lucky. I had my PS5 since launch. I got my Xbox Series X last summer. Donated by a fan, you know. For me, yeah, very much this is console gen, we're, we're into it. But for a lot of people, it hasn't even begun yet, right? Big wipos, cut Ooh. the hair. Crack a lack in my neck, ooh. Ugh, shit. I wonder if we can find an online. All right. Maybe. Let's see if we can. Yes, Derek, I know. Random I know that match. should be almost one. I'm, I'm trying not to talk about it because I don't want to spoil for people who haven't seen it yet because we just tried to get some people to check it out. So I'm trying not Watch to talk not about the results. Find you know. anybody. Why is DSP next to you? I don't know. Because right. I got tired of having him on the main screen. Harvey Birdman Attorney at Law? I've seen Harvey Birdman Attorney at Law. I've never seen the original Birdman show that it's based on. Nothing I can do. Some of these fish... They just pull even when you're not reeling, and there's nothing you can really do to get them to release. Like, they're just going to break your line no matter what, or, or at least release your hook. Hobo X, there's no such thing as a PS5 Pro. You don't know what you're talking about. There's no PS5 Pro. What's happening is they're making a new line of PS5s that the disk drive will be separate. It's the same console, though. It's just that the disk drive is a separate deal. It's not a pro version that runs better. So I have no idea what you're talking about. I think you, you really believe too many rumors on the internet. <laughs> There's no facts there whatsoever. Again, I, I the fish is pulling, but I'm not reeling. It's weird. Yes, Derek, I know. The King of Christmas tournament is always a favorite, and I That's cannot wait to do it this year. I'm definitely doing it this year. All it's right. Super rough connection. What the fuck? North Goldbox says he caught a PS5 at a GameStop restock. I mean, it's just an online deal. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Oh? As soon as I got it, I lost yeah. it. Yeah, give me that. That grapes mine. The second I got it, it was gone. Because you can't cry about oh, what you never had. That's mine. That's mine too. Everything's mine. Eat all the food. All of it. Uh, excuse me. Whew. Black crappie. There you go. No! Little freaking thing. Okay. No, 
Okay, I'll, I'll give up the 50. I'll give up the 50 for the 20. For all the little extra stuff. Good. <clears throat> Good. Yeah, we got the hundred. We got a lot of quotes tonight. Now it sounds like he's quiet again. Maybe because I'm not catching big ones. I'm only catching smaller to mid-sized ones now. If you look at the radar, it does look like the most of the fish have changed. Most of the big ones are not here anymore. Maybe I caught them all. Because as soon as I said that, now we got a heartbeat, which means it's probably going to be a big one. Just because I said that, it's going to make me a liar. Watch. Oops. It's P being a liar, I guess. And with people across the world or something. This is like rough. Trying to think I never have this kind of problem playing with Dingus. And I, I'm tired of losing them. I don't want to have the line snap again. Well, I guess the hook release again. And now the ghost fish is back. Like we're wired in and everything today, too. Got him. Yes. Pretty big one. That right there is a bass watch. Seven pound, 11 ounce, large mouth bass. No, I don't think that there's a leader in the consoles right now. I think right now, the reason that anyone can argue that the Xbox is doing Nick, better no. than the PlayStation That's mine. is Game Pass. Blueberry, it's mine. Great swine, great swine. Actual <laughs> stats of, yeah. of the games running or whatever, they're pretty equivalent. So I would say Sony is having better exclusives. Like they're just about to have God of War Ragnarok, which is a huge exclusive for them. While Xbox is really consumer friendly with Game Pass. So it kind of, you know, it's kind of a trade off. There's no clear leader whatsoever this console gen at all. <clears throat> Ow! My shortcut. All right, well, you have a good night. Derek, you also have a good night. He says, we'll be back for Disney Dreamlight Valley. There is no guarantee we're playing Disney Dreamlight Valley on Wednesday. It really depends on if the expansion that was promised comes out tomorrow. If it does, then I would like to play Disney on Wednesday night to check it out. But if it doesn't come out tomorrow, the expansion, uh, no. then I'm probably not doing it. We're probably going to do, uh, like, we, score or whatever and finish it up. It. We'll so take the we'll five. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> take the five. We'll take the extra. Okay. We'll take the 20. I don't need the 50. Oh uh, yes, right both now. the PS5 and the Xbox Series X fit my entertainment stand flattened. They're they're laying down on their sides. I can't stand them up. Then again, the other consoles previously never fit standing up either. Everything had to be laid flat. So uh, not quite. Oh, well, I don't know what's going on right now. I think the fish is glitched. Mm, it is. Look, no matter what I pull, the strain. There we go. It's like it's glitched. The fish will not be reeled in. Oh, it's a glitched fish. We need, we need, we need something robust. You see what robust. I'm saying, right? We need something like robust. Like, it's out there, and it's not, it's not coming in. No matter how much I reel Five. it. Five. That's This not is robust. infinitely stuck. I can't reel this one in at all. What is going on here? No. The we fish traded. is glitched. Fuck. Glitched. Come on. Ah, we're gonna lose. What the hell in here? Am I Lucas getting is it gonna now? win. I think I'm getting it now, but it's totally glitched out. It's a totally glitched out fish. The way it's moving and everything. And I fucking lost it after all that. Fuck you. Fuck that. That was bullshit. That was a glitched ass fish, no. man. Waste of my time. <laughs> Last chance jelly. to catches, and I'm, I'm, you know, I lose an opportunity like that. That's bullshit. Did we? Oh, we hit 100 likes. Cool. You guys didn't even tell me. Why did you guys tell me we had 100 likes? So I could do the, the bubble blow. No! Ah, oh, he got... He got played. Well, oh, fuck. Fuck! I, I need pity. Yeah. I need all the pity right now. All right. At the very least, we get a celebratory bubble blow tonight. Here we go. Ah. Shakalaka. Damn it. Tiny bass? Play the music? I don't know. That's so tiresome Thank right now. Thank you guys now. for the likes tonight. John Smith said he's going to watch Ghostbusters for my recommendation. Ghostbusters 1 is Come a really, really pitties. good movie, in my opinion. Come one on, pitties! 80s comedies, one of the best improv no, comedies. No, it's not going to be enough. The 80s too that probably much. half of that shit I is them eating it up on the fly. Um, it's just genius. It's kind of like a, a, fat a boy. thing that could only happen once. It was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to get those guys together to make a movie and to have them play off each other the way they did and to have the circumstances work the way they did. Uh, other people have tried to recreate that kind of magic and it never hey, worked. Hey, we're level 69. So, nice. 
that's why it's such a remarkable film. I think you'll love it if you like those kind of comedies from the 80s. You can join the stream while cooking. That's ridiculous. Got him. Wait, what? I had him and didn't count. Right. There we go. Yes. Arcs. Look, dude, look, we got gooey and we can do uh, like a grape color. Somebody caught a or a mint chocolate. That's Since it said to arrive October 19th, that would be Wednesday, not, not tomorrow then. Yeah. Where are you seeing that, Derek? Because my wife has been looking all over the internet to try to find information about the, the DLC expansion, you know, the first update to uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley, and she cannot find a date anywhere. But it seems like people yeah, are yeah, able to find yeah, dates the about my streams. I don't know where those dates are coming from. <clears throat> IGN has he it has listed? Uh, IGN is not the, uh, not necessarily the most trustworthy. I hate to say. I wish they were, but... <laughs> no, oh man, really. I love Kerbo. <laughs> Kerbo's a great command. So focus on Phil for a bit. Okay. Boy. All right, we're gonna get a couple more catches, then we're gonna call it a night, and we're gonna see if we beat eighty-eight. Okay, we're getting there, guys. We're at the very end here. The last few casts. Last chance for anyone who wants to support this stream tonight, but at this point, I don't think we're getting anything else. So it kind of is what it is. Again, kinda it's really weird with these streams. Is. Is sometimes I do them and I get tons of support, and other times I get almost uh. none. Tonight was somewhere in the middle. I mean, we definitely had gifted memberships and a few super chats, and the tips were, you know, it wasn't non existent, but it definitely was. <laughs> it wasn't non existent, uh, but it wasn't that way robust. slow. Like last week, we hit the goal and we added allure and everything. So, yeah. I don't know, man. Stop um, harping about it. And by the way, I just want to reiterate to you guys. Oh my some of you God. weren't here on the earlier part of the stream. Yeah, uh, we may not be doing this regularly game. anymore. I don't fucking because care. Because of the new releases, I might need to take all of my night streams and put it into me actually playing the new releases. So this has been really fun to do over the summer, but we might have a hiatus where I don't do this for a while because I am focused on the new releases. We'll see. You know, I'm not saying for sure, but... <laughs> you know, I gotta play the Hell. new games. I gotta get through them. I gotta, I gotta do things that are gonna bring newcomers to the channel. Hell. I don't necessarily think that continuously uh, playing Bassmaster is something that's gonna bring people to the channel. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Osmosis, Osmosis, Super Chat saying yeah. yesterday is Bosses Day, and yeah. I should have congratulated you. You enable restreaming morons to make money from your expense. Yep. I mean, yeah. It's very true. The thing is, I'm not, I'm not their boss, right? I'm definitely not their boss, but, man, they wouldn't have anything to do on the Internet if it wasn't for me. Like, literally. Uh, not really. You know what I mean? It I can fuck around. If it weren't for me. Um, <laughs> so I'm not really their boss, but definitely there's there's definitely a relationship uh, there. Thanks, boss. Right? Appreciate it, man. But you know yes, what? You appreciate me so much, scorn. man. That's correct. Thank you, boss, Phil. <laughs> All I wanted to do... I was basically gonna like not do anything. Shit. Dang it. Dang it. No, Phil literally nice. made your parents God, <laughs> dang for it. you to exist. Yeah. Got it. The yeah, ghost man. fish is back. I'm so thankful for him. The Halloween ghost fish is back. I love it. All right, Derek, I'll see you Wednesday. Sounds good. All right, Derek. See you later, man. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to do two more casts, and then we're going to call it a night. Let's see what we can get. Yeah, Just I'm glad casts. DSP's this around. Might be a catfish. Do, you think, do you think your boss DSP will give you a day off soon? Probably. Good. I kind of hope so. I don't think he's that much of a slave driver. I don't think he I only just asks for cash. I think he only caught one tonight. Day, right? He needs those tips. He really does. He needs those tips to, uh, you know... Pay his bills. Pay his internet oh, bills. Doing it his again. Uh, electric bill. There we go. His water bill. His garbage bill. What is it? His tax bill. Nope, died. it's just a bass. It looked like a catfish when it bit. I don't know, man. It looked like a catfish to me. Okay. Last cast of the night, everybody. Here we go. Wish me luck. I don't do anything. They just immediately bite. I, I, it's ridiculous. 
<laughs> the ghost fish are creeping me out now. There's too many of them. There's like three or four oh, of them yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah. What is going on with the ghost oh, well, fish? Well. <clears throat> Fitting for October, though. Here. All right. Fuck All right. So here he is. Last week, it was 88 fish. Did we top it this week? We're about to find out. Let's tally it up, guys. You ready? Here we go. God, is he gonna actually physically count? He's gonna physically count. I'm gonna be a little pissed off. I'd have to count. Do we have to manually count? Or does it tell us at the end? I don't remember. I guess we should count one. Oh my God, he's gonna actually fucking count. Three, three and a half levels. We gained an insane amount of credits. 109 freaking fish. Holy shit. The That's best the catch cool was too, that so. flathead catfish. 340 pounds of fish. No we way. We weighed down the boat. 340 pounds. How did we not sink? Exactly. Like one of the DSP. Right? I just don't under yeah the camera's blocking 109 here here's see this is 109 hooks he hooked 109 oh, catches 109 hooks i'm not level 22 with me, old man i gained 8,000 fans tonight so now i'm at 22,930 fans i gained 8,700 just from tonight how the hell did you have 340 pounds of fish in your boat at once <laughs> What is going on in this game? It's obvious I, there's something wrong with this lure. I, my, my, it's my, not my, intended my, my, my. to be this no. good. That the fish just instantly bite it, right? It's not supposed to be like that. But my God, it's so broken, right? All right, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching uh, Monday Night Bites. Now, here's the deal. I just want to adjourn. First of all, thank you to those who did chill, who did support in any way. It sucks we didn't hit any of the tips goals, which sadly really is bad for my week. I Hopefully, the next couple of days, things pick up. Um, but this now is likely going to go on hiatus, all right? Starting Friday, I'm starting a new game, all right? I'm going to announce it in a second. I want to stop recording to, before I announce it. But... Um, Basically, I'm going to be juggling a new game on Friday, plus play oh. tomorrow, plus Scorn. Um, once I, you know, Scorn won't necessarily be played at length, but basically I'll be balancing. Um, <clears throat> I'll be balancing at least two new releases, plus some late night fine. stuff, such fine. as fine. Disney Dreamlight Light Valley. I have one final stream of <clears throat> Capcom Fighting Collection this Friday night. So... I don't know if next week we're going to be doing fishing. Yeah, if we trap, do, idiot. it will likely be the good last trap. hurrah stream for a bit, and then it'll go on hiatus. So we may do it next week. We may not. It's a it's a maybe. Okay. So I just want to throw that out there. If you guys don't see <clears throat> that we're not doing it next week, that's why. All right. But we may do one more next week to kind of do kind of like I did a season finale for fighting games this Friday. Fuck your I might keys. do like a season finale for fishing. We hate your keys. Uh, this coming uh, maybe Sunday or Monday night. Okay before we get into the new stuff so guys thank you again for those who chilled thank you very much i really appreciate it anyone who supported in any way thank you very much i really appreciate it until next time i right. stopped recording so ladies and gentlemen i've made my determination i hear it comes. i'm going to be playing this mario and rabbit Mario and Rabbit. Mario and Rabbit. Full screen Mario and Rabbit. Come on, Mario. Here it comes. Here it comes. What? Oh, you want me to tell you what it is? Oh, um, all right. So I made my determination, and this is based on the following criteria. Number Come on. one, I want to play something Come on, Mario. that might bring people to the stream for a curiosity factor. And number two, I want to do something that likely would bring more 
mainstream viewers. Based on those two factors, I'm going to be playing Gotham Knights. All right? And here's why. No way. Right now, people don't Yo, know what to make what? of this game. Okay? Why? Me playing it would be a good way to determine oh if it's good my or not. A lot of people will watch me play it and judge based off of my playthrough if I like it, if I don't like it, if they're going to get it. A lot of people already said they're not going to get it. They want to watch me play You're it. You're kidding first. me. So that's a good determination that people are probably <laughs> going to want to see. kidding me. In addition, as I've told you guys, right now we're coming out of a summer that was nearly dead. I need to be trying to boost this channel as much as I can. I already oh, know from experience away. I got playing felt the it. original Mario plus Rabbids game years ago. It's going to be a great game, but it's not from all of my audience. Even back then, many years ago, when I played the first one, people were like, eh, probably good to play, but not good to watch. There were people that liked watching it, but it was very, very small amount. And those that were here, I had to rely on them and lean on them for support to keep that playthrough going. And by the way, the playthrough was long. The game was not short. So the way I see it, if Mario plus Rabbids came out any other time of the year, I would play it. But it's coming out at a time when I need to bring people to this channel for new releases in the next several months to build this channel up. This is the time of year to do that. I don't think Mario plus Rabbids is a game to do that. I think that's a game that's a chill play do for who, later, uh, <clears> right? Some, for more of my core who actually audience. Are in while his Gotham Knights chat. might actually bring in people to see. All right, so it's, it's not 60 frames. How does it look at 30? How does it run on the Series X, right? How is it actually going to perform? Um, you know, based on the fact that we know it's there's no performance mode. Is it going to be fun to play? Is it as good as, as the Arkham games? Is it not as good? What is Phil going to say? Because the thing is, I just played uh, Arkham Asylum, right? And a year or two ago, I played Arkham City. So I have those games fresh in my mind for the direct frame of reference as well, you see? The so subs. the way the I see subs. it, I really feel Gotham Knights, go. even if it's not good, would be more interesting to watch me there play you go. than Mario plus Rabbids right Gifted now. Gifted subs for dingus. We will get some people who maybe will become members or give memberships as a result of me playing it, all right? <laughs> I hope. I'm just being Dingus honest. won the to bet. boost the numbers on this channel because as you've seen, you know, Street Fighter went, whoop, wow. And then as soon as Street Fighter ended, it went right back down, boo. Because I'm just playing older stuff again. I'm like, whoop, son of a bitch. Overwatch 2 whoop, was a giant whoop, bust. Whoop, never fucking worked, right? So that didn't help the channel at all. So now I have to focus on this kind of stuff to bring people to the channel, all right? So guys, please have a good night tomorrow. Plague Tale Requiem premiering on the first stream, the continuation of scoring on the late stream, all right? Thank you all. Again, please have a good night. I really hope tomorrow's support no will be I better because today, I'm not even kidding, I didn't even make 100 bucks between two of my streams, so hopefully tomorrow's a little better, um, being that it's all new stuff. I think it will be. I, I'm feeling positive about it, okay? Have a good night. See you all in the morning. Be safe, peace out. He's Get rested. Saved. We're gonna need it tomorrow. It's all horror all day what long. What are they doing right, in the between Thanks. Have a good 12 night. hours? See you in the AM and later. Why do we gotta be safe? Are we going out in the middle of the night? What? Are, okay. <laughs> all right. Cool. Hashtag be safe. I suppose. Uh, I really didn't pay attention to that. I was. Uh, I, I really didn't care. I didn't think that uh, Gotham Knights was gonna win, but apparently Gotham Knights is the winner. So I was uh, showing up or something. But don't worry. For losing that particular bet, I gifted three gifted subs to this random Twitch channel that I've never seen before in my entire life. They're pretty cool and amazing. You know, you should go and check them out. If, if, if you're interested in some amazing content, if you're interested in some, like, cool and amazing and fun uh, content, you should totally check out uh, this guy named Swollen underscore underscore Dingus. I know, shocker, right? Uh, but because I uh, I had uh, lost that bet, uh, unfortunately, we got uh, bound to become active. We got uh, we got obliterated, dude. Will become Man, to get some subs. Address. <laughs> oh my god! I can't even play a shout out without lagging. This is the only shout out I'm going to be able to do. And, and it's just, it's hands. not going to be that great. I'm sorry. I'm just lagging. <sighs> it's okay. It's okay. I told DSP he can't play uh, Switch. Yeah, probably. I don't. And imagine that being the reason. It's not allowed because of, uh, because we're currently using the Switch right now for her to play. 
I couldn't imagine that would be the reason, but you never know. Yeah, Mario got booted. Uh, unfortunately, and bros, uh, we got felted. We uh, unfortunately have to live with Gotham Knights. Uh, we have to live with smelly 30 FPS possible drop in and out co-op game. And uh, maybe it'll be good, maybe it won't be. I don't fucking know. I don't actually fucking care. Uh, but that was pretty cool. Uh, I hated the restream. I shouldn't say I hated it, but... I mean, there was a whole lot of nothing tonight. He ended with the... Uh, how many dollar dues did he end with? I actually fucking didn't pay attention. I, I just couldn't be fucked to. He ended with... Uh, a whole whopping 30-something bucks. I love how bad my internet is tonight great yeah we ended with uh, 32 dollars that's pretty good is gotham knights on game pass uh no it is not it has to buy it i think i believe but uh yep that's all i got for tonight i don't have anything else to uh really go on so hopefully you guys enjoyed this i don't have any way of raiding uh primarily because i have no one to raid but I guess if you want to watch somebody, I'm going to be... You know what? There's three people you could be checking out right now. Right now. There's a lot of people you could be checking out right now. There's three people I'm going to recommend right now. Currently streaming. We have Almighty underscore Tevin, who's currently streaming. Some Persona 4. He has an amazing marathon currently going. It looks like it has another eight and a half hours. Let's fucking go. So if you want to check him out, you can check him out here. Uh, almighty underscore Tevin at twitch.tv forward slash almighty underscore Tevin. Uh, Ry Drake is currently streaming. What are we doing? Oh my god. Are we actually doing. Well, uh, we're doing fights apparently. Looks like he's looking at fights uh, currently happening at Chuck E. Cheese, I think. I have no fucking clue. Uh, but have fun with that if you want to check out Ry Drake currently streaming. Ry underscore Drake underscore 331 twitch.tv forward slash right underscore drake underscore three three one and finally i'm gonna be hanging out with this random streamers chat chat uh swollen underscore underscore dingus he's a cool guy uh sometimes we like to play uh mario kart and other games with him he's pretty cool and because i lost this random ass bet i went to this dude this random ass dude's channel and i totally gifted him three random subs because I was a cool guy, and more importantly, I want to showcase uh, how amazing he is for winning the bet that we made uh, by a random person. But come check him out, swollen underscore underscore dings. Uh, that's all I got. Uh, I don't think there's anybody on YouTube that we specifically have to do a shout out for. You know, if you like uh, robust, you know what? If you like robust uh, avatars, he's got a pretty robust avatar right now. He's got the Shy Girl, featured by Ludwig World Order. Totally made that uh, made that avatar. It's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, man. Gifted more subs than DSP. Yeah, basically. Look, I'm telling you, I go to... I definitely do go to different channels and I am gifting subs. I gifted Rydrake a couple of subs earlier. And every now and then I'll give something to Kevin. And it's just... it's I don't know. I like to pay it back somehow so it's what it is belly you're not stream that's eh, okay not a big deal but uh thank you everybody for coming out and enjoying this fucking hodgepodge of a stream i i don't know when the next time i'm gonna do a youtube stream i don't think he's really slated to do anything interesting wow wait a minute he really isn't slated to do anything interesting now that i think about it his current uh, schedule has it where what the fuck are we playing next Damn. I think he's... I don't even know when the, the fucking... Oh, it's on Friday is when he's going to do this. Oh, that's even lamer. So the next time he's going to be doing anything, it's going to be on fucking Friday. Tomorrow is going to be the Plague Tale Requiem, uh, which, I don't know, some people might be looking forward to it. I'm not in particular. I don't fucking give a shit about this. Uh, but somebody might. And Scorn, uh, the late night. I don't really care. And he's going to kind of spam Plague Tale until he can beat it. And then you'll have some Disney Dreamlight Valley on uh, Wednesday. That's probably pretty cool. Thursday's off, and then Friday you have... 
Gotham Knights. And then the season finale of Friday Night. Oh, well. Is Disney in the Danger Zone? It might as well be. It might as well. Uh, I have no outro. I'm not sticking around for the Daily Fap. I just... I could care less for the Daily Crap. Because it's going to be... It's basically going to be him reiterating what his schedule is. Thing that Mario lost and he's now playing Gotham. He's going to say that he didn't get a whole lot of support, but it's okay because it's going on hiatus. And he's hoping that it's going to pick up later in the week. That's literally what it's going to say. Um, I'm going to bet it's going to be around seven minutes, maybe eight minutes worth of talking time. Depending on how much he wants to bitch and moan. Um, he really shouldn't, but I don't know. Positivity and all that shit, right? The daily crap is just fillers. Yeah, basically something really, really super bad has to happen before the daily crap is going to be interesting. I don't think today is going to be super interesting. So that's just how I see it. Okay, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty much done. I'm going to get ready for bed. I'm going to hang out over at Swollen Dingus's place. If you want to join me, once again, you could totally join me over at Swollen Dingus's uh, Twitch channel. So, uh, I don't know. Have fun over there. But uh, we love you guys so much. Thank you for putting up with me. Uh, hopefully, we can see you again sometime, somewhere in the distant future. Or maybe the close future. We don't know. Things, uh, things have happened. I'll probably be working from home for the rest of the week. Um, so, if something happens during the daytime and we really, really, really need to have a toss-up for a uh, pre-stream restream... I can try and work it in. Um, I'll let you guys know next week. I'll be out maybe a couple of days, so I probably won't be able to be contacted on Tuesday and Wednesday. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, and I'll be putting up the Twitch schedule sometime uh, tonight. I'll just put it together. Um, but I'll I'll clear some days uh, for Phasmo, and I'll clear with Shybot and Rai if they're still down to play a... Uh, monster hunter if they are then saturday is reserved for that and if they aren't i don't know uh, but i might do phasmo on uh, friday i appreciate it homer thank you so much uh what do we have some i feel like there's a song that we haven't played in a long time what would that song be just don't know Road to hell, nah. The SOS? Oh yeah, we haven't played the SOS in a minute. No, Karma. You're not having that played. June Deaths? Oh shit, we haven't played June Deaths in, in a minute. No, don't give me that, Karma. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. It can't all be about you all the time. Come on. Yeah, you're always gonna bully. Everybody's always bullying me. You know how much I have to put up. You know what? I'm about to do a song that ain't none of y'all's songs here in a second. How about that? How about that, Karma? What are you gonna do about that? I'll disappoint everybody. I'll just play it. I'll just play an outro that's, like, not anybody's. You know what? We're gonna go out with Buck Bumble's title screen. Fuck, fuck everybody. Fuck everybody. I win. Me. See you later, guys.